I'm Naruto, starting with Ashura, author, Gospel of the Night, synopsis. Hearing disturbing whispers in his ears, the boy who just traveled to this world and accepted everything from Yuzumaki Naruto just treated him coldly. Fuck your forgiveness, I'm forgiving them when I kill them. Chapter 1 The Beginning of Time Travel Close your eyes, open your eyes, and the world has been completely changed. Who am I? Where am I? And, who are you? The familiar three questions. The young man stood up from the ground and looked at the white world in front of him and a vague outline in front of him. He looked like a human being but he didn't feel like a human being at all. It's a really good question. If you pay a certain price, you will get the corresponding answer. But compared to the answer you pay the price to get, I think you should remember who you are. The white outline said something that the boy couldn't understand. Exclamation mark. The next second, the young man suddenly felt a headache, and various life experiences came to him like a tide. The memory of birth is not like being treated like a baby. Memories from childhood. Those lives of being an object of hatred and being treated like a monster. The memory of growing up. The attitude of treating him as a troublesome person, not being able to buy good things, being sold expired food, not treating him as a normal child at all, the whole world all the malice was directed at him. Vomit. The malice was accompanied by nausea, and the boy finally couldn't help but lie on the ground and vomit, as if he wanted to spit out all the malice he had experienced. But what made him feel even more disgusting was that an invisible voice whispered in his ear, they are stupid and innocent. Innocent? FK your innocence. Stupidity is their sin. As if aware of the boy's situation. The white silhouette suddenly laughed. How is it? How is it? Do you know your identity? A soul from another world. The young man lay tremblingly on the ground. The feeling of nausea was still so strong, but he obviously felt much better after spitting it out. It was just the whispers in his ears that made him feel very bored, to the point where he couldn't understand what the white outline in front of him was saying. This reaction of the boy was not what the white outline wanted, and he snapped his fingers. Be quiet, reincarnated soul. You are not in charge now. Feeling that the whispers in his ears suddenly stopped. The boy's irritable mood improved a lot. Who is that damn holy mother? Seeing that kind of memory is like experiencing that kind of life in person, and the boy's confused consciousness suddenly became clear. He realized that he had traveled through time, and he also realized who he had become after traveling through time. Yuzumaki Naruto, a person who should have gone to darkness in his life, has deceived himself again and again and led himself to the light. Thinking back to the voice that just came to his mind, the boy suddenly felt that Yuzumaki Naruto might not have deceived him into walking into the light but had been subtly changed by such a voice, and that's why he did not go dark but walked into the light. This is speculation. But after having personal experience, the boy felt that this is the truth of Yuzumaki Naruto's coming to the light. The white silhouette spread its hands and let out a wanton smile. The soul that reincarnates again and again has no self-awareness, but because of the vows I made, the consciousness of reincarnation is changed again and again. The boy immediately understood who the owner of the voice was, and he continued the conversation through gritted teeth. Ashura, correct. The young man couldn't show such an innocent smile like a white outline. At this moment, he could only feel endless nausea. That kind of holy mother-like thought was simply more disgusting than the endless malice. As a normal young man who traveled through time in the 21st century, he hated things like the Virgin Mary the most. And now there is a disgusting voice that is still in my ears to whitewash those ignorant people. I'll go FK you and clear your name. I'll wash your F King White. Losey would be worthy of you if he didn't kill you. The young man gritted his teeth. Don't you understand such a simple truth as don't persuade others to be kind when they are not suffering? Losey has suffered a lot since he was a child, and your mother brought Losey over with a sentence of stupid and innocent. Damn your innocence! Question mark. The white outline seemed to have heard the boy's voice, and once again restored the smile just now. It seems that you are really dissatisfied with the reincarnated soul. The young man let out a mouthful of phlegm with a fierce bar, dismissive of the soul named Ashura, and even felt disgusted by the actions of that soul. That's a Madonna bitch. The white outline seemed to sneer a few times in disdain. I don't like that soul either, but it is a very special soul, and you can get more powerful power by accepting that soul. Get power? I'm afraid I won't become a puppet of that kind of thing. The boy scoffed at the words gaining power. Knowing his identity after time travel, he knew that this world was very dangerous, but no matter how dangerous it was, he would never accept such a disgusting soul. And the teenager has a very strong hunch that once he accepts this soul, he will definitely become the second Yuzumaki Naruto. Even though he knew what means those civilians used to deal with Yuzumaki Naruto, he still wanted to get the approval of these civilians. He simply didn't take the past targeting of these civilians seriously. After obtaining that kind of power, I am afraid that I am no longer myself. Since it is such a power, is there any difference between getting it and not getting it? The white silhouette looked at the boy in no surprise. So, what then? There are still infinite dangers in this world which is the same no matter what choice you make. Of course the boy knew this, and that period of his young life had already explained everything. That was not everything he saw from a third-person perspective, 
but what he saw and felt from the first-person perspective. The memory fragments that just poured into his mind have become his most direct feelings. This is not an ordinary world, but a world full of death and danger. Ordinary people without abilities can only choose to pray that they can live without such pain. Therefore, if you want to survive and take revenge on those stupid civilians, you need strength. Thinking of the impact of that malicious life, the young man only had the most terrifying resentment in his eyes. Therefore, the boy looked at the white silhouette in front of him. Chapter 2 Equivalent Exchange Now that I know who I am, who are you? Boy, use you Maki Naruto already knows his identity after time travel, so what is this white outline in front of him? The epic manga Hokage Ninja had been completed before he traveled through time and came to this world, but use you Maki Naruto didn't recognize the strange existence in front of him at all. I? A slight smile can only be seen on the white outline of the face. I am the whole world, the universe. The existence that you call God, a being called God. This sentence left a deep impression on Yu's Yumaki Naruto. A certain Chayunabi in Rain Shinobi village was a self-proclaimed God. But that person and the white outline in front of him should be completely different existences. At least Yu's Yumaki Naruto didn't think that the guy in front of him was the same kind of human being. Otsatsuki, as far as I know, there is only that clan in the ninja world that can be called God. As if hearing a very interesting joke. The white outline laughed ha ha and sat on the ground, even laughing so hard that he hit the ground with his fist. Ha 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 ha, there should be a limit to joking. You don't think those guys are gods in your heart. Even if they are, you just think they are inhuman products with a special species of life. I laughed so hard that my stomach hurt, and then I sat up holding my stomach. You are really an arrogant guy. You have the attitude Lozi is a time traveler, Lozi is awesome from the bottom of your heart. Use you Maki Naruto's facial muscles twitched when he was told that. He admitted that his thoughts were arrogant. But wasn't that the truth? Hey your judgment is correct. They are indeed higher level than ordinary humans in terms of life level, but that's it. In my opinion, they are just at the level of lower level creatures. The distance between such things and gods is not ordinary. Big distance. The word struck use Yumaki Naruto. Only those who know the gap will know how far the Otsatsuki clan is from the gods. The white outline seemed to be nodding with satisfaction. Your qualities are very good. You are right. As I said before, only God knows the distance between us. And there is also a certain distance between God and God. I am all truth in the world, I am everywhere, and I am omnipotent. Use you Maki Naruto didn't know if these words were true, but he actually had no other choice. The white outline couldn't help but laugh when he heard this sentence. Yes, yes, as an outsider, you are not prepared to accept the power of that soul, then you need to make another choice. Use you Maki Naruto's eyes narrowed. So, you want me to ask for your help? The corner of the white outlined mouth curls up. Although I don't know if it is the corner of the mouth. Let's define it as the corner of the mouth. Pray to me. Even if you beg me to help you, I will not waste my time on an ordinary human being. But I allow you to trade with me, and the content of this trade is equal to each other. That is to say, what do you give me? If you have something of such value, I will judge it and give you something of the same level. Equivalent exchange. The set of steel refining. Use you Maki Naruto then remember that the white guy in front of him looked very much like the guy behind the gate of truth. It seemed that that guy was also all and a being on the same level as God. He was the real ceiling of the steel world. Perhaps the steel ceiling was created by him. The white silhouette shrugged indifferently. You can understand it this way if you want. Use you Maki Naruto took a deep breath. Why did you choose me? I am just an ordinary time traveler who cannot be ordinary. A being like you doesn't care about my life or death. So why do you act like you don't want me to die? In fact. This equivalent exchange is a free practice and use Yumaki Naruto's opinion. He is a time traveler, and he is also a person who was noticed as soon as he time traveled. There won't be many people like him in this world. And just now, if this guy hadn't suddenly interrupted the whisper in his ear, maybe it wouldn't take long for him to be assimilated into the second use Yumaki Naruto. But this guy suddenly interrupted the process and said something about equivalent exchange. Wasn't this just to trick him? And doesn't this guy's approach make it obvious that he regards Ashura's soul as the object of payment? On the one hand, it can relieve him from the influence of Ashura's soul. On the other hand, you can also get special powers by replacing Ashura's soul. This is all good for him. But what good does it do to the white outline in front of him? The white outline clearly understood the suspicion in Yuzu Maki Naruto's heart. But this suspicion was meaningless. Your idea is very interesting. Well, as for why I want to help you, it is actually a very simple matter, because I am interested. It sounds like it was a temporary idea. However, Yuzu Maki Naruto did not think that this was a temporary idea. This had definitely been arranged. Otherwise he, an ordinary person, would not have been arranged to perform the drama of traveling through this stage. However, he had no choice. From the past impressions of this world and the memories he accepted now, Yuzu Maki Naruto knew that he had no choice. If he doesn't accept Tashora's soul, he must make other choices, otherwise his future will be bumpy, and he may even be buried before he can really get out. At this point, 
Yuzumaki Naruto has made his choice. Let's trade. Ha the right choice. An excited smile spread across the white outline of his face. Yuzumaki Naruto did not understand the meaning of that smile, but carefully thought about the transaction. So, this is the world of trading? That's right. So what are the terms of the deal? Oh so you plan to trade with me many times? For the first time. The white outline showed a somewhat surprised expression. It seemed that he did not expect that someone would refuse in the first second, and then choose to trade with him many times in the second. But this change of face seemed to use Yumaki Naruto to be just a daily routine. Human beings will always choose the side that is more beneficial to themselves. The side that has no use value will be kicked away. Since individuals have no other choice, they must use their favorable conditions more thoroughly. Why not make good use of the available conditions? Chapter 3 The deal got Yang done. I don't dislike this kind of character at all. You are always vigilant. Although you want to trade, you are still suspicious of me. You are even more outrageous than those gods and Buddhas. The white outline shook his head helplessly. He could completely see the thoughts of the kid in front of him. It was not that he deliberately wanted to see it, but that the kid put everything on his face. Aren't you worried that I will suddenly change my mind? Worry. You can talk this nonsense to me and you're obviously not prepared to change change your mind. Although I don't know what your purpose is, at least it is still a situation that is beneficial to me. Let me take advantage of it no matter what. Yuzumaki Naruto would not believe the existence in front of him that claimed to be God, because he did not know whether God existed. But the person in front of him has given him enough benefits, so he needs to think about this person's purpose. This vigilance cannot be relaxed until he cannot understand it, but in the process of knowing the purpose, it does not prevent him from getting benefits from this person that will definitely benefit himself. The white outline was not angry when he heard such straightforward words, because he knew that this was exactly what the kid in front of him was thinking. Knowing that I can read minds, why don't you shy away from speaking out your thoughts? What a smart kid. Looking at the white outline in front of him and saying nothing, Yuzumaki Naruto continued the topic. So, what are the terms of the deal? As long as it belongs to you, it can be traded. My thing, Ashura's soul is also my thing. That is your previous life. The immortal soul from the previous life is transferred to you, so it naturally belongs to you. Yuzumaki Naruto was silent for a moment, and raised his head to look at the white silhouette in front of him. So, what I snatched also belongs to me. The white outline smiled slightly. Whether it's a snatched thing or a stolen thing, as long as it's something you get yourself, it's considered yours. This answer also made Yuzumaki Naruto laugh. Isn't that a great deal? As long as something I get is considered mine, then this definition becomes broad. There are a lot of good things in this ninja world that can be used as materials for exchange. Maybe you can use those troublesome things to exchange yourself for something less troublesome. Like, for example, the giant Tensigan on the moon. That is a very good material. As Tensigan is at the same level as Rinnegan, the value of the items that can be exchanged may not be lower than that of Rinnegan. For example, the sealed dragon vein in the desert. If these things can be obtained, perhaps it will be easier for him to embark on the road of revenge against civilians like Konoa in the future. Of course, there is also the fox in his stomach. As part of Ten Tails, it also has considerable value. Replace Ashura's soul first. Yuzumaki Naruto didn't hesitate at all, and directly chose to sell Ashura's soul. Then the deal is established. The white silhouette raised his right hand slightly, and Yuzumaki Naruto saw a light blue translucent figure pulled out of his body. Yuzumaki Naruto knew that it belonged to Ashura's soul. As a trade item, I will give this to you. The right hand of the white silhouette pierced Ashura's soul and took out a white light jade from the soul. In your current world, it can be considered a quite useful thing. Yuzumaki Naruto looked at the white light jade and was stunned for a few seconds before he reacted. Yang escape. Correct. To be precise, it comes from the power of the soul's essence. This is the power that belongs to the soul's essence. This is the power that Ashura inherited when he was born, and it is also the power that Sanju and Yuzumaki inherited from generation to generation. There is no doubt that this is a very important thing for any ninja system. But an Ashura's soul is just exchanged for this kind of thing. This made Yuzumaki Naruto look at the white outline in front of him strangely, and his eyes almost said that's it. The white outline didn't say anything, just gave a sarcastic smile. For a soul of this quality, only what the soul itself possesses can be considered equivalent. Yuzumaki Naruto was stunned for a long time, and then he realized that Ashura's soul was only at the level of Yang escape in the eyes of the guy in front of him. Seeing that the kid in front of him didn't understand at all, the white outline was not annoyed but explained patiently. If it is a soul of noble quality, it may have higher collection value. But this soul has lost its original glory after several reincarnations. The initial glory has been completely wiped out by time. The value of this soul's existence now is only the power it has always contained. Because this is something that has been imprinted on the soul from the beginning of birth, it has been reincarnated several times and has not been erased by time and reincarnation. The voice revealed disdain for this kind of soul and Yuzumaki Naruto could hear it. I am afraid that the greatest value of this kind of soul is just to become a collection. But since it was an exchange of equal value, 
and Yang Dun was given to him as a trading object, then the remaining soul must also have a certain meaning, otherwise the meaning of exchange of equal value would be lost. It's just that the meaning of this Yuzumaki Naruto will not know now. He raised his hand and took the light jade floating in front of him. Kodama also rushed into Yuzumaki Naruto's body when he stretched out his hand. At this moment, Yuzumaki Naruto felt that all the cells in his body were jumping for joy. Boom, the heart also started beating faster. But this feeling of excitement quickly subsided. Looking at his hands, Yuzumaki Naruto had a very strange feeling. Strange feeling. My body seems to have started to change. Is this the power of Yang escape? The white silhouette watching from the side observed Yuzumaki Naruto's changes with interest. After acquiring Yang Dun, the nature of your life has undergone tremendous changes. It has begun to reverse the nature of your life and begin to evolve in the direction of the ancestor of the bloodline. But your yang escape only comes from the third generation. It's impossible to be like that rabbit. Yuzumaki Naruto was satisfied, but still had some regrets. It's enough, even if it's just this, it's still an unreachable height for me. It's just that I thought I could use yin yang escape once I got yang escape, but it still doesn't seem to work. The white silhouette hugged its chest and looked at the kid in front of it. The yin yang escape in your world is a product of the fusion of seven attributes. Yang escape alone is not enough. But you are lucky. When the nature of your life approaches that of the bloodline ancestor, you will also get the five attributes. But yin escape is not within the scope of the five elements. Dot 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 this person is leading me to do this. Yuzumaki Naruto could tell that this was intentional guidance, to induce him to do more transactions with him. However, doing so would be more beneficial to him. What is this person's purpose? Chapter 4, Planning an Escape. I will. Although he doesn't know the purpose of this guy. Yuzumaki Naruto will not be stingy in using this guy to improve himself. At least this will be beneficial to himself. This will not change in any way. Also, let me ask, how long has it been outside? A moment. After all, transactions sometimes happen during emergencies, so no matter how long it takes here, it's just a moment outside. Dot 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 so the way to get in here is through trading? That's right. You will come here whenever you want to trade, but you must trade every time you come here. If you don't have enough trading items, then they will be taken from you. Yuzumaki Naruto nodded thus directly preventing him from treating this space as a place for recreation, and nothing could be done here except trading. Then, just make sure Yukai Husasuke is unconscious, right? That's right. Just make sure the item is not conscious before it can be used as a trade item. Yuzumaki Naruto nodded, confirming this was enough. As long as Yukai Husasuke could be fainted, then he could get the yin escape from trading Indra in his soul, which was good news. It is the 58th year of Konoha. The Yukai family still exists. However, in my memory, it seems that this was the year Yuakaiha was killed by the filial son. This is really good news. Yuakaiha's accident meant that there was an opportunity. Yuzumaki Naruto knew that after something happened to Yuakaiha, Yuakaihu Sasuke would be targeted by Anbu or the Roots. But Anbu and the Roots were not Yuakaiha. They would not be wary of everyone at all times. At least the Genchuriki of Konoha would not be blocked by them. Something happened to a classmate in the same school and class. So as a Genchuriki, he naturally had the right to see the classmate who was admitted to the hospital. In the end, Hokage's strength was further enhanced because the Sage of Six Paths gave the power of Six Paths to use Yumaki Naruto and Yukai Hasasuke. The power that could be given was not the power that they got, so use Yumaki jumped to the level of Six Paths. Naruto couldn't make the truth seeking ball on his own, otherwise, he wouldn't be so passive in the final confrontation with Yukai Hasasuke. So, Yang Dun has already obtained it from the trading center. The five elements attributes were also obtained due to Yang escape. Now all that's left is Yin escape. So use Yumaki Naruto has only one choice. If he wants to get that power, instead of relying on the charity of others, he needs to completely sell Indra's soul from the depths of Yukai Hasasuke's soul to obtain Yin escape. Let's go back. Use Yumaki Naruto's consciousness paused, and when he came to his senses again, he had returned to the classroom where the teacher was teaching. The whispers in my ears have disappeared. Sure enough. This time-traveling thing is not fake. What's more important is that I actually encountered this time-traveling thing. As soon as his eyes rolled, Yuzumaki Naruto focused on Yuakai who Sasuke sitting in the front row. There's no such thing as a murderous intent. Yuakai who still exists. But this state won't last long. Soon Yuzumaki Naruto looked back. The day the Yuakai clan was destroyed was the day he went to visit Yuakai who Sasuke, but before that he still needed to deal with his own affairs. The key now is chakra. The five attributes are also what he said I would get. But this phenomenon shouldn't happen so soon. Then, in addition to refining chakra, nature transformation of chakra also needs to be done. It's Konoha's 58th year now, which means there are only five years until this year's graduation. Five years of silent training at the hands of a voyeur? This is much more difficult than imagined. However, the difficulty of implementation does not mean that it cannot be done, but it will be very difficult to do. Yuzumaki Naruto's eyes scanned the entire classroom. He sat in the last row of the classroom, like an outcast in the entire class. Suddenly, 
eyes locked on a little girl with white eyes. The memory I inherited doesn't remember any contact with Hayuga Hinata, but it's better this way. Contact with Yukaiha, and if you also contact with Hayuga, it may make things very troublesome. Jinchuriki's identity is too sensitive. For his own purposes, Yuzu Maki Naruto should not intend to interact with too many people in this village. He has inherited the emotions of the boy named Yuzu Maki Naruto. The stimulation, insults, and monster treatment to him during the past seven years will never be forgotten, and will even be kept in his heart for the rest of his life. He will repay this malice to this village named Konoa, hoping that this village can bear the gift he will give to this village when the time comes. To achieve that step, what is needed is to move forward step by step. It's just that his way forward should not have any more intersections with this village. It's just that Yuzu Maki Naruto didn't feel the slightest pity. It should be said that this state is even better. Dot 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 okay, today's class will end here. After school, everyone should go home well. Yes, when it was announced that school was over, the students in the classroom who had been impatient just now immediately became extremely energetic. Yuzu Maki Naruto glanced out the window and saw that when school was over, there were many parents waiting at the door all coming to pick them up. A hint of sarcasm flashed across his eyes. Use you Maki Naruto. These fools only take you seriously when they need you, and treat you like a monster when they don't. Ignorance, ignorance, this is sin. He will sort out his past hatred little by little for the stupid people. But now is not the time to be able to do these things. Even those who have not fully understood what chakra is, need to find time to figure out the chakra matter, and by the way, the method of refining chakra. Yuzu Maki Naruto is not in a hurry to go home anyway, since he is the only one at home anyway, so he might as well sort out his current thinking when he has the time to go home. The teacher in charge of their class is Amino Ayuka. The current Amino Ayuka is still very young, only 18 years old. Since he graduated from Chunin at the age of 16, he has returned to the ninja school to teach after two years of ninja career. Although his strength is limited, he is essentially a very responsible teacher. Yuzu Maki Naruto packed his things and came to Amino Ayuka at the end. He didn't behave like Yuzu Maki Naruto in the past, but asked in a calm tone. Ayuka sensei, can I go to the library and check out some information? Looking at the child in front of him, Amino Ayuka still had some anger and hatred in his eyes, but this emotion was quickly controlled, but there was still a stiff smile on his face. Naruto, why do you want to go to the library all of a sudden? Yuzu Maki Naruto kept this scene firmly in his mind. I want to see about the refining of chakra. Oh, in that case... You can look for related books in the library. Remember not to go home too late. The school will close at 10 o'clock. Well, thank you. Chapter 5 Imagine the Future Looking at Yuzu Maki Naruto leaving, Amino Ayuka put away his smile, clenched his fist tightly, and punched the podium. Damn monster. This sentence was very soft. But Yuzu Maki Naruto, who had not gone far, still heard it. But this sentence did not make Yuzu Maki Naruto waver in any way, but there was still sarcasm on his face. The only person who understands you is like this. It seems that your life is really miserable. The third Hokage piled all the anger in the village on your head, letting everyone vent their anger on you, making you considered a monster by them. How ironic that you save these people again and again. With unwavering determination, Yuzu Maki Naruto walked towards the library step by step. There are not many people in the ninja school's library. Basically no one is there except for one administrator. Also, there is nothing very important hidden in the library of the ninja school. Even if there is, it is just the popular version of chakra refining technique and some things about three body technique, which are all things that ninja school students need to learn. Dot. Then there is some history about the ninja world, well, the kind of history that has been completely tampered with. For someone who knows many secrets of the ninja world from a third person perspective, Yuzu Maki Naruto has no interest in these altered histories at all although most of history is in the hands of the victor. The thickness of the skin of a person who can shamelessly call himself the strongest hokage in history is really extraordinary. Even a pervert as strong as Sanju Hashirama would not say that he is the strongest hokage. Of course, Sanju Hashirama is really not good at playing politics. If you think about it from a political perspective, third hokage Sarutobi Hayaruzen can definitely be called the strongest. Be obedient to the outside world but strike hard at home. This sentence refers to the strongest hokage in history. Yuzu Maki Naruto didn't care about the useless history. It was just something to fool fools, who is a time traveler who doesn't know the tricks used by third hokage. To put it harshly, it was this guy who caused Konoha to become weaker and weaker, and the fact that Yuzu Maki Naruto was treated like this was actually this guy's problem. Have you not seen how the two Jinchuriki over at Cloud Shinobi Village are treated? A problem that could have been easily solved has turned into what it is now. Yuzu Maki Naruto touched his belly and then put down what he had just been thinking about. Now is not the time. After trading away the most troublesome Ashura's soul, what he got was Ashura's Yang Escape. Yang Escape belongs to body energy. Obtaining Yang Escape will undoubtedly further strengthen oneself. The Senju clan and the Yuzu Maki clan themselves inherited the power of Ashura, 
But after countless generations of inheritance, the power contained in the blood has become thin. What Yuzu Maki Naruto obtained was the Yang release obtained from Ashura's soul. This power was directly traced to the former third generation of the ancestor of Chakra. This power is not something that ninjas of this era can obtain. One trade made Yuzu Maki Naruto make a lot of money, but what about trading nine tails? As a part of ten tails, having nine tails sealed in one's body must be a big trouble. It is definitely best to deal with this thing early, and it can also make oneself a lot of money. But Yuzu Maki Naruto still held back. In a word, now is not the time. The old scumbag at his core is still staring at him all the time. Even if he has to deal with the Nine Tails problem sooner or later, it's definitely not now. God knows if that old bastard has any hidden tricks. Now is not a very good time to deal with Nine Tails, at least not until ninja school graduates. At that time, it will not be so easy when Hatake Kakashi of the Hokage faction is staring at the roots and trying to reach out. Moreover, in the exciting days after graduating from the ninja school, the old scumbag will put more thoughts on the position of Hokage instead of a Jinchuriki like him. So. The current goal is to obtain the Yin escape, and then realize the creation of the truth seeking ball by fusing the seven attributes. Yuzu Maki Naruto suddenly felt speechless for his standards. Truth seeking ball. This is a power that exceeds the limit of blood inheritance and blood inheritance elimination. It would be really interesting if a ninja school student completed the production of truth seeking ball after graduation. It's not done yet, so it's not worth being so happy about. It is not easy to combine seven attributes into one. Whether it can be done in five years is another matter. Even if you do what you need to do, you still need to be cowardly. Didn't you see how awesome Six Paths Madara is? Didn't you almost get kicked out of the finale by King Kai? Even if the truth seeking ball is created, it is definitely not a source of pride. The reason why I hide now is definitely not because of cowardice, but just so that I can better settle accounts with these guys in the future. You still need to be more pragmatic in the ninja school. The future is worth imagining, but that kind of future needs to be created by oneself, so the floating thoughts will really go as far as they go. The key now is chakra refining and the three body technique, transformation technique, body replacement technique, clone technique. Although it is only the lowest level of ninjutsu, the simpler the ninjutsu, the more effective it is. The combination of transformation technique and the multiple shadow clone technique, reverse harem technique, even the goddess of the moon, Kagiyaheim, froze for a moment when she was hit. Needless to say, the body replacement technique is the most commonly used ninjutsu by ninjas, and it can be said to be a god level technique used to escape. As long as this body replacement technique is used well, at least 10 more lives will be gained in actual combat. Clone technique is the least useful of the three body techniques. After all, it can only create a disembodied clone, and at most it is only used for visual confusion. The usefulness is indeed there, but compared to the usefulness of Shadow Clone, it is far behind. For children who are new to ninjutsu, these three ninjutsu are just for practice. Before the problem of nine tails in the body is not solved, the control of chakra will become very bad, which directly increases the difficulty of controlling chakra. There is no need to think about ninjutsu that is too difficult, such as ninjutsu such as rubbing balls for the time being. If you have extra time, you might as well spend more time practicing chakra. Next is nature transformation about the five attributes of chakra. After a brief search, Yuzu Maki Naruto soon found books on refining chakra. That's a poor way to describe it but it's better than nothing. This crude chakra extraction method is probably the most common thing used by civilians. If there are some more efficient extraction methods, they must be in the hands of some families. Most of the 12 Xiaoqiang belong to some big families. Hayuga, Yukaiha, Nara, Yamanoka, Akamaki, Inuzuka and Abarama are all big families in Konoha. They started learning to refine chakra much earlier than any other civilians, and most of the big families have secret techniques that belong to the family. These are not comparable to civilians. Chapter 6 the enmity engraved in the heart. What's wrong Naruto? Master third generation, Yuzu Maki Naruto has borrowed the chakra refining technique, the detailed explanation of the three body technique and the detailed explanation of Mudra from the ninja school. Well, let's go down. After knowing Yuzu Maki Naruto's movements, Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't say anything else, just took two puffs of cigarettes and let the staring Anbu go down. The chakra refining methods stored in the ninja school are very crude, and their efficiency cannot be compared with the chakra refining techniques passed down secretly by various families. After all, the chakra refining technique is for civilian use, although it is also possible to extract chakra, but the speed is far behind those secret chakra extraction techniques passed down by the family. Three body technique and hand prints. That child is also at this age. Eight years old is many years behind my peers. Generally, children in the family have begun to try to refine chakra when they are five years old. After practicing for about three years, the children in the family have now refined a lot of chakra, and even some of the talented ones no longer have it. Weaker than normal genin's chakra. In Sarutobi Hiruzen, it seems that Yuzu Maki Naruto's progress has fallen far behind, and he is still using very ordinary and rough, 
just civilian chakra refining techniques. It is much more difficult to catch up with the progress of others. This is generally the case. But that child is of the blood of the Yuzumaki family, and chakra itself is different from the children of ordinary families. The Yuzumaki clan is born with chakra beyond imagination, and coupled with their special physique, the Yuzumaki clan is more suitable to become Jinchuriki. It's just that ninjutsu may be difficult. Ordinary ninjutsu may be just a simple thing for ordinary children, but those ordinary ninjutsu are not a simple thing for Yuzumaki Naruto. Being harassed by the Nine Tails Chakra all the time, it is undoubtedly very difficult for Yuzumaki Naruto to use ninjutsu normally, even hundreds or thousands of times more difficult. Would you like to go see the child? Sarutobi Hiruzen thought about it and put it aside. He had already visited the child once this month. There was no need to go too much. Going too much would have seemed too deliberate. Forget it. Konohamaru will start trying to refine chakra soon, I'll go and guide Konohamaru. Sarutobi Hiruzen's attitude toward Yuzumaki Naruto is mixed. Minato sealed nine tails at the cost of his life, the last hope is to take care of Naruto. But the moment Sarutobi Hiruzen was a Jinchuriki, he was doomed not to be able to take care of Yuzumaki Naruto normally. Danzo often said that he would hand over Yuzumaki Naruto to the roots, but as an old partner, Sarutobi Hiruzen certainly knew that this was just Danzo's hope to seize nine tails and gain a greater say in Konoha. Of course, Sarutobi Hiruzen disagrees with this approach. On the one hand, he feels guilty towards Minato, and on the other hand, he also has his own selfish motives. Minato's child is still young now, wouldn't it be an ideal situation if the Nine Tails Jinchuriki raised since childhood could be loyal to Konoha? Perhaps Sarutobi Hiruzen felt a certain amount of guilt in his heart, but that guilt was still dominated by the desire for power. Taking the position of Hokage led to the rise of the Sarutobi clan. He and the current Sarutobi clan both rose because of Konoha, so Sarutobi Hiruzen loves Konoha, the place where he was born and raised, and he also loves the Hokage rights that Konoha gave him. It's the monster again. Did he cause any trouble again today? Who knows, Lord Third Generation is not all kind, otherwise how could such a monster live in the village? Hey, I hope Lord Third Generation can drive such a monster out. Yuzumaki Naruto who was walking on the road clearly heard the voices of the ignorant people on the roadside, but at this moment, his mood was surprisingly calm. He has kept all the insults from these people in his heart. He ignores them now just because his strength does not allow it. Once his strength allows it, none of these people who have said such things will be able to please them. It's just that Yuzumaki Naruto knew that he couldn't show more emotions now. It wasn't just Anbu who was staring at him, even his roots were staring at him. Excessive emotional expression is nothing more than getting yourself stuck in the quagmire. Sarutobi Hiruzen, Shimura Danzo, I will settle this account carefully. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who appears to be a good guy is a very good politician. He knows how to use his status to get what he wants, just like the shameless title of the strongest hokage in history. Shimura Danzo obviously can't beat Sarutobi Hiruzen, otherwise he wouldn't be restricted all the time. However, these two people obviously don't have the same mind in the absence of external enemies. Both of them are greedy for hokage's rights. Also, how did Yuakai Hobito know so clearly about the birthplace of Yuzumaki Kashina during the Nine Tails Rebellion? Shimura Danzo. Our hatred is no less than the hatred between you and Urza in the future. Is it so easy for people to know where Nine Tails Jinchuriki is produced? You must know that the fourth Hokage is still guarding outside. If that place is found so easily, Konoha will be leaked into a sieve. Therefore, either Sarutobi Hiruzen sells it, or Shimura Danzo sells it. It's just that there is no need for Sarutobi Hiruzen to sell Yuzumaki Kashina. But there is such a need for Shimura Danzo. After all, Fourth Hokage Namake's Minato's influence is still too great. If her wife is producing Vice Admiral Nine Tails and is released to cause havoc in the village, it will also cause great damage to the reputation of Fourth Hokage. There is a certain necessity. Then Shimura Danzo will sell Yuzumaki Kashina's position. With a cold snort in his heart, Yuzumaki Naruto returned directly to his residence. The room was messy, the table was full of garbage, there were many unwashed dishes in the sink, and there were several cockroaches crawling under these unwashed dishes. This scene was so dazzling that even Yuzumaki Naruto felt disgusted watching it. But there is no way, this is his home, and the person who caused this situation is the previous Yuzumaki Naruto, so don't say unnecessary words and just sort it out yourself. After struggling until the sky outside was completely dark, all the messy things in the room were taken care of. After tidying up the things in the room, Yuzumaki Naruto immediately closed the curtains on several windows and also lit candles in the house. Then it's time to get down to business. Chapter 7 The Power of Six Paths, The Power of Yang The content of the chakra refining technique is actually very simple. The composition of chakra is a special energy formed by the fusion of physical energy and spiritual energy. Normally, the ratio of physical energy to mental energy is 50-50. Once you understand the situation, 
Take action. Yuzu Maki Naruto just calmed down and felt the physical and mental energy in his body as written on the chakra refining technique. Huh? How come it's not as difficult as you thought? The physical energy and mental energy are felt as soon as I close my eyes and before I calm down. The white part belongs to physical energy, and the black part belongs to spiritual energy. The white part is like the yang escape jade that was obtained by selling Ashura. Obviously, the energy of the body at this age will not be exaggerated. But Yuzu Maki Naruto feels that the white part is constantly growing. Is this the power of Yang escape obtained from Ashura's soul? It's really more exaggerated than I imagined. Body energy is limited by physical age. But Yuzu Maki Naruto's current situation does not seem to be limited at all. In this state, Yuzu Maki Naruto could see more clearly that the energy part of his body was increasing almost every minute. This is not so much the power of Yang Dun, but rather the power of Yang. An ability like Yang Dun should not be so powerful before it is uncontrollable. But it is different if it is there. Power of Yang. Yin and Yang are the most important parts of chakra. Yang escape is more like a product of Yang power, and Yang power may be part of the power of six paths. The power that Yuzu Maki Naruto obtained was from Ashura's soul, and Ashura inherited the immortal body, that is, the power of Yang. Thinking of this, Yuzu Maki Naruto pursed his lips. That guy really was deliberately leading me to do this. You know clearly that it's not Yang escape at all, but the power of Yang, and yet you deliberately say Yang escape. However, the power of Yang alone should not allow me to directly enter the realm of six paths. Besides, this power is too weak. In the future, Yuzu Maki Naruto should also be able to obtain the power of the Yang of the six paths, but that is a direct gift from the Sage of Six Paths. The power given directly was obviously similar to an initiation, but the power he received now was more like a seed. Just because he understood this, Yuzu Maki Naruto felt as if he had been cheated. Am I being pocketed the difference? Ashura's soul was just replaced with a Yang power seed. Well, at least Yang power is more advanced than Yang escape. Although he didn't know if Ashura's soul and the seeds of Yang power were equivalent, but they were paid for free anyway, so even if they weren't equivalent, he wouldn't be at a huge loss. If it is a seed, it means that it takes time for the seed to grow little by little. It's quite in line with Yuzu Maki Naruto's current state. Continue to devote your attention to chakra refining. The physical energy and mental energy have been sensed, and then it is about the process of merging into chakra. The probability of energy fusion is 5 to 5. Boom. The huge amount of chakra that suddenly rushed into the chakra meridian made Yuzu Maki Naruto realize that something was wrong and quickly stopped the production of chakra. This situation made Yuzu Maki Naruto take another look at the chakra refining technique, which did not say anything about the mass production of chakra. I guess no one has ever been in this situation. Is it because of the power of Yang? Dot 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 could it be that the ratio is too high? Carefully imagine that his physical ability and mental energy can be compared with ordinary people. Accepting the power of Yang, even if it is just a seed is completely different from people of the same age. Yuzu Maki Naruto then remembered that his chakra seemed to be jokingly called chakra. Heck if he was exactly the same as an ordinary person, he would be exactly the same as Sanju Hashirama. 55 is too much, so lower it a little. 1 point, 5 points of physical energy and 5 points of mental energy obviously produces a bit too much chakra. The ratio of physical energy and spiritual energy has been adjusted down and the fusion is being carried out to create chakra. After lowering the ratio of chakra, the amount of chakra produced was not as exaggerated as before, which squeezed the chakra meridians a little uncomfortable. Instead, this time it was as if the chakra meridians were completely filled. The chakra produced made Yuzu Maki Naruto felt indescribably comfortable. Try the clone technique first. Clone technique is three seals. Although Yuzu Maki Naruto is not very familiar with the seal seal, but it can still be done according to the seal seal. It took five seconds for three prints which is really a tortoise speed beyond imagination. Bang! After a burst of smoke, another self appeared standing in front of Yuzu Maki Naruto, but this self had no shadow and could disappear after just a moment. No wonder clone technique is the least practical ninjutsu among three body techniques. This sentence is really not wrong at all. There is no shadow, and it cannot resist attacks. It is only used to disturb the attention of the enemy. Apart from this use, it has no other use. Although the number of seals that need to be sealed is not very large, the effect is really not very great. It's just that Yuzu Maki Naruto felt strange after successfully using the ninjutsu. Where's Nine Tails? Isn't that guy supposed to cause trouble? Why can I use clone technique so smoothly? The Nine Tails sealed in his belly is not a peaceful guy. It may be fine before he creates chakra, but once he creates chakra, Nine Tails chakra will definitely interfere with him. But now this phenomenon does not occur. So Yuzu Maki Naruto also felt strange. In a cold sewer, a fox trapped in a cage looked at the dripping ceiling. My chakra is suppressed. Just because of this eight-year-old brat, Nine Tails clearly felt that the seal became stronger, and the chakra belonging to that kid around him was constantly perfecting the eroded seal. I obviously felt the gap between that brat, but this happened. This is undoubtedly a headache for Nine Tails. In the past, the outside world could be seen through the seal, 
But after the kid's chakra replenished the eroded seal, it became impossible to see the outside world. It is still using its own chakra to erode the seal, but this time it is completely different from before. It was not the seal that was eroded, but its chakra was reversely eroded by the seal. After realizing this, Nine Tails became a little anxious and even more uneasy. What is going on? Chapter 8 Planning for the next five years. I don't understand. Does that fox seem to be someone who compromises so easily? Yuzu Maki Naruto was very sure that the fox was definitely not someone who would compromise so easily, but the fox did not do anything. Forget it, remember this matter carefully, and it is also a good thing for me not to be harassed. As long as you don't learn any ninjutsu in Konoha, nothing will be discovered. Of course. This is not a disappointment. Yuzu Maki Naruto did not intend to learn anything useful from Konoha from the beginning, because Konoha has always been on guard against him and will not teach him anything useful. It's just that Konoha can't learn anything, and Yuzu Maki Naruto doesn't really care about it. If Konoha can't learn something, can't he learn something elsewhere? Outside of Konoha, there is a very knowledgeable person who can teach him a lot of ninjutsu, and there is no need to worry about not learning ninjutsu. The key is the period between now and the official graduation from ninja school five years later. Ninjutsu only needs these three now, and the rest is to learn the use of knives, and then there are five types of chakras nature transformation, and the skilled use of seals. The speed of the seal is the speed of the release of ninjutsu. If you remember the order of the seal, the smooth seal is the most important thing to pay attention to now. Even if you can't do the seal well, if you want to learn other ninjutsu in the future, it's completely nonsense. It is said that ninjutsu can come with a clap of both hands. But at least you need to have the strength of the ceiling under six paths. Don't people with this strength come from these basic things? If they really can use all ninjutsu with a clap of hands, then they're not seal is a joke. All learning needs to be systematic. The study of chakra nature transformation is also a systematic process, and there are still five years to complete the goal of one attribute nature transformation every year. After graduating from ninja school, the synthetic process of truth seeking ball will begin. In five years, the control of chakra, the training of physical skills, the training of knives, the training of seals, and the five types of nature. Transformation of chakra, there are really many things that can be done. Yuzu Maki Naruto yawned suddenly, there were too many things for him today, and he also needed a time to take a good rest. Outside Yuzu Maki Naruto's residence were guarded by nearly seven men, all unquestionably members of Anbu's elite. As the team staring at Jinchuriki, they must pay attention to Jinchuriki's situation at all times. How? It's not that Nine Tails seal has been lifted. Now they are watching to see if the seal of Nine Tails has been broken. The sentient ninja among them felt the abnormal chakra fluctuation just now, which was completely beyond the regular chakra fluctuation. After confirming that it was not chakra from Nine Tails, their nervousness improved a little. Although this also needs to be reported, as long as it is not chakra from Nine Tails that broke the seal. The problem is not a big problem. What happened to the amount of chakra just now? It has completely exceeded the amount of Jonin's level, right? It's the Jinchuriki of Nine Tails after all, and it's normal to be a little out of the ordinary. Although most of the stalkers still find it inconceivable, an eight-year-old child erupts with a chakra that exceeds Jonin's level. Even Nine Tails Jinchuriki, this chakra is a bit scary. Jinchuriki of Nine Tails wants to suppress chakra of Nine Tails from breaking the seal, and Jinchuriki of Nine Tails himself also has a special physique. That's great. I want this physique with an amazing amount of chakra too. The most intuitive thing about ninja battles is to look at the amount of chakra. Under most of the same conditions, it is actually the amount of chakra that determines the outcome. A little more chakra means that the fighting rhythm can be maintained for a longer period of time. This also means that the amount of chakra also affects one's own strength. Generally, ninjas with strong strength have quite amazing chakra amounts. The captain of the seven-man team rolled his eyes at the idiot who made the sarcastic remarks. How about you become a Nine Tails Jinchuriki? The people under him quickly shook their bodies and stood up straight. Captain, I was only joking. Then he moved to the captain's side a little obsequiously. Well, captain, should we inform Master Hokage of this matter now? The captain sent it back with a blank stare. What should have gone has already gone, idiot. Yugis should also know the importance of Nine Tails Jinchuriki. No matter what kind of thing it is, as long as it involves Nine Tails Jinchuriki, it is a big deal. At this moment, the other team members no longer had the hippie smiles they had just now. The Nine Tails Jinchuriki incident is considered a major event in the village. The cause of the last Nine Tails chaos was the Nine Tails Jinchuriki rampage. If this happened again, it would cause too much damage to the village. It was good luck to know that this time it wasn't Nine Tails rampage. In addition, those who keep an eye on Nine Tails Jinchuriki all know that Nine Tails Jinchuriki has entered the ninja school in the past few years. Since they have already entered the ninja school, it is normal to start learning to make chakra. Even Nine Tails Jinchuriki is better than ordinary people. A few years too late. It was only a few years late that such an amazing chakra was produced. Thinking of this, the captain was a little envious and jealous. The upper limit of things like chakra is actually a person's aptitude, where the personal aptitude is. The upper limit of chakra is there, 
and now Nine Tails Jinchuriki has such an amount of chakra at the age of eight, which really makes him very envious. But this envy died down after understanding the fate of Nine Tails Jinchuriki. On the other side, the informant has gone to Sarutobi Hyaruzen's mansion. Sarutobi Hyaruzen, who was woken up, immediately became energetic when he heard that it was related to Yuzumaki Naruto. Today is the day when Yuzumaki Naruto borrowed the chakra refining technique back, that is to say, the day when Yuzumaki Naruto first refined chakra. Days like this are actually very sensitive, because Yuzumaki Naruto has nine tails sealed in his body, and his things are big things no matter how small they are. However, after knowing that it was not nine tails that broke the seal, Sarutobi Hyaruzen was not so nervous. In other words, Naruto just refined a large amount of chakra? Yes. Sarutobi Hyaruzen was already convinced when he heard his subordinates say this. Is it the special constitution of the Yuzumaki clan? It is true that Gashina had extraordinary chakra even when she was young and Maito-sama's chakra amount is also extraordinary. It is because the Yuzumaki clan has this special physique that they can become a tailed beast. If it is not a vessel with unimaginable chakra, it will not be able to suppress the sealed tailed beast, and it will also be affected by the tailed beast's chakra. The invasion was completely controlled. That being said, he was able to produce a large amount of chakra at the age of eight, and he still used the chakra refining technique for common people in ninja schools. If this power can be used properly, the future will be promising. Sarutobi Hyaruzen already had a plan in mind. Chapter 9 Early in the morning, you have to think about future food issues. Early the next morning, a ray of sunlight shone through the curtains into the room. Yuzumaki Naruto, who was sleeping deeply, slowly opened his eyes. Dot 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 it's a tragic reality. It was enough for Yuzumaki Naruto to realize that everything yesterday was not a dream. It seems like we should give up our naive ideas and accept the reality. The first day can be considered a dream. But on the second day, there was absolutely no way to continue to treat it as a dream. Then, let's act according to the future plan we made yesterday. Everything is for the sake of settling down, and also for revenge against those guys. After one night, Yuzumaki Naruto has officially accepted his current identity. Accepting this identity does not mean that he will follow the original script. He is not an idiot. Of course the original Yuzumaki Naruto is also not an idiot. If it weren't for such a voice whispering in his ear, constantly affecting the will of Yuzumaki Naruto, he would definitely go into the dark the road. Shaking his head, Yuzumaki Naruto sat up from the bed, not thinking about what he had. Meals need to be eaten in one bite, and strength also needs a little improvement. What's more, now that he is still openly cheating, five years later, he will inevitably go farther than anyone else. The power of Yang has been obtained, and the power of Yin will follow. And then there's Yuakai Husasuke. Do you want to have a serious contact with him? To put it bluntly, he and Yuakai Husasuke are actually the same kind of people. They are both Avengers. Yuakai Huitachi sided with Konoha for the sake of the so-called clan, and even had the idea of controlling his younger brother with distinguished heavenly gods. Maybe Yuakai Huitachi really loves his younger brother and is a real brocon, but the operation of trying to use distinguished heavenly gods to change Yuakai Husasuke's idea of revenge really doesn't look like a brocon's approach. In the end, Yuakai Huitachi still doesn't think it was wrong to slaughter the Yuakai clan, and even looks at the problem from Konoha's perspective regardless of the safety of his own family. Even his own brother speculated on Konoa's idea of revenge, and even took actual precautions. This person's most important thing is definitely not the so-called brother or the so-called family, but the village he thinks is correct. It's like Yu's Yumaki Naruto brainwashed by Ashura's thoughts. If you think about the problem from the perspective of Yuakai Hasasuk, Yu's Yumaki Naruto would like to crush Yuakai Hatachi. Even Yu's Yumaki Naruto wants to wipe out Yuakai Hatachi's soul completely. It is said that people do not destroy themselves. But Yuakai Huitachi does not want to change the Yuakai clan, does not consider creating a way out for the Yuakai clan, but thinks from the perspective of the village that the Yuakai clan should not exist. Directly kill the earth. To be honest, Yuakai Huitachi would never think of using this method to deal with the conflict between the Yuakai clan and Konoha. But Yuakai Husasuke was always right. Even at the end, Yuakai Husasuke's wish to destroy the five shadows and let himself take on the darkness alone seems to be much better than the so-called love for the earth in Yu's Yumaki Naruto. Yuakai Husasuke can get in touch with him. After all, he is a rare normal person, except that he sometimes drifts a little bit and likes to smile. Yuakai Husasuke will go all the way to black in the future, and I am the same as him in this. Well, it would be nice to have one more ally, and you can have someone to take care of you when you leave Konoha. It is definitely better to have one more like-minded friend than to do it alone. Yuzumaki Naruto has nothing to say with guys like Konoha, but he can still establish a relationship with Yuakai Husasuke who is in the same situation. After all, they have the same purpose, which is the key to forming a friendship. It's just that Yuzumaki Naruto also knows that the establishment of this kind of relationship is definitely not something that can be done now. 
a Nine Tails Jinchuriki and the orphan of the Yuakaiha family someone who can get together? It would be too eye-catching for these two people to come together. I am afraid that anything they say will be recorded by Ambu or the root and passed to the ears of Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo. So I am not in a hurry now. Yuzumaki Naruto is not in a hurry now. The relationship with Yuakaiha Sasuke can be established little by little in the future. All you need to do now is mind your own business. Now that the chakra has been created. The next step is the control of the chakra. Yuzumaki Naruto is not naive enough to think that he can start chakra's nature transformation exercise after he has created chakra. Nature transformation is to strengthen the characteristics of a chakra attribute. But this is based on the condition that the chakra can be well controlled. After getting up, doing a simple wash, Yuzumaki Naruto opened the refrigerator at home. A foul smell wafted out from the refrigerator the moment it was opened, making Yuzumaki Naruto frown. Enduring the stench, Yuzumaki Naruto took out a milk carton from the refrigerator, looked at the expiration date on it, and looked at the days on the calendar. The shelf life is three months past. Really not bad. People say that there are many unruly people in the poor mountains and rivers. Konoa is really a disgusting place. The people in Konoa village would not sell him serious things, so he still needed to master the skills of survival in the wild. But it became more appropriate. After all, chakra nature transformation is not suitable for exercising at home but it becomes much more suitable in the wild. Yuzumaki Naruto really didn't want to say more about this place that already made him feel sick. I simply packed up and walked out of the house while it was still early. This time Yuzumaki Naruto did not choose to go to the market. Of course, he would not go to any market from today on. Anyway, they just sold him some expired things. Do you really think that he is the kid in the past who was bullied by those stupid people? If it weren't for the fact that he still doesn't have the strength to resist, Yuzumaki Naruto must be the first to kill those civilians who have troubled him. It's just that now he doesn't have the thought to waste time on those people. The next five years are still very tense. He is not a person with strong learning ability, so he can only rely on personal attempts one after another. But his luck is also the best, at least he has enough qualifications to touch the dome, and even has the hope of breaking through the dome. Gutilda, Yuzumaki Naruto glanced down at his stomach. It would be great if we could directly indica at this time. It is said that only by reaching this state can one survive without eating, but to think about cultivating immortals in the second dimension. This is too much nonsense. But Yuzumaki Naruto feels a headache when he thinks about what he will eat every day. It's really difficult for me to spend a certain amount of time on eating in the future. Chapter 10 Prepare to move to the training ground. Going downstairs, Yuzumaki Naruto could also see the prosperity of Konoa now. Walking on the street, the streets are full of dazzling shops. Clothes shop, snack bar, and knife shop. After all, it is Konoa, and the internal structure is quite complete. Of course. These stores have nothing to do with Yuzumaki Naruto. Even if these stores have many things he needs, these people will never sell him normal things. A pile of things at home that are months out of date is enough to illustrate the current situation. His identity as Nine Tails Jinchuriki was not revealed, but Sarutobi Hiruzen changed his Jinchuriki identity into the incarnation of the Demon Fox. It's that Demon Fox again. Shut up, you should know that third generation Sama doesn't allow us to say that. The two middle-aged men who ran a shop on the street couldn't help but start talking a little bit when they saw Yuzumaki Naruto walking on the road. Just like Yuzumaki Naruto knows, his identity as Jinchuriki is unknown to these ignorant people, but they all know that he is the so-called Demon Fox incarnation. He took a careful look at Yuzumaki Naruto walking on the street and found that Yuzumaki Naruto didn't hear him, which made him slightly relieved. You should know that Anbu has called everyone who blatantly said these things over for questioning. How dare you say it blatantly? Aren't you afraid of being taken in for questioning for a few days? Another middle-aged man looked at Yuzumaki Naruto walking away angrily. Isn't this kid just a demon fox? We know it, but Lord Third Generation doesn't allow us to say that. Do you understand? Glancing at his friend, the middle-aged man knew that this was because the person he liked died in the disaster during the demon fox rebellion a few years ago, otherwise his friend would not be so emotional. Third generation Sama doesn't want us to say it's because of our good intentions, as long as we don't go too far in some things. Doesn't third generation Sama acquiesce? Another middle-aged man who was extremely angry just now also breathed a sigh of relief. He knew that being angry here was of no use. There are many people in Konoa who want to kill the demon fox to avenge the dead, but can they really do it? They all knew this was impossible. HMPH. Then next time that demon fox comes to my place to buy something, I'll definitely show him some color. Seeing the demon fox going away a little bit. The middle-aged man's eyes were indescribably sinister. There are not just one or two people who have this kind of thinking, but most of the foolish people in Konoa have such thinking. And Yuzumaki Naruto, who walked away, heard these words even more clearly, but he was no longer a child in his heart. He didn't care about those people's words at all. 
What Yuzumaki Naruto needs to think about now is not revenge, but simply filling his stomach. This early in the morning, you don't have to think about going to the market to get something to eat, so the easiest way is to go to the river to look for live fish in the river. In fact, if you are not pressed for time, you can spend a little more time looking for some game in Konoha's training ground. But you have to go to the ninja school in the morning, and there is not enough time, so you can only choose the fastest fish in the river. Dot. Yuzumaki Naruto came to a training place, according to the memory in his mind. The training place Yuzumaki Naruto came to was a place where ninjas rarely came, but he didn't know if it was because he often came to this training place that other ninjas rarely came. It's really a quiet place here. Although he hates those malicious people in Konoha, Yuzumaki Naruto likes this quiet place where no one is there. Maybe it's because he used to be a homebody, but he seems to like staying in such a quiet place all the time. Moreover, this quiet training place is surrounded by mountains, water and woods. To be honest, this place is definitely the most ideal place to live. On the one hand it is a quiet place. On the other hand, this is a place where you can draw your own materials. Food is Yuzumaki Naruto's biggest problem right now. This training ground is a forest, but there is a huge lake in the center. There are all kinds of wild vegetables in the woods, a lot of wild game in the mountains and forests, and even a lot of live fish in the lake. It's like a big canteen in the wild. The things grown here are much fresher than those sold in the market. Dot. Then just live outside. As for the house in Konoha Center, Yuzumaki Naruto no longer wants to go back. At that time, he can build a small wooden house directly on the edge of the lake, so that his future life will be much more convenient. As for whether other ninjas will approach this training place, Yuzumaki Naruto believed that Jenbu and Anbu would definitely inform all that ninjas not to go near this training place. Sar. A small sound of wind reached Yuzumaki Naruto's ears, and he turned around with a smile on his face. Anbu, or the root, but for them. I would be happier if I could come to such a place isolated from others. Sarutobi Hiruzen hopes to control me with emotions and instill in me the so-called thoughts of Konoha. Shimura Danzo wants to control me to gain the power of nine tails, and he will be even happier if he can turn me into a killing machine. However, these two old immortal things will restrain each other. Sarutobi Hiruzen does not want Shimura Danzo to master nine tails, and Shimura Danzo will not be willing to give up nine tails. If these two fight, my life will be peaceful. Of course. I also know that this is absolutely impossible. Sarutobi Hiruzen is much tougher than Shimura Danzo. After all, he is the real third Hokage, and Shimura Danzo is just a pot shadow of Konoha. But this kind of toughness will only be effective when he is still alive. Once Sarutobi Hiruzen is dead, the only person who can restrain Shimura Danzo is completely gone. As for Mitokado Homura and Yutatain Kohari who are the elders, to put it bluntly, they are also people who are attached to the taste of power and refuse to let go. But the rights of these two people are not limited to Shimura Danzo. If the fifth Hokage Senjutsu Nade is not easy to bully, those two old guys will never have a good life. In short, before Konoha faced the external crisis, the internal consumption was very large. The depletion of Hokage and Roots is the most obvious. One of the two immortals is nostalgic for Hokage's rights, and the other wants to get Hokage's position. When there is no external pressure, these two old guys are really going to kill themselves, that is. They will only act together when there is external pressure. Yuzumaki Naruto has always been very disdainful of these two old guys, to put it a bit harshly. These two things are even more disdainful than Chiichiro. Chapter 11 Hokage and Gyokage's Thoughts Early this morning, Sarutobi Hiruzen also came to the Hokage building early to deal with some corresponding affairs. He knows that he is very old, and his energy is no more than when he was young. Now he spends more time dealing with some work than when he was young. Much longer, if possible, Sarutobi Hiruzen really hopes to hand over some trivial work to the think tank. But there is no way, after all, he is the third Hokage, and only he can handle those things. Master Third Generation Sarutobi Hiruzen was not very angry when his preparations for work were interrupted, but he just felt a little strange. What happened to Naruto again? Yes, Yuzumaki Naruto went to Training Ground 23. Training Ground 23. The training ground where Naruto used to go. Sarutobi Hiruzen is still very impressed with the 23 good training ground, because it is a training ground near the edge of Konoha and there is usually nothing Jonin will bring his team to practice there. It was for this reason at the beginning, and Naruto often went to that training ground, so he directly set the training ground as a place where ordinary ninjas were forbidden to enter. Although Sarutobi Hiruzen wanted to use some means to play the emotional card with Naruto, he did not want some emotionally unstable ninjas to come into contact with Naruto. There were many ninjas who hated Naruto because of the Nine Tails Rebellion. In order to avoid trouble, the training ground became a forbidden area except for Naruto. Anbu who came back to report also nodded. Yuzumaki Naruto went to the training ground again today and said he wanted to move in. Hearing this, Sarutobi Hiruzen frowned slightly. It seems Naruto heard too many noises and felt tired of living there. In fact, he has always wanted to control these sounds. Naruto's residence was arranged by him, 
especially in a downtown area of Konoa, just to let Naruto hear some sounds, and he can go to comfort him at a certain time. You can get an emotion card. Of course, he wouldn't go so far as to advertise that Naruto is the incarnation of Nine Tails. These things were done by Danzo and had nothing to do with him. Sarutobi Hiruzen was indeed controlling the sound, but no matter how he controlled it, the sound would still fall into Naruto's ears. If you listen too much and get bored, you will naturally become emotional. There is nothing wrong with not wanting to live in that place. The current Sarutobi Hiruzen is also controlling the voices of the civilians. Those voices have a great influence on the young Naruto, but once they pass, they will have the opposite effect. In that case, let Naruto make his own choice. The members of Anbu knew the decision of Lord Third Generation as soon as they heard it. Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't ask Anbu to help Naruto. Naturally, he decided not to let Anbu intervene. The decision to move out is Naruto's own business. If Anbu intervenes, wouldn't it mean that someone has been watching Naruto? Sarutobi Hiruzen wouldn't do such a mindless thing. Moving out is a clean slate, but there are many things you need to deal with on your own. These things Sarutobi Hiruzen will not help directly unless Naruto takes the initiative to talk to him. At the same time, the Roots also got the news. Sure enough, he's still a child. Shimura Danzo who got the news just sneered. Master Danzo, do we want it? Need not. Shimura Danzo snorted and sat in his seat with an unhappy look on his face. The Route Ninja who was overruled knew that Master Danzo's displeasure was not because of his suggestion, but because the other one would not agree with Master Danzo to do so. In fact, Shimura Danzo was indeed angry because of this. Hiruzen, your method is too gentle. We should use darker methods to deal with Nine Tails Jinchuriki. The Jinchuriki are just tools of the ninja village. They are given too many rights. If they are allowed to act as they please, they will only be the ones who end up unlucky. It's just that Shimura Danzo knew that his old buddy would not listen to his words. He was doing the same dirty things as him, but he still wanted the benevolent Torii. His old buddy was not ordinary greedy. But Shimura Danzo also knew that he had to endure nine tails Jinchuriki matter. The current Hokage is Sarutobi Hiruzen, not him Shimura Danzo. Carrying the darkness on his back. He has not yet been able to stand in the spotlight. If this old man does not step down, he will not be able to reach the front desk. They all hold each other's handle, so they are more able to restrain each other, rather than causing a fight that ends in a dead end. Hi Ruzen, I am not your opponent when it comes to Nine Tails Jinchuriki, because you are the Hokage. But if I get a chance next time, I will never let it go so easily. He had been warned about Nine Tails Jinchuriki from the beginning, and was once again reminded of the question who is the Hokage? Shimura Danzo has always remembered it and it is impossible to forget what happened that day. His old buddy must have known about Namikaze Minato and Yuzu Maki Kashina last time, and if he attacked Nine Tails Jinchuriki again, maybe his situation would become very bad. Shimura Danzo, who has always known the word forbearance, knows in his heart when to let go, and now he doesn't have much time or energy to focus on Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Now he still needs to focus on the Kiyokaika. This made Shimura Danzo touch his right eye unconsciously, thinking of the power of this eye. He couldn't help but feel the fear in his heart and wanted to catch the entire Yuakaiha in one go. It's just that relying on his ability won't work. Yuakaiha is still the first family in Konoa. If he wants to completely exterminate Yuakaiha, the entire Konoa will fall apart in an instant. Besides, Shimura Danzo doesn't think that his roots are powerful enough to wipe out the entire Yuakaiha clan. As the number one family of Konoa, Yuakaiha is not a joke. During the Third Ninja World War, the Yuakaiha family could withstand the raids of San Shinobi and Rock Shinobi with their own strength. Destroyed? No matter how arrogant Shimura Danzo is, he will never be so arrogant. If Genbi had such strength, Shimura Danzo would have already taken the position of Hokage. Why would there be any need to hide in the darkness all the time and attack Yuakaiha openly? I'm afraid all the families in Konoa will start to panic. Although he hopes to get Hokage's position, he doesn't want Konoa to become Konoa alone. In that case, even if he got Hokage's position, it would be meaningless. But now, the opportunity has finally arrived. Chapter 12 Building a Temporary Home With the acquiescence of both major forces in Konoa, Yuzu Maki Naruto easily decided where he would live for the next five years. However, this is just the beginning. There is no problem in moving out, but the place where you move out needs to be a place that can protect you from wind and rain. It's just that such a place is not so easy to build. Living alone outside is a lot of trouble. Although Yuzu Maki Naruto hopes to build his new home next to the lake in the center of the training ground, it will not only have enough scenery in the future but it can also be used as a place for him to exercise. Thinking like this, Yuzu Maki Naruto walked into the depths of the woods little by little. It only took a moment to see it. The lake looked like it was glowing under the sunlight. Really nice place. You can hear the sounds of birds and animals running around, and you can also hear the humming of insects. 
the environment is good and the temperature is not very high. It is indeed a relatively suitable place to live. Yuzumaki Naruto is really satisfied with this place. However, it is not easy to live nearby. Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo will be acquiescing to my actions if they don't stop me. Haha <laughs> I'm afraid Yukaiha is in turmoil internally, and they don't have much time to devote to me, right? A bunch of idiots who only know internal friction. Why would Yukaiha want to cause civil strife? In the final analysis, isn't it all due to Senju Tobirama? Sarutobi Hiruzen is a person who respects teachers very much, so he followed the instructions of his teacher Senju Tobirama to deal with Yukaiha, and at the same time, Senju completely withdrew from the stage of history. Except for a difficult to handle Senju Tsunade who became his apprentice, direct bloodlines like Senju Nawaki were sent directly to the battlefield. By chance, the team ran directly into a Jonan team. Alas Senju Nawaki, a direct bloodline of the Senju family, was dealt with in this way. After all, adhering to the principles of Senju Tobirama, Yuikaiha is a very dangerous family, and similarly, Senju is also a very dangerous family. In order to stop these two families from becoming dangerous, it is necessary to deal with both families. Senju Tobirama is not a good thing either. As for Senju Hashirama, he is just a person who was twisted by Ashura's soul. He is strong enough but only knows how to kneel and kowtow. Hi it seems that Yuzumaki Naruto has had something like this happen to him, right? Yuzumaki Naruto suddenly remembered that Yuzumaki Naruto seemed to kneel directly in front of the two losers in Cloud Shinobi in order to make them give up their hatred for Yuukai Hasasuke. If that's the case, Shouldn't Cloud Shinobi also have to deal with it? At this moment, Yuzumaki Naruto's heart was full of malice. It would be really interesting if Yuukai Husasuke's plan succeeds. Maybe I should guide Yuukai Husasuke in this direction. After sneering in his heart for a while, Yuzumaki Naruto looked at the surrounding environment, and his malicious mood gradually softened. I need to control my emotions. If I am led by malice at will, I will definitely make wrong judgments. I'm still too emotional. It seems that I need to get rid of this bad habit in the next five years. Taking a deep breath and breathing in the fresh air, Yuzumaki Naruto felt that his body and mind were much emptier. No wonder many people like to live in seclusion in such a quiet place, and now Yuzumaki Naruto knows the reason. If possible. Yuzumaki Naruto really hopes to ignore the troubles and find a place to settle down directly and live an isolated life. Unfortunately, the situation is pressing. Even though Yuzumaki Naruto wanted to live a quiet life in such a place forever, the situation outside never gave him a chance to be quiet. As long as he does not have the power to change his destiny, he will be led by fate. Sa, it's time to find a place to live. It is not possible to live by the lake now, mainly because Yuzumaki Naruto does not have enough materials to build a house by the lake. If there is wood style, wouldn't it be easy to build a residence at this time? But the problem is that he does not have the conditions to use wood style. The same yang power as the previous reincarnation of Ashuru is already present, but the water and soil are not yet available. Of course, even with these two attributes, wood style cannot be studied now. Yuzumaki Naruto didn't think too much. It would be a long time before he could do this. What he needed to do now was to build a basic residence obediently. Although Yuzumaki Naruto is a modern person, he does not have the so-called knowledge of building a house, so he can only make some simple preparations. Find a few thicker logs and dig four holes in the ground deep enough to bury the logs. It took a little effort to dig the hole. After the four logs were erected, everything else became easy. Yuzumaki Naruto built a temporary hut in the forest next to the lake. It was a place where the woods were relatively lush. Although it would be better to find a suitable tree hole at this time, there are no such big trees near the training site, so it is naturally impossible to find a suitable tree hole. But it's not bad even if it's set up in the woods. Yuzumaki Naruto specifically chose a place with a lot of woods so that when the four logs were put up, he could tie a section of the log to the tree, at least it would not be broken down so easily while sleeping. The ceiling was also made of thicker wood to make a frame, and then a few strong vines were found to completely tie the frame and four pieces of wood standing on the ground together. The last step is to find some medium thick wood to pave the entire ceiling, and then scatter some large leaves on the ceiling. On the top, dry straw mixed with soil is glued together, and a layer of large leaves is spread on the top. In this way, the simple residence is settled. Few dot 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 it's really tiring. Yuzumaki Naruto was still very satisfied with his efforts all morning. Although it is ventilated from all sides, the roof is integrated with the surrounding woods, and there are four thick logs as the backbone, so ordinary wind should not cause any problems. The scale is not small, but the surrounding area and the ground still need some treatment. You can't get wet now with the rain, but the wind is still unbearable. It's just that these days, he shouldn't have to worry about the wind blowing so hard that he can't sleep. The weather has been very good recently. After all, it has just passed the first days of spring, and it is now a warm day. But preparations had to be made. In a few months it would be rainy days. If nothing was done, he would have to sleep on a wet bed in the future. Chapter 13 I went home and picked up some plastic sheets that were put on the floor. These were for temporary use. Then I moved out of the bed, 
some spice boxes and wardrobes. It was a little troublesome in the process, but fortunately there were unused carts nearby, which happened to allow Yuzu Yumaki Naruto to move things. The temporary shelter was built in one morning, and all the things that could be used in the house were moved to the temporary shelter in one afternoon. It's finally over. Looking at the results of his whole day, Yuzu Maki Naruto is still very satisfied. At least where he lives in the future can make him feel calmer. It's not a thing to know that there are always people whispering in your ears. Even if Yuzu Maki Naruto could regard these people's words as a group of dogs barking in his ears, it would be annoying to bark too much. It seems to be much cleaner here. Can't hear the noise like before. Did you take the initiative to keep a certain distance from me? After accepting the power of Yang, Yuzu Maki Naruto felt that his body was getting stronger quickly, and his five senses were also strengthening little by little, as if he had heard the sound that did not sound like the wind before and judged the actions of Anbu and the roots. Same, it's just that after keeping a certain distance, the sound became less obvious. After all, there are still many voices in the woods, and it is not easy to judge the specific location of those people just by the sound. It would be great if there is Kagura from the Yuzu Maki clan at a time like this, as the strongest perception technique in the Hokage. The range it can cover is so large. The range of perception has a radius of tens of kilometers. This distance is even farther than Byakagon. Moreover, this kind of perception technique is tiled perception, and the wide area perception technique is not the type of Bayan who looks for it little by little. It has a large range, a wide spread, and can search for enemies based on chakra. It can be said that Kagura Mind I can definitely be called Hokage's strongest perception technique. Maybe there will be, as a member of the Yuzu Maki clan. My perception ability is not bad. If my personal ability improves, I might be able to do it. But before that, you need to start exercising chakras control. But before exercising control, you need to understand one thing, and that is the usefulness of chakra. Chakra is a mixture of energy, physical energy and spiritual energy. This kind of energy is of great help to the body, and even has a great strengthening effect. Condensing chakra on feet, or even attaching itself to walls. Of course, chakra can not only be condensed on the feet, but the feet are the most difficult place to condense chakra on the body. As long as you learn how to condense the appropriate amount of chakra on the feet. This appropriate amount is definitely the most troublesome word for people who are new to it, because everyone's appropriate amount is different. This is a rule of thumb. This kind of experience is the most troublesome. It is entirely through personal experience to determine how much this appropriate amount is. So what is needed is a lot of exercise to grasp what level the appropriate amount is. The existence of chakra is necessary. That kind of physical energy can not only release the corresponding ninjutsu through hand seals, but the difference is the form of chakra's expression. Ninjutsu is the most direct form of expression. By using chakra to change some external things, we can see certain behaviors while affecting reality. It's like a wall of earth rising from the ground, and a water dragon spewing out of its mouth. It's like the release of energy has caused something in reality to change, or chakra has distorted reality and caused such changes. The expression of illusion is slightly more restrained. It just uses chakra to forcibly change the opponent's mental consciousness with its own mental power, just like hypnosis. It probably emits a special brain wave to prompt the opponent to enter the state of hypnosis. Similar to genjutsu, taijutsu is not that explicit type. Strengthen your physical abilities through chakra and speed up your movement. Chakra stimulates the body's cell tissues like an electric current, allowing the body to explode with stronger power. It can be said that whether ninjas use ninjutsu, illusion, or physical skills, they all need chakra. However, for many ninjutsu, illusions, and physical skills, the more chakra, the better. The real test is more about the chakra. Meticulous application. Because investing too much chakra in many ninjutsu will only destroy the balance of the technique. Not all that ninjutsu can be overcome by relying on the amount of chakra. If it simply relied on the amount of chakra, then use Yumaki Naruto would have surpassed Hatake Kakashi by dozens of blocks. So a large amount of chakra is not a sign of real strength. How to make better use of every bit of chakra and how to face different talents are the real keys. After considering these things, use Yumaki Naruto's mood completely calmed down. Chakra being called a chakra is not something to be proud of. On the other hand, chakra has already been called a chakra, but the biggest problem is that it is still so difficult to deal with one or two people. Everything starts with the control of chakra. I have more than five years to prepare. I have the time and I have the energy. Unlike others, I have the qualifications to reach the highest point. As long as I work hard enough, I can do a lot of things even without relying on this amazing chakra. To be able to master stronger power earlier in the future, what use Yumaki Naruto needs to do is actually very simple, which can be summed up in two words, accumulation. After being mentally prepared, what use Yumaki Naruto needs to do becomes simple. Learn and accumulate. I lit the candles at home. But these candles also used a lot of leftover things. After all, you can't buy serious things. These candles can only be found in some garbage. Fortunately, there is still a lot of garbage like this in Konoha. You will definitely not be able to use this kind of thing for lighting in the future. At that time, 
you will need to collect some vegetable oils and resins as substitutes for the light source. Moving will definitely be quite difficult at first, but then you get used to this kind of life. It's just that the ceiling needs to be gradually expanded in the future. Such a small space is not enough, and some stones need to be placed on the ceiling, otherwise a gust of wind may blow the shed away. With the help of the light, Yuzu Maki Naruto also read the detailed explanation of the hand seals. This is the basis for activating ninjutsu. Chakra control cannot be done today but you can get familiar with the hand seals in the evening. From today on, hand seals are also the knowledge that Yuzu Maki Naruto needs to supplement. The previous clone technique took 5 seconds to complete the seal, which was almost a turtle speed. This kind of sealing speed is not good. However, before increasing the speed, you first need to spend time to thoroughly memorize the seal, which takes even more time. Chapter 14 I thought it would be so difficult. One night is not particularly useful for Yuzu Maki Naruto, that is, he has completely memorized the 12 seals and he can quickly enter the state to complete the seals, and can also ensure accurate seals. Cool. The results are pretty good, even though it took me an entire night. The result in one night is very good, I have memorized 12 seals, and I can also complete the seals accurately, but the speed is not very fast after the accuracy rate is guaranteed. Before this evening's study, Yuzu Maki Naruto's seal formation speed was 3 seals in 5 seconds. But after a night of hard work, Yuzu Maki Naruto's seal formation speed has now become 3 seals in 2 seconds. Although the speed has only changed from 0.6 seals per second to 1.5 seals per second, this can be considered a great improvement. Compared with those perverts, Yuzu Maki Naruto doesn't have such a pervert hand speed, and he doesn't know how those not speeds are trained. It's just that Yuzu Maki Naruto also knows that a ninjutsu doesn't actually require the speed of so many seals, but it does need to streamline the ninjutsu's seals. Otherwise, Hatake Kakashi uses Water Dragon Bomb with more than 40 seals. Why does Sanjuto Bairama only need 3 seals to use the same ninjutsu? After all, the number of ninjutsu seals can be streamlined. Moreover, there must be a certain reason why ninjutsu requires seals. If the reason can be found, it may be possible to reduce the number of seals needed for ninjutsu. But this is what Yuzu Maki Naruto needs to do in the future. It may be possible to study it in the past 5 years, but now this is not what Yuzu Maki Naruto wants to do. After all, this is also a big project. I was busy yesterday. Today is a normal rest day. No, there are two rest days, which can be considered as giving me some time to adapt. Then let's start today. The ratio of 1 to 1 is still too much. According to what I thought about yesterday, we should minimize the loss of excess chakra and save as much physical and energy consumption as possible. Although the body has begun to change in a better direction due to the power of Yang, this change is not instantaneous, but subtle, that is, it takes time to catalyze. Chakra created with physical energy and spiritual energy will be consumed in the body, and this loss is a waste of physical energy and spiritual energy. Therefore, it is correct not to refine chakra unless necessary. Then come down and try the new chakra refining technique. Yuzu Maki Naruto did not make any changes to the low efficiency chakra refining technique. After all, his level has not yet reached the point where he can change the content of the technique, but he can change the ratio. After all, physical energy and mental energy are fused into chakra under his control so he can still do such a little thing. This time it is no longer 1 to 1 like before, but 0.1 to 0.1. Looking at the substantial blue chakra in his hand, Yuzu Maki Naruto still sighed. It's still a bit more. Although the amount of chakra produced is 10 times less than that of 1 to 1, it is still very much. After all, the chakra used by clone technique and body replacement technique is not very much, and it is enough to recreate it if it is exhausted. Is a waste. Is it going to be reduced tenfold? Try it. Yuzu Maki Naruto releases all the chakra that is now condensed, and restarts making chakra at a level of 0.01 to 0.01. This time there is no substantive chakra. It's all right now. It is enough to make chakra according to this ratio for normal exercise, and it will be fine to make chakra after the chakra is used up. There is no need to worry about chakra. The initial method of chakra's control method is very simple. As long as most of you have seen Hokage, you know it. Isn't it just climbing trees and treading water? But that set is a bit risky. People who try to control chakra for the first time may fall directly from the tree because of instability, and may even land on the back of their head. Just imagining that scene made Yuzu Maki Naruto feel a sharp pain in the back of his head. It's better to prepare more soft things. There were a lot of soft things that could be used to cushion one's back in the woods. Yuzu Maki Naruto spent some time finding a lot of leaves and vines nearby and placed them all on the ground. Well, that's about it. This pile of leaves and vines can still support his weight. He is only 8 years old now, and his weight is not as heavy as it will be in 5 years. Prepared in advance, gathered chakra on his feet, and stepped on the tree trunk. Crack. Just one kick pierced through a big tree that three people could hug. Dot. Yuzu Maki Naruto himself was a little confused by this operation. What's the matter? I don't condense a lot of chakra, 
Why did I penetrate a tree with one kick? Do you need any less? After thinking about it, I reduced the amount of chakra again. He raised his feet and stepped on the tree trunk. Click. The force was still too great, but this time it didn't directly cause the trunk to penetrate. It just cracked the skin on the surface of the trunk. Not enough? It's strange. My chakra is not condensed very much. Take a deep breath. Continue to reduce the chakra's output. Almost reduce the chakra to the minimum, and then step on the tree trunk. This time I finally stepped firmly on the tree trunk. Huh. I finally succeeded. I failed three times in a row. I thought I would never fail. These very Vesai words completely made Anbu, who was watching, so angry that he was internally injured. I failed three times in drafting the uncle. Do you know how many times we failed before we succeeded in climbing a tree? As ninjas, all Anbu have gone through this journey. Chakra control is actually very difficult, far from being as simple as imagined. If you want to use ninjutsu better, chakra control is a required course. The control of chakra is definitely not easy. Unless you are the kind of ninja who is very good at controlling chakra, like a medical ninja and a genjutsu type ninja. But as long as you are not these two types of ninjas, no matter how talented you are, you will need to go through some time of training before you can complete the training of climbing trees. But the Nine Tails Jinchuriki in front of him, who was supposed to be in chakra chaos, only stood firmly on the trunk of a tree three times, and steadily climbed to the top of the big tree step by step. Then, when all the Anbu heard the following sentence, they couldn't help but want to curse. Is it that easy? I thought it would be difficult to climb a tree, but it seems those Jenins are really not good at it. Go easy on you, question mark. It is normal for Jenin who has just received this training to be unable to climb up. Chapter 15, Can I Reach Heaven by Groping on My Own? HMPH, this time it's confirmed, there are seven people in total. The words just now were naturally said by Yuzumaki Naruto on purpose just to confirm how many people were staring at him. But it's just a method used against some inexperienced guys in Anbu. There is no movement at all at the root. The root is the darkness of Konoha, and most of the people inside have been deprived of emotions. Most of them have even given up on so-called emotions, and have instead become machines that can only complete tasks. This third generation project really thinks highly of me and has arranged so many things around me. Yuzu Maki Naruto had been paying attention to his surroundings before because he had known for a long time that Anbu and the people around him were watching. Exposing one's chakra control this time is a test, and it also lays the foundation for the future. In the past five years, he will not learn any ninjutsu except three-body technique, but the control of chakra is what he needs to learn, because he still has to complete the five attributes of chakra nature under the gaze of seven pairs of eyes. Transformation. In the future, we will deal with chakra a lot, so it is not a problem for chakra's control to be exposed in advance, and it can even reduce Anbu's vigilance towards him. Yuzu Maki Naruto, who had been mentally prepared for a long time, was not angry at all. After all, he knew what kind of person Sarutobi Hayaruzen was. Now these operations are too ordinary for Sarutobi Hayaruzen. Testing out the number of these people is also to avoid more trouble. There is no big problem if Chakra's control is exposed. Although the Nine Tails seal will be eroded by the Chakra of Nine Tails, eventually causing chaos in the Chakra, but what if the seal for the purpose of fourth generation is awesome? The corpses are sealed away. This is the forbidden book in the sealing technique plus the eight sign seal formed by the double four image seal. Under this kind of operation, no one really knows whether the chakra of nine tails Jinchuriki will be eroded. And it's just a Jinchuriki with a lot of chakra and strong control. In fact, it doesn't pose much of a threat. It's enough as long as Jinchuriki is not exposed to too strong ninjutsu. I'm afraid that's what Sarutobi Hayaruzen thinks. Maybe he would also think about using the so-called will of fire to brainwash nine tails Jinchuriki, and then let Jinchuriki work hard for Konoha. It's a very naive idea. Yuzu Maki Naruto is the reincarnation of Ashura. Sarutobi Hayaruzen's operation will definitely close the path of Yuzu Maki Naruto to defection. Third generation, just continue with your naive ideas. Next, I will continue to pretend to be autistic to make you feel more at ease with me. I only need to vaguely reveal some desire for friendship, and you will go in the direction I want. Yuzu Maki Naruto knew what he wanted. So he also knew what others expected of him. Sarutobi Hayaruzen hopes to use the bond chain to completely tie him to the Konoha ship, but is there anyone in Konoha who is bonded to Nine Tails Jinchuriki? It's really hilarious. Just as Yuzu Maki Naruto expected, Anbu's people had already informed Sarutobi Hayaruzen. Sarutobi Hayaruzen was silent for a moment when he heard the news. Can Jinchuriki, who has been sealed by Nine Tails, still control Chakra so freely? The previous two generations of Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Yuzu Maki Maito and Yuzu Maki Kashina could not control chakra well. Is it because the effect of sealing out the corpses is too strong? A Jinchuriki the chakra can control freely is still very rare. Neither of the previous two Nine Tails Jinchuriki could control chakra well, but the seal of this Nine Tails Jinchuriki is different. Their zombie sealing technique is a very powerful sealing technique, and it is also the strongest seal of the Yuzu Maki clan. The sealing technique needs to sacrifice the soul of the caster 
and the existence of Shinigami can be seen during the use. After the seal is completed, Shinigami will take away the soul of the caster. The seals on Yuzumaki Maito and Yuzumaki Kashina are not such powerful seals. But the seal on Yuzumaki Naruto is so powerful. It is because this is an overly powerful seal that Yuzumaki Naruto has not gone berserk in the past. So, is it also because of this seal that Yuzumaki Naruto's chakra control is very strong now? Maybe so. After all, it was Minato who used his own life to cast the sealing technique. He also made a lot of preparations for Naruto. The poor control of Jinchuriki chakra is a big problem. Maybe Minato has already known this and made all preparations. Besides, the situation happened so suddenly, maybe Minato was preparing for Kashina. Although the strength of the seal will be reduced when Jinchuriki is produced, Konoha has already made all preparations before production. If there is no accident, Kashina will definitely not have such an accident. It's just chakra control, and it's not ninjutsu. Even chakra control is what Naruto thought of learning after watching Jen in practice. It's not a big problem. Sarutobi Hiruzen also has his own principles and he will not change his principles casually as long as it is not a general issue. He feels guilty about Yuzumaki Naruto, but as Hokage he will not feel any guilt because this is for Konoha. So his attitude towards Yuzumaki Naruto is that he hopes to win over him and become the backbone of Konoha, and use the relationship between people to capture Yuzumaki Naruto. And the little bit of guilt in his heart was that he would turn a blind eye when Yuzumaki Naruto had some minor problems. What's more, is chakra control a big deal? As a ninja, how can a ninja not exercise? As long as no one deliberately teaches Yuzumaki Naruto, how far can Yuzumaki Naruto go by himself? Therefore, the strongest Hokage in history felt relieved after some thought. There is no need to report Naruto if he continues to do such things in the future. It is enough to ensure that no one teaches him. Third generation Sama, from now on, as long as Yuzumaki Naruto exercises by himself, it will be normal. Naruto is also at this age. If he has to figure it out on his own, let him do it on his own. Sarutobi Hiruzen does not believe that Yuzumaki Naruto can make a bigger name by groping alone. After all, ninja is a profession that needs to be passed on. Without Jonin's careful guidance, Jenin would not be able to stand up. This is true even for Jenin, and even more so for a student with a special status like Yuzumaki Naruto who has not even graduated from the ninja school. The current Yuzumaki Naruto can only learn the three-body technique and chakra control at most. These are just the basics of Jenin. So what if Yuzumaki Naruto has figured them out? Therefore, at this moment Sarutobi Hiruzen directly ordered the extent of surveillance in the future. Chapter 16 The First Plop In the next two days, Yuzumaki Naruto's life became very boring. I found some time in the morning to expand my living area, that is, I found some broken wood in the forest, and gradually surrounded myself into what a house should look like. After the rough frame is in place, the surrounding gaps are directly sealed from the outside with plastic sheets which directly reduces the problem of night wind and rainwater drifting into the house. Apart from this, the rest of the time is spent on exercise and thinking. Nine Tails, why didn't it affect me? Yuzumaki Naruto does not simply think that Nine Tails is so peaceful in his body. You must know that Yuzumaki Naruto in the original work is deeply influenced by Nine Tails Chakra, and even cannot use ninjutsu properly because of Nine Tails Chakra. Dot. Is it the power of Yang? Nine Tails erosion of him will never stop. But it is true that the noisy Nine Tails has completely given up on his form. If he had the influence of Nine Tails, he would never be able to control Chakra so easily. Can the pure power of Yang resist the erosion of Nine Tails? It shouldn't be that simple. Could it be because of activism? That guy did say that after receiving the power of Yang, I have undergone some changes, and my physical condition has begun to return to the direction of the third generation bloodline. Is it possible that this return has changed my physique? making me more able to withstand the tailed beast's chakra? It seemed that this answer was closer to the truth, but this answer made Yuzumaki Naruto a little unhappy. In the final analysis, he is only at the level of the third generation, and he is still someone's grandson. Yuzumaki Naruto, who knows the plot, will not think that Atsatsuki Heigoromo is a good person who can design his two sons to be reincarnated from generation to generation and deliberately use the distorted ideas of two people to create demon kings and brave men for the ninja world. This kind of behavior is not what a good person can do. As for what Otsatsuki Heigoromo and Otsatsuki Hamura did to their mother, to put it bluntly, they were just two bastards. A person who can seal his own mother away after just two words from a toad can already be called a beast. Yuzumaki Naruto has no idea what he will do in the future but he can wait until he takes revenge on Konoha and has time to think about it. Yuzumaki Naruto has no interest in saving the world. If he really establishes a suitable relationship with Yuukai Hasasuke in the future, then there is no problem in leaving the world to Yuukai Hasasuke. Anyway, he doesn't care at all about the changes in the world. As long as it doesn't affect him, feel free to change it. It's not time to think about this yet. If the power of the sun allows me to return to the third generation, it will indeed be a good thing for me. Nine Tails Chakra is a problem. If it is always affected like this, 
Half of the five years will be wasted. After all, the impact of this kind of play on chakra is really great. Now that I can confirm my chakra control, I can directly start the wind attribute nature transformation. Fire burns, wind cuts, thunder electrocutes, earth hardens, and water changes. As long as the nature transformation with five attributes is completed and the power of yin is obtained, you can start planning to combine the seven attributes. No, maybe eight attributes into one to create the truth-seeking ball. The eighth attribute is a strange one that is beyond the attributes of chakra, nature. Nature is the original power of this world. It is not a power born from the chakra system, but a power that symbolizes nature. Natural. Magic chakra is probably just a derivative of chakra. It is to simplify the way of obtaining natural power so that people can easily use the power of nature. The Otsutsuki clan has been planting sacred trees in different worlds. Maybe the sacred trees absorb the natural power of each world to allow the sacred trees to grow and bear chakra fruits. Although all this is just Yuzumaki Naruto's own speculation, what if this is really the case? It was because the toad of Mount Myoboku knew the purpose of the Otsutsuki clan that he beguiled Otsutsuki Kaguya's two sons to oppose her and finally let the two beasts forcefully seal their mother. If the power of nature is the foundation of this world, then the toad of Mount Myoboka would do such a thing for his own survival. If this is really the case, then chakra fruit can naturally be produced. No wonder magic can be integrated into the chakra system. On the other hand, if the power of nature can be integrated into the ultimate of the chakra system, which is the truth-seeking ball, does that mean that the truth-seeking ball will completely exceed its limits? It seems that I have one more project that I can try. Sage mode. No. What Yuzumaki Naruto is looking for is not just sage mode, but complete senjutsu, not a simplified version of senjutsu mixed with chakra. Completely absorb the power of nature, turn it into your own power, and integrate it into the truth-seeking ball. It sounds crazy, but Yuzumaki Naruto is very interested in it. Then, now we need to finish treading water directly. From Sarutobi Hayaruzen's understanding, I have the impression that chakra has strong control. Then let's get started. There wasn't a lot of preparation needed to tread water. At least Yuzumaki Naruto didn't have to go looking for those in the woods. However, in order to prevent his clothes from getting wet, Yuzumaki Naruto still changed into this suit. Although the clothes he wears now are really not that good, he will not choose to change clothes casually before he has a stable financial income. You still need to pay attention when you should pay attention. Sometimes it is a good thing to save a little, otherwise you have to deal with these things yourself. Taking off his clothes, Yuzumaki Naruto was ready for anything. Condensing the chakra on his feet. He then stepped on the water and his feet sank a little. Although part of his weight was already on the water, part of his feet was still sinking under the water. Is it missing? Increased the concentration of some chakra. With previous experience, the amount of chakra increased by Yuzumaki Naruto is not a lot, otherwise it will definitely sink. Lifting his feet, he continued to step on the water. This time, the feet did not sink directly under the water, but stood on the water. That's it. Yuzumaki Naruto took a breath and put his other foot on the water. Thump. Chapter 17 The Jealous Anbu Team. Puff. Yuzumaki Naruto, who looked depressed, slowly stood up from the water with his hands on the water. The speed of standing up was not very fast, and half of the feet were still submerged under the water, but he actually stood up. Chakra's control is really complicated. Controlling chakra on the water is much more difficult than walking up a tree trunk. After adapting to the chakra required for climbing a tree trunk, Yuzumaki Naruto is a little uncomfortable with a sudden change to the water. There is still a big difference between solids and liquids. However, looking at his feet that had successfully stood on the water, Yuzumaki Naruto knew that his control was no longer normal. It's the first time I've come into contact with chakra, and I can control it so freely. Even if I have an innate advantage, it's not so exaggerated. According to rumors, Ashura is a person without talent, but now he behaves not like a person without talent at all, but more like a person full of talents. In other words, I am freed from Ashura's restrictions. My talent is completely inherited from Yuzumaki Naruto's original talent, and Ashura's soul has become the nourishment for my growth. It's really interesting. If that old immortal knew that the souls of his two sons would be disposed of by me, he would be very happy. Thinking of such an interesting thing, Yuzumaki Naruto couldn't help laughing. After stopping his smile, Yuzumaki Naruto walked barefoot on the water, and then sat directly on the water, just in case. Chakra's control still needs to be exercised for a while. Although Chakra's control is now available, Yuzumaki Naruto does not think that this level of control is his limit. If he is affected, then Yuzumaki Naruto will choose to quit here temporarily and re-exercise Chakra control after selling Nine Tails. But now that you are not affected by Nine Tails Chakra, there is no need to waste time and you can start directly now. Anbu who was next to him saw all this, but they were all very depressed now. It's normal for you to tread water and fall in for the first time but you successfully completed the treading water exercise after falling once. What's going on with this kid's chakra control? Climbing a tree is successful three times, 
treading water is successful only two times, although they also know that some people's chakra control is so pervert, they rarely see people who can pervert to this extent. If it is a genin who specializes in genjutsu and medical ninjutsu, they can barely accept it. After all, both genin ninjas who specialize in genjutsu and medical ninjutsu need strong chakra control. But the problem is that this type of ninja cannot perfectly control chakra within two days after just refining it. However, Jin Churiki from Nine Tails refined chakra in front of their eyes, and completed the practice of treading water and climbing trees on the second day after refining chakra. This is really outrageous. This is simply a typical example of how God rewards food. When I think about how exaggerated the amount of chakra of Nine Tails Jin Churiki is, and now know that the control of chakra of nine tails Jin Churiki is so exaggerated, the mentality of Anbu like them is about to collapse. Although as a ninja, if you want to show the strength of Chunin or even Jonin, you need other conditions to support it. But compared to other people, nine tails Jin Churiki is born with abnormal chakra amount and extraordinary chakra control. As long as it accumulates slowly in the future, becoming a Jonin is inevitable. Hey Tilda, think about it and know how terrifying it is. For an eight-year-old child, as long as he steadily accumulates, it is a sure thing to become a Jonin. If those special Jonin knew about this, their mentality would probably collapse. Do you know how difficult it is for a ninja to slowly climb up from Jonin to Chunin? Chakra is the biggest limitation. If you don't have the chakra that a Jonin should have, and you don't have the strength that a Jonin should have, you can't be a Jonin. Even if you have rich combat experience, you cannot become a Jonin without the corresponding strength. This is the fact that their ninjas are iron-like. What's more, Jonin is not an honorary title. The stronger Jonin means that he has to face more difficult tasks. If you don't have the strength of Jonin, you will die if you take the title of Jonin. Others also felt somewhat jealous in their hearts. Not all of them are Jonin, most of them responsible for surveillance work are Chunin, and except for the captain, they are all still hanging around at the Chunin level. Now watching an eight-year-old child just need daily accumulation to become a Jonin in the future. They all feel mixed emotions. Stop talking, we are all sour. Except for Anbu's captain, Everyone else had a sour look on their faces. These Chunin are elites among ordinary Chunin, and their abilities are almost equal to those of special Jonin, but what they are good at is hiding their aura, so they will never be able to become special Jonin. Because they are Anbu. They will not retire unless they retire from the ranks of Anbu. Anbu gets a special title of Jonin, but that's just a title. In particular, there is no comparison between Jonin and genuine Jonin. Even if they quit Anbu and get a special Jonin title, if they don't have enough strength, it's really just a title. At most, it's just some ordinary subsidies that are similar to what Jonin gets. But it was because of this that they felt even more sad. As the captain of Team Anbu, and as a Jonin himself, he also felt a subtle emotion that was difficult to express. The condition that limits all ninjas from continuing to improve is chakra. Therefore, people who are born with super strong chakra often have a good future in the future, while ninjas with average chakra power can only choose to become ordinary Chunin, and finally be sent to a special Jonin to the retirement city. That's good. Be quiet. Now is not the time to rest. Hearing the captain's reminder, the other members of Anbu suppressed their sour taste and continued to quietly monitor Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Third generation Sama has already said that there is no need to continue to report any kind of exercise Uzumaki Naruto does from now on, just make sure that no one comes into contact with Uzumaki Naruto. What does this sentence mean? Chunin present understands it clearly. This means that it is unrealistic for Nine Tails Jinchuriki to gain strength earlier, at least until they graduate from the ninja school. Before that, Nine Tails Jin Churiki will only you can only learn three body technique. Several people laughed in their hearts when they thought of this, and the sourness just now was driven away. So what if you have talent? Still being Nine Tails Jin Churiki and not being taken seriously. Chapter 18, 40% chakra left after practicing for a day. Yuzu Maki Naruto would definitely find it funny if he knew the psychological activities of these people. He never thought about receiving Konoha's attention from the beginning. All he is doing now is to lay the foundation for his future. Jiria is his future teacher. Yuzumaki Naruto admits is a good person and the only one who will be good to him. But it is a pity that Jiria is from Konoha. Since he has decided that his future will not be from Konoha, he will not find Rijiria as his teacher. If you learn things from Konoha, you will naturally be labeled as Konoha. Instead of wasting time on Konoha, it's better to think about your yin-yang release and truth-seeking ball. And now Yuzumaki Naruto has also entered a state of exercise. Chakra's control exercise is not just about climbing trees and treading water. It is just the most elementary control exercise. The real difficulty is in the latter part. Any type of chakra will be noticed when used, thus capturing the specific location of the person involved. Yuzumaki Naruto didn't know if this was the way those Jonin sensed the opponent's position, but he could see it if he was standing on the water. Ripples can be seen where the surface of the foot contacts the water surface, and the ripples of the water begin to spread around where the surface of the water contacts the surface of the foot. Because chakra is a kind of energy, and energy is in motion, 
and failure to control chakra well is like ripples on the water, which will be noticed immediately. The stronger the ninja will be, the stronger the use and perception of chakra will be, so chakra is not just a large amount. More refined chakra control will change the use value of chakra. The use of chakra means exposing one's position and more precise use of chakra can reduce the possibility of exposure. Even fine chakra control can be used to hide the breath. Yuzumaki Naruto knew that he could not control the chakra he created. If he could achieve fine control, he could control the refining of chakra more finely, which would save more consumption of physical ability and mental energy. There's no rush, I still need to come a little bit. Ripples can still be seen on the water under your feet. If the chakra is reduced too much, it will fall into the water. If the chakra is too much, two big water ripples will appear. The more finely the chakra is controlled, the fewer the water ripples will be. It's just that Yuzumaki Naruto is also somewhat self-aware of himself. If you want to further control your energy, you don't have to think about it every few years. Although he has completed the rough tree climbing and water treading exercises, they are only the foundation of the basics. Only after completing these two exercises can you continue to think about the subsequent training, otherwise he will be too ambitious. Standing quietly on the water, this method of continuously outputting chakra can be regarded as a way to hone chakra control. Yuzumaki Naruto will not waste this time when exercising control. In addition to control, which needs to be learned, hand seals also need to be particularly familiar. At the moment when I was treading water, my hands were constantly making seals. There is no direct infusion of chakra into the seal, it is just to practice proficiency rather than actually preparing to release the ninjutsu. Now Yuzumaki Naruto's goal is to train the seals to a faster speed. Although it is not as exaggerated as 6 seals per second, it still needs to be trained to the normal 3 seals per second, otherwise he can use ninja. The speed of the operation is a bit too slow. And you also need to take into account the simplified printing of 3 body technique. You don't need to worry about the transformation technique for the time being. After all, the ninjutsu itself only has one seal and is very fast to use. The key is the clone technique and the body replacement technique. If the seals required for these two ninjutsu can be successfully simplified, then they can be better used when graduating from ninja school and taking on some tasks. It's just that training doesn't happen overnight. The fact that Emperor Guy was so awesome that he almost got kicked out of the finale was also because of his unremitting training over many years. Therefore, exercise cannot go wrong and only the strength obtained through hard work cannot be deceived. Yuzumaki Naruto also gradually became immersed in this training atmosphere. In such an atmosphere, the day passed quickly. Stepping on the water, Yuzumaki Naruto felt the darkness of the sky and stopped the hand seal. My physical ability is indeed getting stronger every moment. The hands that had been forming seals had actually been sore for a long time, but the gentle chakra in the body soon soaked into the hands allowing the hands to slowly recover from the soreness, and you could even feel that the fingers became more flexible. Dot. Not a lot, but if there is such growth every day, then it will be worth looking forward to in five years. Yuzumaki Naruto has very high requirements for himself. After all, he knows that his future ceiling is very high, so he is even more looking forward to his situation in five years. Gu -gu -gu. Listening to the growling of his stomach and feeling the discomfort his body felt due to insufficient energy, Yuzumaki Naruto let go of the chakra on his feet and instead let his body sink into the lake. The energy control is good enough to alleviate the body's energy consumption which is good. It won't make me overly hungry. During the exercise just now, Yuzumaki Naruto had always controlled the consumption of physical and mental energy. Even after a day of exercise, he still had about 40% energy left, and this 40% was also recovering quickly. And this strange recovery also attracted the attention of Yuzumaki Naruto. Is it the same recovery power as Sanju Hashirama? However, Sanju Hashirama's ability is also inherited from the soul of first generation Ashura, which means that this is the power that the power of Yang should have. Does even a seed have such strong recovery power? Yuzumaki Naruto knew that what he got was not the Yang power obtained by accepting Ashura's power, but the seeds of Yang power obtained by selling Ashura's soul. The seeds of Yang power will sprout and grow in his body little by little as he ages, but will the current state of the seeds have such an amazing ability to recover? It seems like there must be something here that I don't know about. The seed of Yang power. Maybe Ashura himself never got the so-called Yang power. Maybe he just got Yang escape. If this is really the case, then the transaction that obtained the seeds of Yang power was really a big profit. No wonder that person was so dismissive of Ashura's soul. Maybe it wasn't that Ashura's soul was too cheap, but that he was disdainful of the power Ashura had. Then, I also need to get the power of Yin. Chapter 19 This guy has a different style today. Two days is actually a short time, that's how it is for Yuzumaki Naruto. He really has no interest in places like ninja school. After all, he doesn't think ninja school can teach him anything important. Three body technique is considered the limit of ninja school and he will be restricted in many actions. There will be almost no teacher who will teach him the so-called ninjutsu partly because of the ban. On the other hand, because of him, 
Yuzumaki Naruto is the incarnation of Nine Tails. It was because of this situation that Yuzumaki Naruto felt extremely disgusted with such a Konoha. But it was because of this atmosphere that Yuzumaki Naruto became more determined in his desire for revenge. Revenge for the unprovoked death of his parents, and revenge for the situation he suffered. Get up and wash up as usual. Because now you live in the forest or by the lake, you don't have to worry about the water source. You can just choose it casually. However, if you want to take a bath, you need to go deeper into the forest. Only there are rivers for bathing. To wash. Use a basin to scoop a basin of water from the lake. Use the cold lake water to completely wake up your consciousness. Wipe your watery face with a towel. Just when I was about to wash the towel, I saw six beards on the towel. Question mark. Seeing these six beards, Yuzumaki Naruto was obviously stunned. He doesn't care much about his image. It's just a mark because he is nine tails Jinchuriki. Although he was curious about why his mother didn't have such a mark on her face, Yuzumaki Naruto never thought of removing all six breaths. Even if he changed his image, it would be too noticeable. His face, which looks so much like the fourth generation, as well as his blue eyes and blonde hair, are all signs of the fourth generation. I don't know if the fourth generation has any special bloodline, so it can overshadow all the characteristics of the Yuzumaki clan. Although this situation gave Yuzumaki Naruto a little headache, he put down this worry after thinking about it. It should be fine. Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danza hacked me hard in Konoha and molded me into the incarnation of Nine Tails. Even if I look similar to the fourth generation, no one would doubt it. What's more, I only lost six of them. Just a beard. If anyone has guessed that he is related to fourth generation, they may have already guessed some answers. But as long as those people are sure that he is the incarnation of Nine Tails, then as long as the fourth generation is not resurrected, his identity will always be carried like this. Maybe those people thought I just wanted to change my image or something. With this thought, Yuzumaki Naruto no longer had any worries in his heart. After washing up, he locked the wooden door of the shed where he lived for two days. After preparing some things that had been prepared, Yuzumaki Naruto went out. I arrived at the ninja school with many people staring at me along the way. Today is not the first day of school, but there are still many parents who come to pick up and drop off their children. Yuzumaki Naruto doesn't pay much attention to these people, except for Yuakai Hasasuke who takes a second look, and this glance also allowed Yuzumaki Naruto to see the most awesome dutiful son in the Hokage world, Yukai Huitachi. He killed his father and mother, not even sparing any of his own clan members, just to protect Konoha. He is really a very ideal and filial son. He too, for such a filial son, Yuzumaki Naruto only had disdain in his heart. The grace of birth and upbringing is not even comparable to a rotten village. Yuzumaki Naruto can only say that Yukai Huitachi is really the biggest white-eyed wolf in history. The kind that is not well raised. After a quick glance, Yuzumaki Naruto walked into the ninja school beside a group of people without any emotion at all. One person in the crowd watched silently as Yuzumaki Naruto walked into the ninja school. Don't this guy usually like to attract other people's attention on purpose? Why did your style suddenly change today? In the past, Yuzumaki Naruto liked to cause all kinds of troubles, and there were too many such things as pranks. But this kind of prank and the lonely look that Yuzumaki Naruto usually shows, it is obvious that he hopes to use this kind of prank to connect with other people. Maybe Yuzumaki Naruto usually always looks playful and smiling, but the little boy can easily see that guy's loneliness, like a person with nothing who is looking for bonds in the crowd. HMPH, son, that's a demon fox. Don't have any contact with him. Daughter, that kind of demon fox is very dangerous. Try to stay away from him. The little boy turned to look at the adults who said such words with visible malice on their faces. Just like these people said, the little boy often heard someone say this to use Yumaki Naruto a long time ago. Fox, very dangerous? The little boy didn't know why adults always said these malicious things, and also to a guy who had no family. If it were the past, that guy would definitely feel uncomfortable hearing these words. But the little boy clearly remembered that use Yumaki Naruto didn't have any emotional fluctuations on his face at all. He wasn't as lost as before, as if everything around him had no influence on him. What's going on with that guy? Sasuke, Sasuke, exclamation mark. The little boy quickly came back from his thoughts and noticed the worried look on his brother's face. He quickly shook his head. Brother, I'm fine, I'm just thinking about something. The little boy's elder brother saw that there was no big problem with his younger brother, so he put aside his worries and reached out to touch his younger brother's forehead. Now is not the time for you to think about something. Ninja school is about to start. You have to listen to the class carefully, you know? The little boy rubbed his forehead where his brother had touched him. Although he didn't know why his brother nodded his forehead every time, the little boy didn't hate his brother's approach to him at all. Knew. Then, brother, I'm going. Um. The little boy walked into the ninja school alone and found his classroom with ease. After entering the classroom, the little boy subconsciously glanced at Yuzumaki Naruto, who was sitting in the corner of the last row on the left. He saw that Yuzumaki Naruto, who usually didn't like class very much, and fell asleep directly after class, was taking out a scroll, and he didn't know what he was writing. 
Sure enough, this guy is weird. The little boy didn't know why but he knew that Yuzumaki Naruto's current situation was strange, it was like an instinctive reaction. Just like before. He unconsciously observed Yuzumaki Naruto, a person who was very different from him. His eyes always shifted to this person unconsciously. The little boy himself didn't know what the reason was. Chapter 20 A Classroom with a Different Atmosphere Different seals will affect the flow of chakra. This flow of chakra is very subtle. Each seal will cause chakra to move in different directions. There are chakra meridians in the human body. As long as chakra is used, chakra will move in the chakra meridians. And Yuzumaki Naruto discovered that the chakra in the chakra meridians will change the flow of chakra due to the formation of seals. The twelve seals have varying degrees of influence causing the flow of chakra to flow in different directions and along different meridians. Yuzumaki Naruto, who noticed this, immediately recorded it bit by bit with a blank scroll he carried. Maybe this is a way to simplify the ninjutsu seals. It's just that Yuzumaki Naruto, who just recorded these things, was a little dumbfounded. Although he can use pictures to describe which chakra meridians his chakra has passed through, he doesn't know much about chakra meridians. Will there be any information related to the chakra meridian in the library? Things like the chakra meridians are difficult to see. They are like the blood vessels of the whole body, as long as they are not people who must understand, then no one will ever look at such complicated things. It became necessary. It is very necessary for him to learn these things now that he will inevitably embark on the path of the Lone Ranger in the future. Chakra meridians are something that must be understood, which will be of great help in the future. And mentioning the chakra meridian? Yuzumaki Naruto also remembered a very important thing, medical ninjutsu. Poisoning is a very common thing in the world of ninjas. Although the ninja's physique is extraordinary, he has been able to withstand some simple poisoning problems since he was a child. This is not a very unusual thing, almost every ninja has a certain degree of resistance to poison, and those with a strong physique are more resistant to poison. But that's because ninjas are very resistant to poison. If they really encounter poison that can poison them, it will be a real big trouble. Therefore, Medical ninjutsu became very necessary. Recognize the poison, recognize the poison, and detoxify. These are issues that require great attention. It's just that my identity should not allow me to come into contact with medical ninjutsu. Thinking of this, Yuzumaki Naruto felt particularly upset. This damn identity always delayed him from doing some things. He didn't expect Konoha to teach him something at all, but he also hoped that he could make some preparations in advance. It's just that it's not okay to think about medical ninjutsu now at least not when these Anbu are staring at them. Put this thought aside for now, and find a book explaining the details of the Chakra Meridian after today's class is over. It's not ninjutsu, it's just a book explaining the Chakra Meridian. You should still be able to find it. After temporarily letting go of this thought, Yuzumaki Naruto continued to start the homework just now, continued to try the seal just now, and recorded all the changes in the flow of Chakra that he perceived. This guy is indeed a bit weird. Yuakai Husasuk, who returned to his seat, felt that Yuzumaki Naruto was very strange. He couldn't express this strange feeling, but it just felt very strange. Is there such a big change in just a few days? Yuakai Husasuke remembered that when he saw Yuzumaki three days ago, Naruto was the same as usual, playing pranks and trying to establish bonds with other people, but today was completely different from the past. Yes dot 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 becoming a little more mature. It's not like sleeping in the back when the teacher is giving lectures as usual but I'm writing something. Because of the distance, Yuakai Husasuke didn't quite understand what Yuzumaki Naruto was writing, but it probably had nothing to do with the content of the teacher's lecture. He glanced at Amino Ayuka who was still working hard on the podium. This teacher's level is the same as his ability. What he teaches in class are all things that he has seen countless times, and they are completely useless. Glancing at the situation in the classroom, he found that most of the famous families he knew were not listening to the class. Only a few civilian families were still listening to the class seriously, and even taking notes very seriously. Does this theoretical stuff have any practical significance? Although he is young, Yuakai Husasuke is a member of the Yuakai family. Having received elite education since he was a child, he has long been familiar with the routines in ninja schools, but that set of theoretical knowledge is only suitable for the group of people who have no ability and are only suitable to become teachers in the future. As a practical person, Yuakai Husasuke only memorized everything he needed to remember. As for other theoretical knowledge, he had no interest at all. After looking at it for a while, Yuakai Husasuke also looked away. He was very curious about Yuzumaki Naruto's strange behavior, but it didn't attract all his attention. Although he himself felt that he did not need to learn these theoretical things, he still needed to pass the school time. After Yuzumaki Naruto, who was usually noisy, stopped making noisy at all, the atmosphere of the entire ninja school became much calmer. Yuzumaki Naruto, who was usually responsible for activating the atmosphere in the classroom, was focused on the influence of seals on the flow of chakra for a whole day. The atmosphere in the entire classroom could be said to be lifeless, especially with Amino Ayuka's explanation makes the classroom even more boring. Usually at a time like this, 
that idiot would have been unable to bear it. Yuakai Husasuk was also very irritated by this lifeless class. Normally, he didn't remember such a difficult class. In the past, he could listen to any boring class quietly, but today he felt something was wrong. Not only Yuakai Husasuk, but the entire classroom felt something was wrong. Many people subconsciously looked at Yuzumaki Naruto in the corner of the last row. They saw the usually noisy Yuzumaki Naruto sitting quietly in his seat. It was at this moment that they noticed some changes in Yuzumaki Naruto's face. Shikamaru, did Naruto shave off his beard? You can tell by looking at it with your eyes. Nara Shikamaru had already noticed the man with six missing beards, but he thought it was Yuzumaki Naruto who wanted to change his style, so he didn't say anything. But now that he was paying serious attention, the way Naro Shikamaru looked at Yuzumaki Naruto, he couldn't help but think of another person. Especially when there is no beard bonus today and Yuzumaki Naruto is not stupid, he is even more sure that Yuzumaki Naruto is very similar to that person. Are the two people so similar in the world? Chapter 21 Two months flew by. In two months, Yuzumaki Naruto changed his past troublesome identity in the ninja school and quietly began his learning journey. Yuzumaki Naruto wasn't even interested in listening to what Amino Ayuka said in class. It wasn't some useless theories. After all, he was just an ordinary chunin. His vision had already destined that his teaching would not be anything big. Usefulness. It is enough to teach ordinary civilians chunin. But for people with a broader vision, the level of Chunin is not high enough. This is the case for Yuzumaki Naruto now. His vision is high enough. While others were still thinking about Chunin and Jonin, his thoughts had already drifted to the Six Paths level, and he was even planning to complete the truth-seeking ball that was the symbol of the Six Paths level. Simply speaking, this vision is no longer something that a ninja school or even Konoha can limit. He also has sufficient qualifications. While others were still thinking about breaking through to the Jonin level, his chakra had already broken through the sky. Even if the ratio of chakra is suppressed, it can easily create a chakra that far exceeds Jonin's, not counting the amazing recovery ability that comes with the power of Yang. The current Yuzumaki Naruto does not need any teaching, he only needs enough time to accumulate and can easily break through the Jonin barrier. So now Yuzumaki Naruto is constantly accumulating. I believe that in five years' time, the difference between Yuzumaki Naruto's strength and the so-called Jonin will probably be only actual combat experience. Two months of accumulation is obviously not enough, but there is already a gap between heaven and earth compared to two months ago. Although Yuzumaki Naruto still doesn't know where he is at, he is definitely much better than these brats in the classroom. Even, much better than the students who graduated from the ninja school five years later. You know, the current Yuzumaki Naruto has not had any combat experience, and his mastery of chakra has only just begun. I haven't started to learn how to control the blade yet, and now I only have 12 seals experience and I haven't even started to seriously learn a three-body technique yet. It has only been two months since I started to exercise systematically on my own. To have such great success can be considered a rapid growth. After all, what I have accumulated now are just some basic things. If these basics can be applied to ultimate, there will definitely be a qualitative leap, but it is not easy to really apply it to ultimate. Yuzumaki Naruto sat quietly with his eyes closed in the small temporary house where he had lived for two months. It is far away from the hustle and bustle of the city center. There is no unnecessary sound, living here is very comfortable, and you can also eat cleaner food. Opening his eyes and feeling the gradually familiar environment around him, Yuzumaki Naruto also felt a lot of emotion in his heart. It's been two months, time flies really fast. In two months, the rookie who didn't know anything at the beginning started to understand a lot of things. Two months is enough time for a person to make a lot of changes. Two months ago, Yuzumaki Naruto was a troublemaker who loved to cause trouble, but two months later, Yuzumaki Naruto has become a taciturn nerd who only knows how to read. Of course, Yuzumaki Naruto is not really taciturn, but he can talk when no one is around. Those Anbu should report to the third Hokage. But this change is a good thing. That third Hokage probably won't come to trouble me for nothing. As for the strongest Hokage in history, Yuzumaki Naruto is actually quite annoying to him. According to the fragments in his memory, Yuzumaki Naruto remembered that when he was five years old, he came almost once a week, and then when he was eight years old, it became once every three months, or even once every six months. But this was a good thing for Yuzumaki Naruto, the last thing he wanted right now was to come into contact with that kind of person. The ideal outcome was to quietly enrich his life. He had no intention of acting like a child in front of the third Hokage. On the other hand, Yuikaiha, didn't they say that they would be exterminated this year? That day should not be far away, right? Yuzumaki Naruto had been looking forward to that day. Yuikaihu and Konoha are about to break out. After all, Yuikaiha has always been working in the police force. Although the police force is a position with real power, it is a force that handles large and small troubles within Konoha. When Yuikaiha took over this job, he would be completely isolated from the entire Konoha. After all, while this job has real power, 
It can also offend people. You must know that the police force has the power to arrest and interrogate. Once they investigate some special circumstances, they will take away the person in question for questioning. Yuakai has always been an overly proud family, and coupled with the fact that he has a lot of power in his hands, this has caused many things. Yuakai will be very stubborn, which has directly caused the offending of many families in Konoa. In fact, from Yu's Yumaki Naruto's point of view, as long as the Yuakai clan is smarter and divides the rights of the police force, then Yuakaiha will not have as much family hatred in Konoa. After all, as long as the police force is not once spoken, Yuakaiha will not be so offended. People like Hayuga, pretending to be a grandson and fighting Haha, even if Sarutobi Hayaruzen and Shimura Danzo have great power, they would not dare to really kill the Yuakaiha clan. Unfortunately, the excessive power of the police force has gone to Yuakaiha's head. Without anyone who could withstand the pressure to stand up and change the situation, it was inevitable that Yuakaiha would go on the road to a coup. Now, among the Yuakaiha clan, Yuakaiha Shishui, who can withstand the pressure, is just a white-eyed wolf who has been raised by Konoa, and the other Yuakaiha Atachi, who can withstand the pressure, is also an immature wolf like Yuakaiha Shishui. With the help of these two moles, Yuakaiha will become the same as the original genocide even if he has the ability to change. What's more, the problems Yuakaiha faces are not only the two white-eyed wolves internally, but also the pressure from the external Akatsuki. It can be said that Yuakaiha is very unlucky on the cusp of such a storm. As for these troubles, Yuzumaki Naruto was too lazy to participate. Yuakaiha could only blame them for raising two white-eyed wolves. What's more, Yuzumaki Naruto didn't want to expose himself to danger because of these people. In the future, Yuakaiha's grudge will be avenged by Yuakaihu Sasuke himself. Anyway, Yuakaihu Itachi should be looking forward to dying in the hands of his younger brother. If this is the case, then Yuzumaki Naruto will not stop it and will even take the initiative to guide Yuakaihu Sasuke to that path. Yuakaihu Itachi, what if Yuakaihu Sasuke wants to kill you after knowing the truth? Your brother will never thank you for doing all this. You will always be the object of your brother's complaints. Everything you did was also the root cause of your brother's desire to take revenge on Konoa. Chapter 22 The opportunity has arrived. After washing up, Yuzumaki Naruto was ready to go out. These two months have been the most comfortable days for Yuzumaki Naruto. Those bad words don't often appear in his ears and his ears feel much more relaxed. Although Yuzumaki Naruto can keep all this in his heart, but he is often talked about by others, and he can hear it clearly, which makes it very uncomfortable for the ears to listen to. After all, no one likes to be behind someone's back talk on and on. But even so, Yuzumaki Naruto would usually be stared at with malicious eyes when he went out, but today it was completely different. It felt that the entire Konoa village has become much quieter, and the surrounding villagers even spoke softly. Some, their eyes were not on him either. What's the situation? Did something big happen to Konoa? Yuzumaki Naruto's ears pricked up as he walked on the road. Even his incarnation of nine tails stopped staring at him. Something big must have happened to Konoa, otherwise this kind of target shift would not have happened. How could such a traitor appear in the Yuakaiha clan? That's right. Although I usually have a hard time dealing with the Yuakaiha clan, it was really miserable to have them wiped out. Hearing this, Yuzumaki Naruto paused slightly. Now he knows why the wind direction inside Konoa has changed. It turned out that it was because of the Yuakaiha family's extermination. Yuakaiha Itachi, you really can't stand my words. I was just talking about why you haven't killed all the Yuakaiha clan yesterday, but I didn't expect that you already did it yesterday. After a moment of confusion, Yuzumaki Naruto went to the ninja school as usual. After entering the classroom, Yuzumaki Naruto heard almost the entire class discussing the fact that Yuakaiha was exterminated. I heard that Sasuke Kun seems to have been hospitalized. Ah. Sasuke Kun is in the hospital. When the girls were talking about Yuakaiha's family murder, they accidentally mentioned Yuakaiha Sasuke. I have to say that the people of the Yuakaiha family are generally handsome and beautiful. There is no way. It is estimated that the genes of the Yuakaiha family are too perfect. It is almost impossible to find the one with a particularly ordinary appearance and Yuakaihu Sasuke is even in the girl circle of the ninja school, a very famous one. The term used to describe him is actually a bit handsome and out of the ordinary. Then why don't we go see Sasuke Kun together? We must go. But it is said that Sasuke Kun is still in a coma, so we should just send flowers there. Well dot 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 in that case, I'll go later. While listening to the words of these little girls, Yuzumaki Naruto returned to his seat. The idea of these love brains is very clear. In order to leave an impression on the person you like, you must go to the hospital to see someone. But it is not appropriate to go when the person is not awake. It is best to wait until go after people wake up. What a bunch of love brains. Yuzumaki Naruto took a serious look at Haruno Sakura and Yamuna Kuno. These two were standard Sasuke blowers, but Yamuna Kuno was just joking, but Haruno Sakura took it seriously. Haruno Sakura can be said to be a contemporary licking dog. He has been licking Yuakaiha Sasuke since he was a child, but it can be considered that Haruno Sakura is lucky. In the end he could only marry Haruno Sakura and gave birth to a lovely daughter. To be honest, 
Yuzumaki Naruto thinks that Yuakai Hasasuke's daughter is quite acceptable. He has also seen Yuakai Hasasuke's daughter and Yuzumaki Naruto as well as some fan works. They are the kind of excellent works that make people's blood boil. I just don't know what will happen this time. Maybe this time, Haruno Saburo will stay safe for the rest of her life. In that case, things would be really interesting. After temporarily letting go of his reverie, Yuzumaki Naruto also became much calmer. Yuakai Hasasuke must not have fully woken up yet. It's a joke to wake up immediately after being hit by a genjutsu like Tsukiyomi's. Even if Yuakai Hitachi doesn't seek death. If Yuakai Hussasuke is not allowed to lie down for a few days, Konoha will doubt whether there is something wrong with Yuakai Hussasuke. However, this is the best opportunity for me. Yuakai Hussasuke's coma was enough to bring people to that space without him having to do anything. The power of Yang has really helped him so much that now he is in a state of excess energy in his body every day. Because the power of Yang is strengthening his physical fitness and body energy at all times, and as he exercises, the seeds of Yang power begin to take root and sprout in his body and even his resilience begins to become less and less effective. Normal. Yuzumaki Naruto even feels like he can surpass Sanju Hashirama in this aspect in less than a few years. But Yuzumaki Naruto doesn't need to hide this aspect, he just needs to openly reveal it. Anyway, something happened and Ninetales took the blame. Resilient? That's Ninetales awesome. Does anyone dare to question Ninetales Jinchuriki's recovery ability? If Jinchuriki's recovery ability is not awesome, who else in the ninja world dares to say that his recovery ability can be compared to Jinchuriki's? So, what kind of surprise can the power of Yin give him? Yuzumaki Naruto was looking forward to it in his heart. In Konoha's hospital, Yuakai Husasuke is receiving special medical treatment. The medical ninja who was doing the inspection also frowned all the time. He could tell at a glance that this was a very powerful illusion that caused serious mental damage. This kind of damage was so shocking that a normal ninja could not bear it at all. After checking, the medical ninja turned back to look at the third Hokage. Hokage-sama, Yuakai Husasuke has suffered very serious mental trauma. Although it is not life-threatening, it is so severe that it may take a month of rest to recover. Sarutobi Hiruzen took a deep look at Yuakai Husasuke lying on a hospital bed and sighed slightly. In order to protect your brother, you are really ruthless this time, Itachi. But he also understands that Yuakai Husasuke must live, whether it is because Yuakai Husasuke is Yuakai has orphan, or because of the original agreement between Konoha high-level officials and Yuakai Hitachi. Yuakai Hussasuke must live safely and soundly. If something happens to Yuakai Hus last solitary seedling, I'm afraid the first person to rush back to Konoha will be Yuakai Hitachi. Moreover, by treating Yuakai Hus last single seedling like this, all the big families in the village may be thinking of finding a way out. So Sarutobi Hayaruzen would never do such a stupid thing. Please arrange for Sasuke to rest in the hospital during this time. Sir Hokage, the one visiting the patient. Well, don't worry about it, just keep the hospital quiet. I see. If the Yuakaiha family causes such a thing, other families in Konoha will not join in the fun. However, given that Yuakaiha Sasuke is very popular in the ninja school, Sarutobi Hayaruzen will not stop those students from visiting their hospital. After all, it is best for some news to be passed on by classmates. Otherwise what if Konoha really messed up? Chapter 23 Visiting Yuakaiha Sasuke Yuzumaki Naruto knew that this time Yuakaiha Sasuke's matter was an opportunity. After school at the ninja school, Yuzumaki Naruto took action before other students started taking action. Yuzumaki Naruto also knew that a visit must require some preparations. After all, a visit cannot be carried out empty-handed, and you still have to bring some gifts. Here Yuzumaki Naruto took out his wallet. The whole wallet is bulging, and it looks like a lot of money has been saved. Each coin is 500 yuan, which looks like a large face value, but in fact, it can't buy anything. After all, Konoha's consumption is also quite amazing. Dot. Of course. The money was of little use to use Yuumaki Naruto, after all, he couldn't buy some needed things. Money is actually just a coin, like a small stone, just used to attract attention. Therefore, even if Yuumaki Naruto spent all the money, it would not hurt at all. As for those ninja tools and the like, he he do you really think those shops in Konoha will sell him good things? Things like ninja tools must be worn out. Rather than buying some junk at the original price or even a higher price, it is more cost effective to use coins as forbearance. If these useless coins are exchanged for a yin power, then use Yumaki Naruto is still happy to do so. Anyway, it's all waste utilization, and obviously the power of yin is more important. When you go to visit a doctor, you must buy a bouquet of flowers. So the flower shop is Yuzumaki Naruto's current target. It's not difficult to find flower shops in Konoha, but there is only one flower shop that can accept his purchases. The main person in charge of the Yamanaka family's flower shop is Yamanaka Ino's mother. Sometimes even Yamanaka Ino will be in charge of it. This kind of time when the ninja school is out is usually when Yamanaka Ino goes to the flower shop to help. Yuzumaki Naruto has also seen it many times in the past when he passed by. The Yamanaka family is considered the mainstay of Konoha. After all, 
Konoa's Inoshikacho is quite a famous combination, according to the normal family situation. The Yamanaka family should have more than one industry, the flower shop, but this flower shop is not so much an industry as a hobby. Because I am interested in growing flowers, I hope to put my interest into action by opening a flower shop. Yuzu Maki Naruto didn't have any words for this kind of interest. He could only say that having money means being willful. He couldn't understand the thoughts of such rich people, so he didn't want to understand. Because Yamanaka's flower shop was not very far from the ninja school, Yuzu Maki Naruto deliberately slowed down and went to the flower shop just to wait for the time when Yamanaka Ino could go home to help. Arriving at the door of the flower shop, Yuzu Maki Naruto saw Yamanaka Ino wearing an apron and playing with flower pots outside the shop. Yuzu Maki Naruto just walked over. Yamanaka Ino, who was playing with flower pots outside, saw the shadow on the ground and knew that a customer was coming. She showed her habitual business smile. Welcome light dot 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 huh? It's you. But when she looked up, the person she saw was a classmate in her class. Yamanaka Ino suppressed the smile on her face and even frowned. Naruto, why do you want to visit my store today? Eight-year-old Yamanaka Ino also often heard her mother and father say to stay away from Yuzumaki Naruto, but her father and mother did not say such things as Yuzumaki Naruto is the Nine Tails Demon Fox, but a group of people in the ninja school always said so. When she first entered school, Yamanaka Ino felt that Yuzumaki Naruto was a very noisy person. But now she feels that Yuzu Maki Naruto is a very silent person, except for a little laughter at the beginning. Now he can't even say a word in school. Yamanaka Ino was a little curious about what Yuzu Maki Naruto was doing in her store. She was not very familiar with Yuzu Maki Naruto in the past, and their relationship was more like a stranger's classmate relationship. Buy flowers, three sunflowers. Buying flowers? Okay, I'll wrap them up for you. Yamanaka Ino's face became even more strange. Yuzu Maki Naruto would still come to her house to buy flowers if nothing happened. Although she didn't know the reason, she still helped pack the three sunflowers. Sincere benefit is 2,000 yuan. Yuzu Maki Naruto took a look at the price of a single sunflower. Well, 2,000 yuan was zero. The price of three sunflowers is more expensive than the price of ten shurikens. It's really dark enough. Of course. Yuzu Maki Naruto would not say these words, otherwise it would be even more trouble to get him a wari. As soon as the four coins were handed over, the coins in the wallet were suddenly reduced by a large amount. After receiving the money, Yamanaka Ino gave the wrapped three sunflowers to Yuzu Maki Naruto. Thanks. After getting the sunflower, Yuzu Maki Naruto thanked him and turned to leave. The next place he was going to was Konoa's hospital. Yamanaka Ino, who watched Yuzu Maki Naruto go away, stood outside for a while. Fox. Naruto doesn't look like an incarnation of a fox. Although the classmates at the ninja school said so, and Yamanaka Ino also heard some adults picking up and dropping off outside saying that they should try not to provoke Yuzumaki Naruto, Yamanaka Ino did not feel that Naruto was that difficult to contact. Before, he was laughing and joking like a fool, but now he is quiet and calm. Eight-year-old girls prefer cooler boys, but in addition to cool boys, some girls also prefer calmer boys. As for whether he is pretending to be calm or really being calm, even the eight-year-old Yamanaka Ino can see this. Yuzu Maki Naruto is not pretending to be calm, but the way he was laughing and joking before seemed to be pretending. Pretending to be a giggling idiot before. But now you don't want to pretend anymore? I really don't understand what he is thinking. As a person with a not-so-bright mind, Yamanaka Ino couldn't figure out some things in it. Of course, in addition to these things, there are actually some things that Yamanaka Ino does not understand. Why did he want to buy sunflowers? Give it away? It shouldn't be. Yuzu Maki Naruto has no good relationship with his classmates at school, not even a serious talker. Give me a bouquet of roses. Ah, okay, please wait. Although Yamanaka Ino was still a little concerned about this issue, the unexpected guest interrupted her thoughts and made it impossible for her to continue thinking. And at this moment, Kung Fu Yuzu Maki Naruto has already started to move towards the hospital. The goal of the visit is also quite straightforward. Yuzu Maki Naruto's social circle is so big, and there are only so many people he can get in touch with. Among the contacted people, only one was in Konoa Hospital. That person is Yuakai Husasuke. Chapter 24 Only We Are the Bond. Third Generation Sama. Yuzu Maki Naruto bought sunflowers and went to the hospital. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was practicing calligraphy, paused for a moment. I thought the kid was completely autistic, but it turns out he was just looking for the same friends. Sarutobi Hiruzen has always been paying attention to the changes in Yuzu Maki Naruto, whether it is as a hope for the future cultivation, or Minato's entrustment before his death. Sarutobi Hiruzen has always been thinking about it. Originally, everything would not change much, but Sarutobi Hiruzen has always been worried since the child's personality began to change in the direction of autism two months ago. In fact, Sarutobi Hiruzen has always known in the past that the child is not such a naughty child, but his situation requires connecting with other people in this way. Making trouble again and again is just hoping to be noticed. It is because he knows the child's childish personality that Sarutobi Hiruzen will be more tolerant. That little thing seems like nothing to Sarutobi Hiruzen. 
But since the onset of autism two months ago, Sarutobi Hiruzen knew that things had become troublesome. The child stopped making troubles, but began to become taciturn, and sometimes he would not even speak. Most of the time he talked was when he was alone, and he was always quiet in the ninja school quiet look. Although I know from Anbu that the child has been practicing seals during class, Sarutobi Hiruzen has always known that as long as the child gives up the bond with others, it will be a big problem. In the past, Sarutobi Hiruzen had always wondered what happened to that child. But today, just after Anbu reported the child's situation and whereabouts, Sarutobi Hiruzen understood it all at once. Naruto, who lost his parents, is looking for people who are in the same situation as him. Is that why the child doesn't want to have contact with other people? Dot 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 no. Maybe it is something to do with the root influence. Sarutobi Hiruzen will never forget his old friend Shimura Danzo. The child's autism some time ago was definitely due to too much publicity for the demon fox incarnation, which caused ordinary civilians to have too much influence on the child. Close. Even Sarutobi Hiruzen feels that this kind of autism will continue to exist. After all, I learned from Anbu's report that the child was not a very autistic child. He still talked a lot by himself. But he spoke less when there were people around. In fact, before Sarutobi Hiruzen was always worried about whether the child could continue to find his bond, but now Sarutobi Hiruzen confirmed that the child didn't want to find the bond, but just wanted to find the bond that had the same situation as himself. Let Anbu let Naruto go and let him visit Sasuke. Yes, Anbu immediately began to convey the instructions of Master Hokage. As an Anbu, his feet must be fast enough, otherwise how can he convey the instructions faster? Therefore, this Anbu went much faster than usual to notify the Anbu who was following Yuzumaki Naruto and the Anbu who was guarding Yuakaika. Hokage-sama, please allow Yuzumaki Naruto to visit Yuakaika Sasuke. Since it was Lord Hokage's wish, Anbu, who was guarding, naturally knew what to do. Just don't stop it. It's just that they didn't expect that Lord Hokage would allow Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuakaika Sasuke to come into contact. This was not a good sign. But as Anbu, what they need to do is not to understand what Lord Hokage means, but to act according to Lord Hokage's intention. After all, even they understand such a simple truth, doesn't Master Hokage not understand it? But Master Hokage still did this, so there must be some reason for this. Yuzumaki Naruto was slowly walking towards Konoha Hospital. It should be almost time, right? Now that I have a clear direction, I even went to the Yamanaka flower shop to buy sunflowers. Anbu should have informed the third Hokage. For two months, he pretended to be autistic and didn't contact any of his classmates. He didn't even say a word, just to keep the Hokage who liked to spread the will of fire away from him. Run this way. Yuzumaki Naruto was not unaware of the third Hokage's thoughts. The so-called bonds were ropes and chains, shackles designed to lock people in one place. In the past, Yuzumaki Naruto hoped to establish that kind of thing with people in Konoha, but he showed no interest at all. But now Yuzumaki Naruto does not limit his ideas. Everything in Konoha is just a target of revenge for him. As for establishing a bond with Yuakaihu Sasuke, it is just to add some chips to his future, and Yuzumaki Naruto really needs a good friend, and Yuakaihu Sasuke is obviously the best choice. Because their purpose is the same. Because their situation is the same. Because their desire for revenge is also the same. That's why they can become friends. Another point is that he, Yuzumaki Naruto, only has a bond with Yuakaihu Sasuke, and he, Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuakaihu Sasuke will never have any bond with Konoha. So Yuzumaki Naruto can ignore any of his ninja school classmates, but only Yuakaihu Sasuke can care. Just because of the size of Konoha, only the two of them will always stand together. Arriving at the entrance of Konoha Hospital, Yuzumaki Naruto raised his head slightly and paused for a moment. We'll see if the overthinking third Hokage agrees to my contact with Yuakaihu Sasuke. Yuzumaki Naruto slowly walked into Konoha Hospital, and then he saw the purple-haired nurse at a glance. Stable. This nurse Yuzumaki Naruto recognized. A female ninja in Anbu. The girlfriend of the consumptive ghost Moonlight High 8, Yuzuki Yugao. Naruto didn't know whether this person was Anbu Yuzumaki now, but he knew that this person would be one of Anbu's members in five years' time, so he might be an alternate member of Anbu now. So, the appearance of this person means that Third Hokage has taken a stand. Yuzumaki Naruto walked over with some due courtesy. Where is Yuakai Husasuke's ward? Yuakai Husasuke. Dot 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 well, the innermost ward on the first floor. Thanks. Turning his head. Yuzumaki Naruto pursed his lips speechlessly. This scene was not played so reasonably. Faced with a well-known Ninetales Jinchuriki, I was allowed to be so easily in contact with the exterminated Yuakai Husasuke. As expected, I became Manbu's Kanochi five years later. My acting skills are not good yet. In a complaining mood, Yuzumaki Naruto walked towards Yuakai Husasuke's ward. Chapter 25 The Second Transaction This is a very empty ward, and there is only one unconscious Yuakai Husasuke lying on the bed in the entire ward. After all, he was hit from the front by Tsukumi, Yuakai Huitachi, even if he showed mercy to his younger brother, 
His spirit was definitely seriously injured that cannot be erased. Slowly walked to Yuakai Husasyuk's bedside and put the three sunflowers in his hands into the vase on the bedside table. After all, it's really unfortunate that something like this happened. Yuzumaki Naruto took a chair from the side and placed it beside the hospital bed. At the same time, his hand inadvertently touched Yuakai Husasyuk on the hospital bed. Enter. The world around him suddenly solidified and the space turned into wallpaper that was peeled off bit by bit. Yuzumaki Naruto stood in this white space, and Yuakai Husasuke, who was lying on the hospital bed just now, was also lying on the ground. The white silhouette looked at the Yuakai Husasuke on the ground and the soul that was still roaring in the body of these words and grinned. I didn't expect to act so soon. Yuzumaki Naruto took a deep breath. There won't be many opportunities like this. Being able to get the power of yin as soon as possible is what I need to do. Not bad not bad. You noticed it yourself. I thought your reaction would be slower. It was indeed not the so-called Yang Dun, and all the previous guesses were correct. At this moment, Yuzumaki Naruto understood that his previous guesses about the power were correct. It was not the self-righteous Yang power, but the real Yang power. Isn't this power based on that soul? Above? No, my values cannot be wrong, they are equivalent. The white outline didn't think that what he gave was of higher value, and of course he understood why Yuzumaki Naruto thought so. Your vision is still too narrow. That power has been set in that soul from the beginning. I am just something from that soul that was taken out as a trade. That soul is just a handling fee for me to help you clean up the contents. Dot dot I see. Yuzumaki Naruto now knows why he can get the power of Yang. He thought it was something inherent in the soul of Ashura. After working on it for a long time, it turned out that it was just the manipulation of Otsatsuki Heigromo. Then, the reincarnations of Ashura and Indra are indeed caused by that old immortal thing. Does that old immortal thing really think he is a god? Ha gods are immortal. Except for those who kill gods, no god will die because of being killed. Only people who can kill gods have the qualifications of the devil, and only humans can kill the devil. The hero. It's an interesting setting, isn't it? The white outlined face is filled with a wanton smile. He personally finds this setting very interesting. Yuzumaki Naruto was silent for a moment and then looked at the white outline. Aren't you a god? The white silhouette shook his head with a smile. Although I have said before that I am a god, those gods and I are not entities with the same concept at all. I exist in any world, including the world you were originally in. Yuzumaki Naruto was not very surprised by this. After all, the guy in front of him had appeared in front of him since the beginning of his time travel. If this guy didn't know which world he came from, Yuzumaki Naruto wouldn't even believe it. But Yuzumaki Naruto would not ask why this guy wanted to help him, because he was destined not to get an ideal answer. Since he was doomed not to get any answers, there was no need for him to waste time on this question. Let's deal. R. It's time to start trading. A translucent soul was pulled out of Yuakai Husasuke's body with a lift of the white silhouette's hand. Unlike Ashura who was completely unconscious, this soul could even see enough sanity when it was pulled out of Yuakai Husasuke. This discovery surprised Yuzumaki Naruto a bit. Does this soul still have self-awareness? The white silhouette raised his hand and pulled the soul in front of him. Well it was the brother's power that was gained in the last reincarnation, so this soul also gained some extra brother's power under ordinary circumstances. After countless reincarnations, this soul will be like the soul lurking in your body. It's become dilapidated. In this way, Yuzumaki Naruto understands that Indra got the power of Ashura, and this power also had an impact on Indra's soul. Could it be that Yuakai Hasasuke got reincarnation Sharingan in the end because of this soul mutation? Yuzumaki Naruto didn't know if his guess was correct, but Indra's soul was enough for him to doubt it. At this moment, Indra's soul stared at the reincarnation of his brother. Ashura. You. Why are you? Indra never knew why such a thing happened. This time Ashura's reincarnation actually pulled him out of this reincarnation. Normally, this is absolutely impossible. Even he himself is the same. If his previous reincarnation had not obtained part of Ashura's power, his soul would have completely perished in reincarnation. Yes, why is this? Yuzumaki Naruto, who was being questioned, just looked at this depressed soul with a smile. At this moment, he felt comfortable enough and he also had some thoughts about talking to this soul. I think it's because your father arranged for you and Ashura to reincarnate endlessly in order to stabilize the world he wanted to stabilize. The self-righteous god is just a beast who sealed his own mother. You, Indra's soul was greatly shaken by those words. Apparently he also understood the meaning of these words, and at the same time he already knew the real truth. His father was just Otsatsuki Heigromo, not a god in this world, just a very ordinary, mortal man. If he is a real god, will god face birth, old age, illness and death? Yuzumaki Naruto shook his head, then focused his gaze on the white outline. Let's deal. Okay, the soul that was still energetic just now lost its spirituality in an instant. The white outlined hand penetrated Indra's soul and grabbed a black bead from it. This is what you hope to get, but compared to the last transaction, the quality of the soul this time is much higher. Just a seed of yin power is not an equal transaction, 
so let's make some changes to your body. Chapter 26 Obtaining the Power of Yin and Awakening the Pupil Technique The black beads of yin power flew into Yu's Yumaki Naruto's body. The yang power that had long been entrenched in the body let out a cheerful groan. The yin power that entered Yu's Yumaki Naruto's body also responded with an excited groan, and then the two forces began to move. The power of yang comes to the center of the body, while the power of yin enters the center of the spirit. Slowly, the white bead of yang power turned into a drop of water and dripped into the soil of the body and the black bead of yin power turned into a drop of water and dripped into the soil of the spirit. The two drops of water created a weak connection between the body and the spirit. After a while, a small sapling appeared in both the body and the spirit. The sapling did not continue to grow, but slowly absorbed the nutrients of the body and spirit and transformed them into new strength that filled the body and spirit. Yuzu Maki Naruto, who is the carrier of power, also undergoes abnormal changes. The skin of the body became as hard as an eggshell, and some black substances began to slowly appear on the surface of the shell making the whole thing look even more disgusting. The white silhouette hugged his chest and watched the change quietly. Of course he knew what kind of change this was. Transformation. Like the metamorphosis of a chrysalis into a moth, it is essentially completely changed in form. If human beings want to achieve transcendence, the first thing they need to do is to transform from the ordinary, take off the shell of being ordinary, and start to develop in the direction of emergence. Then, just do what I just said to help your body change. I have gained a good soul, and as a reciprocal transaction, the white outline will make up for the shortcomings. A ray of green light shot from the white outlined hands into Yu's Yumaki Naruto's shell, further promoting Yu's Yumaki Naruto's physical transformation. Crack. I don't know how long it took, but a crack appeared in the dirty shell. This crack was slowly getting bigger, and in just a few seconds, it had spread all over Yu's Yumaki Naruto's body. The outer shell shattered little by little and fell to the ground, and the exposed inner Yu's Yumaki Naruto's skin turned pure white, and even his hair turned pure white, just like the Otsutsuki clan. But after the skin was exposed for a while, the pure white skin slowly turned into its original skin color, and even the pure white hair turned golden again. It's just that the originally sky blue eyes turned into pure blue, and you can even clearly see the blue white light emerging from those eyes. Even if this is a white space, you can still see those blue white eyes. Boom. Yuzu Maki Naruto opened his eyes and could hear a heartbeat in his ears. What happened? The strange heartbeat lasted for a while and then disappeared, but the strange vision made Yuzu Maki Naruto very strange. Although his eyesight is not bad, it is not so good that he cannot see people in his sight when looking forward, such as Yuakai who sass you climbing on the ground. It's just a pair of eyes that awakened. Yuzu Maki Naruto paused for a moment and then he was able to understand the meaning of this sentence with his abnormal vision. A pupil technique. If it is a pupil technique, then Yuz Yumaki Naruto can understand why this abnormal phenomenon occurs. But as in Yuz Yumaki, how did he awaken the eye technique? My bloodline can also awaken the eye technique. Ashura doesn't have the eye technique. Indeed, Ashura does not have any pupil skills qualifications. He only inherited the physical ability. However, didn't I say it before? The quality of Indra's soul is much higher than expected, so help your body undergo some changes. If explained like this, Yuzu Maki Naruto would understand. No wonder someone of his own bloodline could inherit the pupil technique that even Ashura did not possess. All the bloodlines of the Six Paths family are derived from Otsatsuki Kadiya. Since he has awakened the pupil technique, it is also a kind of pupil technique possessed by Otsatsuki Kadiya. Sharingan and White A's. Yuzu Maki Naruto touched the skin next to his eyes. There were no veins so it probably wasn't a white eye. And the picture by Akagant saw should be in black and white, not in color like his. Let's go back. With a go back, Yuzu Maki Naruto and Yuakai Husasuke on the ground returned to Konoa's hospital. No one can see my eyes. Yuzu Maki Naruto immediately closed his eyes. He didn't know what kind of pupil technique he had awakened, but whether it was the Byakugan or the Sharingan, they were too conspicuous. He would never feel better once someone saw him. As one of the symbols of the Hokage world, pupil technique is a very powerful force. But this power is too conspicuous. I didn't expect that I just planned the power of yin and actually managed to use the eye technique. With the conscience of heaven and earth, Yuzu Maki Naruto dared to pat his chest and say that he definitely did not want the so-called pupil technique. At most, he just wanted to obtain the power of yin, and then complete the nature transformation of five attributes in five years, and finally complete the truth-seeking ball that combines yin-yang, five elements and the power of nature. Who would have thought that a pupil technique would appear today, and it was a Sharingan or Byakugan pupil technique, preferably Sharingan. If there is really a pupil technique, then the decisiveness that Yuzu Yumaki Naruto hopes to have the most is that Sharingan did not run away. After all, Sharingan can be regarded as the most capable pupil in the world. If it's a white eye, then it's my bad luck. Compared to the almighty Sharingan, the Byakugan is really unbeatable. The Byakugan is very suitable for doing some colorful things, but for direct combat. To put it bluntly, in the later stages of the story, the Byakugan is the so-called pendant, and at most it can only be used as a perspective pendant. 
With empty eyes, Yuzumaki Naruto walked into the bathroom in this ward. Because there were no eyeliners watching inside the bathroom, Yuzumaki Naruto opened his eyes! Exclamation mark. A pair of blue and white intertwined eyes of light attracted all of Yuzumaki Naruto's attention. He recognized those eyes just by looking at them. It was the Byakugan that he thought was very unlucky, but it was an advanced version of the Byakugan. In terms of setting alone, these eyes were almost superior to the Rinnegan. Tensigan. I really didn't expect that I could awaken such a pair of eyes. Tensigan is a very powerful pupil technique. It creates a space channel. It is suspected to be a blood inheritance snare similar to Yami Hirazaka. It controls gravity and repulsion and absorbs chakra from a long distance. It can be said that while possessing all the abilities of Byakugan, he also has abilities similar to Rinnegan. If Tensigan's setting is indeed consistent with Yuzumaki Naruto's memory, then this is the second pupil technique in the Hokage world after Otsutsuki Kagiyo. Thinking of this, Yuzumaki Naruto already apologized in his mind for his rash thoughts just now. I'm very sorry, the Byakugan is not useless, at least Tensigan is also a type of Byakugan. Chapter 27 Reminder to Yuakai Husasuk Calm down Chakra and he should be able to return to his original state. Yuzumaki Naruto slowly let go of the emotional fluctuations in his heart, gradually calmed down his ups and downs of chakra, and slowly withdrew the chakra condensed in his eyes. The blue-white eyes of light slowly returned to their original blue color. Very good. I can control it. Fortunately, these tensigans can be controlled, otherwise my life would not be easy. The pupil technique is really eye-catching, and as Nine Tails Jinchuriki, he must not make such a fuss. However, awakening the pupil technique gave him great convenience. Tensigan cannot summon Injido statue, but apart from being unable to do this, Tensigan has almost all Rinnegan's abilities. With just such a pair of eye skills, one can almost walk sideways in this world. Of course, Yuzumaki Naruto would not think that he is invincible. After all, None of these seniors who think that they are invincible are not tall. Even if you have invincible power, you cannot be arrogant. You must believe that there are many people in the world who are stronger than you. You must be humble. You cannot be like Sasuke, who thinks that he is good just because he has power. Even if you have such eye skills, the road to becoming stronger still needs to be walked step by step. The power of the pupil technique belongs to the pupil technique. Only when my own strength matches the pupil technique, will the power of the pupil technique belong to me. The common man is not guilty but he is guilty of carrying the jade. Now he is safe as Nine Tails Jinchuriki. As long as the third Hokage is still alive, Shimura Danzo's arrogance will be suppressed. After all, once Shimura Danzo gets Nine Tails, things will be in big trouble. Third Hokage understands this truth better than anyone else, so he restrains Shimura Danzo even more. As long as the third Hokage and Shimura Danzo continue to be at odds with each other, he will have enough time to grow. Of course, there is a premise for this. As a Jinchuriki, he can never reveal something more amazing. Once his eye skills are exposed, the first person to come to him for surgery will definitely be the third Hokage. After calming down, Yuzumaki Naruto returned to the outside of the bathroom and sat next to Sasuke's bed again. This sitting lasted half a day. Yuakai Sasuke has been lying on the hospital bed without even moving. But this is also normal. Most people had this reaction after taking Tsukiyomi. Hatake Kakashi, who was less lucky, slept for about three days. Let's go back. After spending the whole day here with Yuakai Sasuke. There is no need to think about returning to normal sanity today. Well, just as Yuzumaki Naruto stood up, Yukai Husasuk on the hospital bed let out a slight whimper. The sound was very soft but Yuzumaki Naruto still heard it. This voice made him sit on the edge of the bed again. The sun had not set outside yet, and the hospital had not yet forced people to leave. Would you like to try to wake Yukai Husasuk up? The power of Yang should have this kind of use. Both the power of Yin and the power of Yang have been obtained. Although Yuzumaki Naruto has not yet been able to use Yin Yang escape. It should be possible to use the power of Yang to treat Yuakai Hasasuk. Just give it a try. It doesn't matter if you can't wake me up anyway. With empty eyes, Chakra was concentrated in his eyes, and his sky blue eyes turned into Tensigan again. Relying on the penetrating power far beyond the Byakugan, Yuzumaki Naruto finally saw Anbu hidden around him. Were the roots restricted by the third Hokage? Or did Shimura Danzo let go on his own? It was easier to just have Anbu around. If there were roots watching, Yuzumaki Naruto was not sure whether his actions would be suspected by those people. But if it's Anbu, this impact won't be very big. Since the third Hokage allows him to contact Yuakai Hasasuke, it must also hope that some appropriate relationships can be established between him and Yuakai Hasasuke. Some small actions will not lead to arrest and questioning. Of course, even so, Yuzumaki Naruto still found an angle where no one would notice his strange behavior and put his hand on Yuakai Hasasuke's forehead and at the same time began to refine a trace of chakra and inject it into Yuakai Husasuke's forehead. Um, me, what's wrong with me? Yuakai Husasuke felt that he was gradually regaining consciousness, but he didn't realize what was happening to him right now. He wanted to prop up his body, but his body was limp and weak, and he didn't even have the strength to prop up his body. However, the body could not hold up, 
and the eyes could still be opened with all the strength in his body. Yukai Sasuke still opened his eyes. When he opened his eyes, he saw a very unexpected figure. Naruto. It's just that Yukai Sasuke suddenly saw Yuzumaki Naruto change his sitting posture, reminding him with a very soft voice. Don't talk, Anbu is still nearby. One sentence stunned Yukai Sasuke instantly. But Yuzumaki Naruto's last sentence reminded him of the current situation. The Yukaiha clan was exterminated. It was your brother who led people to exterminate it. Now you are still under Anbu's surveillance. Don't talk, don't let them know you're awake. Otherwise, your position will become very embarrassing. Yukaiha, genocide, question mark. Yes, I remembered it. The memory that was chaotic just now suddenly became clear, which made Yukaiha Sasuke want to struggle. If you don't want to be caught by Anbu and go to jail now. Just be quiet now. This sentence made Yuukai Husasuke's body stiffen, but it still made him completely quiet. The genocide is inevitable, and what he says now is a waste of time. With Anbu around, I can't say more. Don't let anyone know that you are awake for these three days. Although I don't know what kind of harm you have suffered, as long as you wake up now, you will be considered an accomplice of your brother. In addition, the genocide of Yuukai this time is not simple. Maybe someone at the top of Konoha is planning it. Otherwise, would it be an easy thing for a big family like Yuukaiha to be annihilated within Konoha? Think about everything with your brain. Dot dot yes. My Yuukaiha clan is the largest clan in Konoha. How could I be quietly exterminated by my brother alone in Konoha? Yuukaiha Sasuke is not a tofu brain after all. His IQ is still online. After being pointed out the situation so directly, Yuukaiha Sasuke, no matter how stupid he was, understood that there was definitely someone high up in Konoha taking action. Yuzumaki Naruto saw that Yuukai Hasasuke's mood gradually stabilized, and he also put his mind at ease. That's all I can say, remember my words. Don't let anyone know you're awake for these three days. Don't take the initiative to talk to me this month, if you don't want to be taken away by Anbu. We can't talk about these topics yet, but you just need to remember one thing, you and I are the same, we both have a common enemy, dot 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 I've stayed long enough today, and I won't come here again to remember what I just said. Chapter 28 Choose dormancy. After reminding Yuukai Hasasuke, Yuzumaki Naruto left the hospital, leaving Yuukai Hasasuke alone in the hospital bed. At this time, Yuukai Hasasuke was also thinking about the question that Yuzumaki Naruto said just now. Indeed, it is impossible for our Yuukai clan to be exterminated so easily. Although the pain of genocide has a great impact on Yuukai Hasasuke's spirit, as a young master of the Yuukai clan, he is not a mindless person. Konoha was their village. The village where they lived was exterminated, and it was a big family like theirs. Yukaiha. It was obviously impossible to say that the village was not aware of it at all. In other words, the top brass of Konoha were also involved in Yukaiha's genocide. Thinking of this, the fire in his heart burned even harder. Brother, Yukaiha Itachi, you traitor actually join forces with Konoha to destroy our Yukaiha clan? Yukaiha Sasuke would not admit that the traitor who collaborated with others to destroy his clan would be his brother. And Konoha, for Yukaiha Itachi, the traitor, Yukaiha Sasuke has kept all his hatred in his heart and Konoha is also the object of his hatred. It's just that Yuukai Hasasuke knows that these words are useless. Once his hatred is discovered by Konoha, he will be imprisoned by Anbu, and then no idea of revenge will be realized. Although the flame of revenge has been ignited in his heart, he has not forgotten his age and his position. Dot 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 Naruto said that he and I have a common enemy. Yuukai Hasasuke thought of this sentence, and he didn't think it was said casually. In a few words, he couldn't argue with it and now he believed that Konoha was definitely one of the murderers who caused the annihilation of their Yuukaiha clan. So, who is the common enemy he mentioned? I still don't want to, but as long as we have a common enemy, Naruto is my companion. Slowing down his breathing rate, Yuukaiha Sasuke was also worried that people in Konoha would find out that he woke up too early. Yuukaiha was exterminated, and some people should be watching him all the time. He is not safe now. We can only wait until we have a chance to find him again. Yuukai Husasuke is also a little concerned about the topic of common enemy. Yuukai Huitachi is the traitor of the Yuukai Hu clan. He killed his father and mother, as well as all the clan members. He is the only constant enemy. The Yuukai Hu clan was annihilated in Konoha, and the top management of Konoha was directly related to the annihilation of the Yuukai Hu clan, so Konoha was also his enemy. But what he needs to do when he is in the enemy camp is definitely not to go directly to the door. If he had that strength, he would not appear in this ward now. So, in order to seek revenge, he, Yukai Sasuke, needs to find companions. After leaving the hospital, Yuzumaki Naruto had also returned to his temporary house. After closing the wooden door, he was completely separated from the outside. It was under this situation that Yuzumaki Naruto could study his pupil technique with confidence. Fortunately, there are no members of the Hyuga clan in the third Hokage, otherwise what I am doing right now might be exposed. The Hyuga clan's troubles a few years ago made the Hyuga clan and Konoha's top management very unhappy. After all, 
Konoha pushed Hyuganote. The high-level officials of Konoha and the Hyuga clan are so at loggerheads that no member of the Hyuga clan will become the Hokage Zanbu. What's more, the destruction of the Uakai clan may have put the entire Hyuga into panic. Yuzu Maki Naruto didn't want to worry about whether the Hyuga clan was panicking or not. Concentrate the chakra on your eyes again. The blue eyes became tense again once again. The line of sight completely penetrates everything around, and the line of sight explores the surroundings. The range of visual inspection is quite far. But even this is not the limit. Yuzu Maki Naruto could also feel that the current limit of his sight was not Tensigan's limit. The current distance was just because of the distance he had just awakened. We have just awakened now, and we need to cultivate for a period of time before we can go further. To put it simply, the newly awakened Tensigan is still at a seed level and still needs time to grow. In addition, the abilities of these Tensigans also need to be developed intensively. It's just that it's definitely not an easy thing to further develop the pupil technique. Especially when Seven and Boo are staring at it, it's definitely not easy to find time to practice the pupil technique. He sighed helplessly. Only those Anbu who are not watching over me can develop the eye technique. Yuzu Maki Naruto got angry when he thought of this. If he hadn't been fledgling now, he would definitely break out of Konoha right now. I still don't want to have these. Although there is less time to develop eye skills, it is best to use this time to lay the foundation. After all, eye skills are eye skills, and my own strength is my own. The training of ninja begins with nothing. Tensigan is a very powerful pupil technique, but the power of the pupil technique does not mean that the person is powerful. The basics are very important. It's true that Tensigan is awesome, but being awesome yourself is also very important. If it's not enough to just be awesome with Tensigan, at least your own strength must be consistent with Tensigan. Otherwise, you will be unable to avoid dependence on pupil skills in the future which will directly limit future growth and development. It can be said that this time it was decided that Tensigan really gave Yuzu Maki Naruto a headache. He needs to adjust his mentality. People are easily fascinated by the powerful eye technique, just like Yuakai Sasuke in the original work. It was because the power of the eye technique was so strong that he misestimated his own level. Without the pupil technique to rely on, he actually has nothing. As a result, most of the evaluations of Yuakai Sasuke are just a good brother. Of course. Yuzu Maki Naruto is definitely this good brother and I guess Yuakai Husasuke is the least wanted. I can't make this mistake. It would be very harmful not to be able to develop the pupil technique freely for five years, but it is useless to develop too many functions of the pupil technique now, and it is too conspicuous. Continue to work hard to complete all five chakra nature transformations within five years. Now that all the conditions for the future have been put together, all that needs to be done is to move forward steadily bit by bit. The power of Yang and the power of Yin have been obtained and other chakra attributes will slowly come into his hands. The right thing to do is to be patient and continue to choose hibernation. Once someone notices your situation, you may get into more trouble. Chapter 29 Don't let yourself be empty. In the following days, the entire Konoha completely stopped because of Yuakai has genocide. Especially the big families in Konoha began to become very cautious. Even Shimura Danzo, who usually does things very fiercely, fell silent for a while. Now he also had to choose silence. On the surface, Jenbu has been disbanded by Third Hokage, and a large number of Jenbu ninjas have been accepted by Anbu. He has also been directly deprived of the rights he should have, which can be said to have completely put him in the cold palace. While Shimura Danzo won't let the matter end like this, he needs to accept the verdict now, or his situation will become very bad. Damn Sarutobi, Shimura Danzo, who was staying at his home, was naturally very angry. The disbandment of Genji and the acceptance of a large number of Genji ninjas by Anbu meant that his eyeliner had left his sphere of influence, which really gave him a great deal. Blow. Things won't end so easily. Now dot 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 it's just that the old man's time has not yet come. The routes will not be disbanded, and now it is just that Sarutobi wants to release a large number of ninjas cultivated by the roots. Shimura Danzo's heart hurts at the thought of his new blood being wasted like this. But no matter how heartbroken it is, this is the price that must be paid. Yuakai has already decided to be exterminated, but it is true that he led Yuakai to destruction in advance. His purpose is very clear. What he wants is the sharing of those eye-opening ninjas in the Yuakai family. All he needs to do for this purpose is to get the planning started in advance. Dot 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 at least got quite a few Sharingans to back up. Although those carefully cultivated root members really make Shimura Danza very heartbroken. But Sharingan is a non-renewable resource, and he will choose Sharingan even if he chooses it again if he uses his own hands to exchange for dozens of pairs of Sharingan. The roots are definitely not going away. Sarutobi, this is your time, and I can't deal with you. But if you think I'm just throwing in the towel. Then I'll take back what I lost. Shimura Danzo's ambition is always burning. What you can't do now doesn't mean you can't do it in the future. He has plenty of time and patience. So why can't he have the Hokage's position? Shimura Danzo's ambition will never be extinguished, but this ambition belongs to Shimura Danzo himself, and others still live their lives. For example, the students of the ninja school. If class is supposed to be in class, 
Continue class. Even if there are many more people discussing the genocide of Yuakaiha in class, the content of the class will not change. After nearly half a month, Yuakaihu Sasuke also returned to ninja school, but Yuakaihu Sasuke who came back exuded the temperament of don't enter the stranger, but this temperament made the girls even more crazy. After all, the cold temperament of boys is what attracts little girls of this age. As for Yuzumaki Naruto, he continued to sit in the last row and study his stuff quietly like a normal person. Within a month, Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuakaihu Sasuke had a tacit understanding not to talk to each other. By the second month, Yuzumaki Naruto did not have any unnecessary contact with people in the ninja school. Until one day in the third month, Yuakaihu Sasuke took the initiative to be next to Yuzumaki Naruto. Can't bear it anymore? Yuakaihu Sasuke paused and looked sideways at Yuzumaki Naruto sitting next to him. There are seven people around Anbu. Please be careful. Anbu, there are seven more. Yuakaihu Sasuke knows what kind of organization Anbu is. It is a special force affiliated with the Hokage and usually engages in secret missions. If Anbu had been staring at him before, he could still understand it. After all, his Yuakaihu clan had been wiped out, and he would definitely be stared at. But it has been three months, and Anbu wouldn't you've been staring at him all this time? Why are there seven people watching nearby? Does Konoa think so highly of me? Yuakaihu Sasuke sneered at himself in his heart and Yuakaihu Sasuke became even more unhappy with this approach. After three months of baptism, Yuzumaki Naruto's quality in all aspects has improved a lot, so now he can clearly feel the psychological changes of Yuakaihu Sasuke. I'm not staring at you. You Yuakaihu Sasuke are not worthy of being watched by Anbu all the time. The person they're looking at is me! Exclamation mark. Staring at you? Are you kidding me? Question mark. You don't need to be a mind reader. You can tell Yuakaihu Sasuke's thoughts just by looking at Yuzumaki Naruto with your eyes but it's no wonder. Be quiet and listen to me. Since you came to me, it means that you are also doubting whether the high-level officials of Konoa were involved in the genocide of the Yuakaiha clan. Hide this speculation in your heart, now is not the time for you to express this idea. Once those people find out that you know something, it will just make you die faster. After three months, Yuakaihu Sasuke's mood has long been adjusted. If he heard these words three months ago, he would definitely explode, but now he is very calm. This is not what he wants to be so calm, but if he is not calm, then he will die quickly as Yuzumaki Naruto said. Yuzumaki Naruto's eyes rolled, and he paused when he noticed some looks. It wasn't until those looks shifted their position that he continued the tropic. Keep your hatred in mind and don't be affected by the people around you. Besides, your strength improves little by little. Don't be jealous of those who are stronger. Keep your unwillingness in check and come back with revenge after your strength improves. How to improve? That traitor's strength is beyond my comparison. This is a problem that Yuakai Sasuke has been having a headache with lately. He has a certain understanding of how strong the traitor is, and now he is far from the traitor's opponent. As for wanting to improve his strength, he didn't even know what he should do to improve it. Yuzumaki Naruto's eyes did not shift in any way. He just looked at the scroll on his desk quietly while practicing the seals with his hands. Starting with the basics, mudras, chakra control, chakra nature transformation, these are all things you can practice now. Don't think about getting strong ninjutsu. Strong ninjutsu is not accessible to us at our current age and status. There are only those basic things that we can work hard on. All your efforts now will not be in vain. If you want to work hard for revenge, then don't let yourself be idle. There are still five years until you graduate from ninja school. If you want revenge, you must lay a sufficient foundation within these five years. After hearing these words, Yuakaihu Sasuke turned his head and glanced at Yuzumaki Naruto, who was still practicing the seals, and took a deep breath. He didn't even know what to do for the past two months. However, now he knows how to achieve future revenge. First of all, don't let yourself be idle. Chapter 30 This guy's hatred is stronger than mine. Yuakaihu Sasuke calmed down and started daily exercise. He also understood that the theoretical teachings in the classroom were of no use to him. If he wanted to improve his strength, he still needed to take other paths. However, Yuakaihu Sasuke looked a little weird when he saw Yuzumaki Naruto's hand seal. Is it really useful to practice not seal? Yuzumaki Naruto just glanced calmly. Yuakaihu Itachi's seal speed is 6 per second. Do you think it is useful? Using the chakra seal is the key to releasing ninjutsu. Although the number of seals can be simplified, you can't even keep up with the speed of the seals. Yuakaihu Itachi can kill you with just one ninjutsu, because he's faster than you. A very simple and simple reason. But it also made Yuakaihu Sasuke realize that the seal is useful. He needs to practice the speed of forming seals. Forming seals as quickly as possible can release ninjutsu earlier. In the battle of ninjas, it is not that the stronger the ninjutsu, the stronger the ninja. Powerful ninjutsu needs to hit the person directly to cause damage, so the speed of seal formation means whether the ninjutsu can be released to hit the person as quickly as possible and successfully of causing damage. Now I can achieve 4 seals per second. How much can you do? Looking at Yuzumaki Naruto's hand speed, 
Yokai Hisasuke took a deep breath and started trying. But after trying it, Yokai Hisasuke's face turned dark, because he simply cannot do four seals per second, or even three seals, and can only do two seals per second. Yuzumaki Naruto also saw the results. He was not surprised at all by this result. Efforts will definitely produce results, such as the speed of seal formation. Practice more. If you can't reach six per second, you can't do less than four per second, otherwise the speed will be too slow. Dot dot um. After seeing the result, Yokai Hisasuke has swallowed up his pride. He wants revenge and has to catch up with what the traitor could do in every aspect. Under Yuzumaki Naruto's very successful persuasion, Yokai Hisasuke also started practicing the basic seals. Of course, a day's exercise is nothing, but a day's hard work will produce results. Yokai Hisasuke is a genius. Yuzumaki Naruto knows that he is just an ordinary person. If it were not for a little luck, his growth would never be able to keep up with Yuokai Hisasuke, but it is precisely because of this that Yuokai Hisasuke cannot be arrogant and rely on his own talent. In just one morning, Yuzumaki Naruto had already seen Yuokai Hisasuke's hands begin to cramp. It's our age that limits how quickly we can grow. Although some people will transcend physical limitations, their growth has stopped. Hatek Kakashi, graduated from ninja school at the age of five, became a chunin at the age of six, and became a jonin at the age of twelve. Then, now he is twenty-one years old, but he is still a jonin, and his growth has almost reached its limit. Yuokai Hisasuke, who had become anxious due to the seal just now, paused. Is there an age limit? I became a jonin at the age of twelve, but I still stayed at that stage for the next nine years. Is it because I grew up too much before? That's right. Yuzumaki Naruto nodded slightly. Your brother should be above that Hatek Kakashi. As a member of the Yuokai clan, you should know best what level your brother is on. Yuokai Hisasuke gritted his teeth, although he was unwilling to give in. He also admitted that the traitor was much stronger than him and definitely surpassed the Hatek Kakashi who had stopped growing. Seeing that Yuakai Hasasuke was quiet and obedient, Yuzumaki Naruto continued the topic. We haven't even graduated from ninja school yet. Five years is enough time to do a lot of things. Although the Chunin in the ninja school can't teach us much, we need to find something by ourselves to practice the basics. All strength is based on a huge foundation. Only if you have a sufficient foundation can you go further in the future. Besides, as you are the orphan of Yuakai Ha, Konoha will not want you to grow up under their noses. You are a trouble and a thorn in their side. That's right. Konoha is also Yuokai enemy. Yuokai Hisasuke's mind suddenly cleared up when he thought about revenge. Noticing that Yuokai Hisasuke had completely calmed down, Yuzumaki Naruto once again poured a basin of cold water on his head. Besides, all the belongings of the Yuokai clan have been confiscated by Konoha. Do you think Konoha will return the things to you? How is it possible to return it? No matter how stupid Yuokai Hisasuke is, he knows that this is absolutely impossible. The Yuakaiha family's family fortune is still very rich. Not only did the clan have a large amount of financial reserves, but there were also many secret ninjutsu scrolls. After these things were moved to a remote place in his home, Third Hokage came over and said, Sasuke, those things will be there. If I return it to you after you become an adult, it will be over. Return? What do you Konoha give back? He coldly hated Konoha who killed his family, and at the same time hated Yuakaiha Atachi the traitor who helped Konoha kill Yokaiha. They can't afford it. Regarding this sentence, Yuzumaki Naruto just nodded slightly. The debt owed by Konoha has indeed reached the point where it cannot be repaid. I'm sorry, let Konoha be destroyed! Exclamation mark. Even Yokaihu Sasuke, blinded by hatred, knows how serious this sentence is. But this sentence did not come out of his mouth, but from a mouth without father and mother, which is really a bit scary. You also have grudges with Konoha. Ha. At this moment, Yuzumaki Naruto's calm face was full of endless killing intent. I want everyone in Konoha to die. Trample their so-called will of fire under my feet. Let them watch their relatives die in front of their eyes little by little, and in the end even themselves will go die. After those words full of endless killing intent, Yuzumaki Naruto regained his calm. This, this is not a joke. Question mark. The cold murderous intention made Yuakai Husasuke feel the hairs on his skin stand up. He even felt that the Yuzumaki Naruto in front of him was colder and more terrifying than the Yuakai Atachi who betrayed the Yuakai clan. Especially after the person said these words, he returned to a calmer look, which made him feel a chill. That's why I think so, so I'm much calmer now than before. Yuzumaki Naruto's face was very calm, but this calmness was an emotion he deliberately restrained. If you want revenge, you need patience. If you can't bear it now. How will you take revenge in the future? This guy. Why does it feel like he hates Konoha more than me? Shocked, Yokai Husasuke swallowed. At this moment he felt that he knew the real Yuzumaki Naruto. Not the one with a hippie smile, nor the silent one, but Yuzumaki Naruto who has been hiding his hatred. Chapter 31 Five years to lay a solid foundation. His hatred is stronger than mine. Even though his whole heart was shrouded by the thought of revenge, Yokai Husasuke still felt that his hatred was more than one level worse than Yuzumaki Naruto's hatred. 
What did Konoha do to him? How could he hate Konoha so much? Yuukai Sasuke is a little confused now. He should obviously hate Konoha more, but now he realizes that the Yuzumaki Naruto he has been paying attention to is the one who hates Konoha the most. Also, why is Konoha Zanbu staring at Naruto? He still didn't know these questions now, but he was now certain that Yuzumaki Naruto was the friend he could choose because they had the same purpose and there would be more topics to talk about in the future. The key is that Yuzumaki Naruto seems to know the future direction and has even made good plans. None of the exercises will yield immediate results. They all require time to accumulate before you can get more significant results. But Yuukai Husasuke knew that Yuzumaki Naruto was right. Instead of accelerating growth at the expense of his own future, it is better to work hard step by step. A person who becomes a Junin at the age of 6, a Jonin at the age of 12, and maintains the level of a Jonin for the next 9 years, it is obvious that such a person's potential has been tapped. But such a person will still not be Yuukaiha Atachi's opponent, so he doesn't have to be so anxious to find a way to become stronger. And once his strength suddenly improves, he will be stared at by Konoha, which is a bad thing. Seeing Yuzumaki Naruto's astonishing murderous intent hidden under his calm expression, Yuukai Sasuke suddenly felt that he should change some of his emotional outbursts in the future. When it's time to pay back, you should pay back in multiples. When you need to restrain yourself, you should restrain all your emotions. Don't let people see your emotions. Emotions will affect your thinking. Yuzumaki Naruto did not intend to repeat these words several times. As long as Yuukai Husasuke's brain was normal, he should be able to understand the meaning of these words. In fact, Yuukai Husasuke is definitely a smart person. Except for sometimes drifting after gaining power, there are basically no problems. I know. Yuukai Husasuke is very aware of his own problems. He has always been emotionally agitated when his family was exterminated. But now Yuzumaki Naruto's words have completely awakened him. For future revenge, all he needs to do now is patience and accumulation. Naruto, have you made plans? Yuzumaki Naruto paused his fingers slightly and lowered his head slightly. Of course, just because you have made a decision, you need a little bit of accumulation and a little bit of hard work. Everything within five years from now will be based on strength. Before graduating from the ninja school, you need to have at least the basic strength of a special jonin. Only in this way can you grow faster after gaining practical experience after graduation. In the next three years after graduation, you need to cross the boundary into film. Everything starts from then on. Goodbye. Naruto actually had such a clear plan. Become a special jonin before graduating from ninja school. Isn't that a jonin? Just a special jonin. In particular, jonin's strength is built between jonin and chunin. It is not as comprehensive as jonin but it is very outstanding in some places and is regarded as an honorary title. And when I say that the strength reaches a special jonin, it means that based on the three-body technique, various basic qualities must reach the limit of a chunin. But these words made Yuukai Husasuke look weird. You mean using three-body technique? Use Yumaki Naruto side slightly. It sounds like you disdain the three-body technique. So do you know what ninjutsu is most commonly used by ninjas? This question baffled Yuukai Husasuke. The ninjutsu that ninjas use the most and he is not a roundworm of those ninjas, so how could he know this question? It's the body replacement technique. Yuukai Husasuke paused and his mind cleared. I see, no wonder you said to use three body technique. Body replacement technique is indeed an escape ninjutsu that all that ninjas often use. It is a bit like space-time ninjutsu. At the moment the ninjutsu is activated, animals and plants can be replaced with themselves to avoid attacks. It can be said that the body replacement technique is a very necessary ninjutsu for any ninja, and it is also the most frequently used ninjutsu. As long as you can skillfully use the body replacement technique, you can save and lives in battle. But body replacement technique is easy to learn but difficult to master. You must know that the body replacement technique requires five seals, and it is not a technique that can be completed in an instant. The body replacement technique must be used at the moment when the opponent does not check to be successful, but the body replacement technique cannot be completed in an instant, so when using it, it is a test of the observation of the situation, the observation of the enemy and the speed of sealing. Therefore, the stronger the strength, the more difficult it is for the body replacement technique to play a role, especially against opponents with similar strength, as long as the level of body replacement technique is not enough, it is easy to be seen through at a glance, and even traps will be set in advance. It can be said that although the body replacement technique is very powerful, various factors also affect the performance of the body replacement technique. Body replacement technique can be regarded as a bug skill. But it is also a very difficult bug skill for Grandmaster. But as long as this technique can be applied to ultimate, then as long as the basic training is in place, you can stand at the height of a special jonin. Body replacement technique is the most useful ninjutsu we can access. Clone technique and transformation technique are both auxiliary, but the role of this auxiliary also needs to be seen in actual combat. Without considering other ninjutsu, as long as our goal is three body technique, it is enough. What's more, body replacement technique can evolve into different types of body replacement technique. 
which is a technique with a higher development limit. This is what I call the foundation. Now Yuukai Sasuke believes that Yuzumaki Naruto is definitely not joking, and he also understands that all this is to lay the most solid foundation. Although ninjas need one hit kill ninjutsu, which is what they need to deal with revenge, but these foundations are also indispensable. Now he understands very well what is the foundation that Yuzumaki Naruto refers to. Why did it take five years to practice those basic things? And there is a reason to say that it was five years ago that I allowed myself to achieve the basic strength of the special jonin. All of this is to lay a good foundation after graduation. For them, ninja school can't learn anything useful, but they can only stay in ninja school for five years before graduating. Since this is the case, then these five years cannot be completely wasted. Naruto, I am very interested in this topic, let's talk about it. Chapter 32 It would be great if there was shadow clone technique. In a congenial situation, Yukai Sasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto, who had just emerged from the shadow of genocide, came together. The combination of these two people really made a group of people dumbfounded. After all, it did feel weird for these two people who usually had no contact with each other to be together. It was because of this change in situation that the little girls who had always stayed away from Yuzumaki Naruto and ignored him discovered something. Dot 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 looking at it this way, Naruto is indeed pretty good looking, but why did he realize it now? Almost all the little girls in the appearance association noticed this. Normally, they would not pay attention to Yuzumaki Naruto, who has a very low presence. After all, their parents often say things like don't have contact with Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuzumaki Naruto is a demon fox, so they don't even look at him. We'll look back at Yuzumaki Naruto. Now because Yuukai Sasuke was sitting next to Yuzumaki Naruto, they also focused on Yuzumaki Naruto's face. Without those six beards, Naruto looks as good as Sasuke-kun. After not being funny, Yuzumaki Naruto is almost the exact same temperament as Yuukai Sasuke. Now that these two people are sitting together, the same temperament is even more clear. It's just that the two people sitting at the back didn't pay attention to the words of these little girls, and didn't even change their emotions in the slightest. Yuzumaki Naruto has no interest in being popular. The so-called popularity is just a little girl's longing for the unknown. And longing is the farthest distance from understanding. Yuzumaki Naruto is still looking at the scroll in front of him, which is a scroll about the body's meridians. Now he has a better understanding of the body's meridians. After all, Tensigan is derived from the Byakugan, and also has the ability of the Byakugan to see through the chakra meridians. That is, because of the function of Tensigan, Yuzumaki Naruto has a deeper understanding of the meridians of the body. After practicing the Mudra every day, and using Tensigan to observe his body's meridians, Yuzumaki Naruto's understanding of the Mudra has become clearer. Yuukai Sasuke is very interested in the research of Yuzumaki Naruto, and he can see that this is a simplified verification of India. Is the printing simplified? Yuzumaki Naruto nodded slightly. The length of the seal has a great impact on actual combat. Reducing unnecessary seals can save time in actual combat. It's just started now, but the body replacement technique's seal has been reduced by one. The body replacement technique requires five seals. It can be said that among the three body techniques, the seals require the most ninjutsu. Reducing the body replacement technique seals is critical to using the body replacement technique. That means that the seal that took more than a second to complete can now be done in only one second. This is quite an improvement. It's just that this kind of progress Yuzumaki Naruto is obviously not satisfied, because he knows that body replacement technique can be simplified even more. According to my speculation, the body replacement technique can be simplified to up to two seals. However, if you want to continue simplifying it, you need to modify the knotting method of the seals, which will take a certain amount of time. Can this kind of thing be done? Of course it can be done, it just takes time to try and make changes to India. The traditional 12 seals will affect the flow of chakra during the preparation process. The newly created seal only needs to be able to combine several seals to affect the flow of chakra to be successful, but this process takes quite a while. The simplification and change of seals take time to do. Yuzumaki Naruto can naturally change the seals, and even make simplified and original seals, but it takes time. If, at this time, there is shadow clone technique, it will be easy. As the number one ninjutsu in the ninja world, what Yuzumaki Naruto hopes to get now is the shadow clone technique. Even if it is not the multiple shadow clone technique on the book of seals, just the ordinary shadow clone technique is better than nothing now. Yuukai Sasuke was moved when he heard this. Of course he knew about this shadow clone technique, because brother. The traitor Yuukai Hatachi once gave him the seal of shadow clone technique. It's just that it was a ninjutsu that was quite expensive for chakra, so he didn't take the initiative to learn it. The shadow clone technique can make it very easy. It seems to be a ninjutsu that divides chakra. If you don't have a lot of chakra, you can't use it. That's right. But that's also the best ninjutsu for research and practice. Although one's own chakra will be distributed to the clone, the clone can also be materialized. 
and the experience experienced can also be transferred to the main body. Yuakai Husasuke immediately understood the value of shadow clone technique when he heard the last sentence. Although Yuzumaki Naruto noticed the change in Yuakai Husasuke's mood, he was not surprised. In fact, many people knew about this matter, but most of the teachers who knew were Jonin. After all, not everyone can do the shadow clone technique learned, and not everyone can afford to share the shadow clone technique's chakra. That is, only ninjas with a large amount of chakra can bear the consumption of shadow clone technique, and Yuzumaki Naruto is the one who doesn't worry about chakra consumption at all. The beginning of the power of yin and yang, even if it is still a sapling that has not grown up, it can be said to be beyond the realm of normal humans. As long as it grows normally, it may not take the adult chakra to surpass the myth of first Hokage Senju Hashirama. Dot. After all, this ninja world is very cruel. Sometimes some mazes and traps cannot be tried and aired by oneself, and Shadow Clone can do these things. There are more uses in actual combat, but the Shadow Clone technique is also a practical ninjutsu to increase the speed of exercise. Two Shadow Clone is twice the efficiency, three is three times. It's just that Yuzumaki Naruto side at this point, and this sigh also made Yuakai Husasuke very strange. Isn't this a good thing? It is a good thing but the fatigue caused by exercise will also be transmitted to the body. It is because of this that the multiple shadow clone technique that can create a large number of shadow clone is one of the forbidden technique. However, no matter how useful it is, it is useless. Although the shadow clone technique is a B-level ninjutsu, it is still too far away for us. Shadow clone technique is not a ninjutsu that ordinary ninjas can touch. Not even many Chunin knew it, and it was almost impossible for one of them, the orphan of Yuakaiha, a nine-tails Jinchuriki, to come into contact with this jutsu. Of course, Yuakai Husasuke also knew that Konoha would not provide him with any ninjutsu, just like Konoha could take away countless secret ninjutsu scrolls from the Yuakaiha family. But only Shadow Clone technique is different. It was the jutsu that the traitor taught him, and it was the only jutsu he knew but didn't learn. Shadow Clone technique, I know. Chapter 33 Guidance to Yuakai Husasuke Yuzumaki Naruto's men paused and glanced at Yuakai Husasuke slightly unexpectedly. Isn't fire style what you're good at? Yuakai Husasuke is best at fire style and then he is good at lightning style, things like shadow clone technique. Yuzumaki Naruto really doesn't know. Yuakai Husasuke didn't want to explain this matter, but he couldn't bear to say it. Maybe talking about it can make you feel a little better. That's the ninjutsu the man is good at. Yuakai Huitachi. Yuzumaki Naruto thought for a moment and nodded in understanding. Yuakai Huitachi was indeed a person who could use the shadow clone technique. He also developed ninjutsu such as the clone explosion. It would be understandable if it was taught by Yuakai Huitachi. Have you tried it yourself? Dot dot not yet. Find an opportunity to try it. If you can master the shadow clone technique, you won't use it in the ninja school in the future. Shadow clone technique can save a lot of time, which can save them a lot of trouble at this stage. As we all know, you can't learn anything in ninja school. The time saved in the ninja school can be used in other places and the affairs of the ninja school can be passed. Yuzumaki Naruto will definitely not let go of shadow clone technique. He will never do the same thing as Yuzumaki Naruto, so the multiple shadow clone technique will never have a chance with him. But if you can get shadow clone technique now, then you can make up for the loss of not being able to get multiple shadow clone technique. It's just that Yuakai Hasasuke's face is still a little unhappy, if possible. He doesn't want to use the ninjutsu that Yuakai Hodachi taught him but being able to save time in ninja school is really crucial. It saves a lot of time and can focus on other things. After the ninja school was over, Yuzumaki Naruto stopped Yuakai Hasasuke. Go to my place today and try to complete that today so that you can save more time in the future. Okay, I know. After Yuzumaki Naruto's explanation, even Yuakai Hasasuke knew the value of shadow clone technique. Even if it is the ninjutsu taught by that man, it should still be used. Under the leadership of Yuzumaki Naruto, the two went to the training ground number 23. Training course. Well, I moved here from that place a few months ago. Yuzumaki Naruto lowered his voice a little. No other ninjas will come to this training ground. There has been a ban here because of my arrival. But Anbu is still nearby. Keep an eye on your words. Um, it's just that Yuakaiha became more curious. It was indeed weird that a training ground was banned because of Yuzumaki Naruto. Looking at this training ground. There is really no sign of anyone moving. It does look like a ban has been imposed. Walking into the training ground. After passing through a bush, the world in front of me suddenly became much brighter. It was a lake reflecting the sunset. The lake is crystal clear, and some insects can be heard in the ears. It is indeed a good place to live. It's just that it's too quiet here. Quietly, even the popularity can no longer be felt. However, Yuakai Husasuke also likes this kind of atmosphere. It feels a lot more relaxing without having to hear those little girls chattering in his ears. Set up your workout routine for later. Yuakai Husasuke immediately changed his attitude after hearing about the exercise. 
The real battle of our ninjas is actually a competition of combat experience, as well as a competition of chakra amount and chakra control. Save chakra consumption during battle and always be careful. The more precise the chakra control, the more it can change the battle situation. Illusion requires such fine chakra power. To dispel the illusion, you need chakra control beyond the caster. Chakra is the first life of a ninja. How to control chakra is the second life of a ninja. The reason why you were defeated by an illusion in the first place was because the control gap between you and the caster was too big. Otherwise, Fine control would not have kept you trapped in the illusion. Click, click, click. The thought of being taught a lesson by that man's Janjutsu made Yuakai Husasukichi with hatred. Calm down and listen to me. Dot dot um. Yuakai Husasuk forced himself to calm down. It's your shortcoming to not be calm when things happen, especially when you are involved with Yuakai Hatachi. That is, I'm not asking you to give up hatred, but I need you to control that emotion. Stay calm during the battle. Your hatred is not an emotion that blinds your eyes but a sedative that makes you calmer during the battle. Once your emotions are controlled by the other party, it means that you have been led by the other party's nose all the time. This is your failure. Keep that shame in your heart and never show it on your face. Being emotional is just proof of your failure. Control your emotions. One or two failures are nothing. What matters is what you gain from the failure. Dot. Is it the motivation to move forward, or the reason for your decadence? These words are all obvious reality. Most of those who are defeated by setbacks are mediocre. But geniuses can face difficulties and be brave after knowing their shame. But are there many such people? I'm afraid there are very few. Therefore, only one Yuakai Hamadara has appeared since ancient times, so Yuakai Hamadara is a myth. The word measurement is a very profound word, and I think you should have heard it from other people. I just want to test my mettle. This sentence appeared in Yuakai Husasuk's mind unconsciously, which made the fire in his heart burn again. Nodding fiercely, he heard the man say this to himself more than once in his dream. Snapped. Yuzu Maki Naruto simply gave Yuakai Husasuk a slap, and looking at his completely confused eyes, Yuzu Maki Naruto continued to talk slowly. This is just a word game. Do you understand? The word measurement is just a way for the strong to play with the weak. If you are the stronger party, then the so-called measurement is a joke. The person who said this is your brother? Yuakai Husasuk nodded wearily. What a good scumbag. He killed his parents and clan members just to say these words. People need to have a moral concept. Family members are everyone's bottom line. Nothing can come after family members. And your brother is undoubtedly a filial son and a scumbag among scumbags, because he puts some things before his relatives. Then you need to think about another question. Why did the people who killed the entire Yuakai clan just leave you alone? Chapter 34 Start coaching Sasuke to exercise. There are only two reasons. The first one is that even Sharingan didn't open it, so you are not qualified to die in his hands. The second one is that he hopes to keep you and get something from you in the future. Yuzu Maki Naruto naturally knew the real reason. Brokon, an idiot, did such a coquettish operation in order to save his younger brother. Click, click, click. Sure enough, just as Yuzu Maki Naruto had speculated before, Yukai Sasuke was still angry to death. Calm down. Let's analyze these two reasons carefully. The possibility of the first scenario is not very high. After all, if Yuakai Hitachi wiped out the entire Yuakai clan, you are already no less than you. It is definitely not because of such a boring reason to deliberately let you survive. So, I personally prefer the second reason. The clever Yuakai Husasuk's brain immediately came to his senses after being pointed out. It's Sharingan. The Yuakai clan is a very famous Sharingan, and there are some secrets that outsiders don't know. Yuakai Husasuk also knew about these Sharingan secrets by accident. It's definitely not okay to tell other people these things, but Yuzu Maki Naruto can. However, knowing that Anbu was nearby, Yuakai Husasuk became very careful when speaking and deliberately lowered his voice. In the past of the Yuakai clan, there was a pair of people who used Sharingan to ultimate, and they all awakened Menjikyo Sharingan because they used Sharingan to ultimate. It is rumored that there is a stronger revolution type above Menjikyo Sharingan, but it needs to open the eyes of Menjikyo's blood brother to awaken it. That guy probably wants to get my eyes. I didn't expect Yuakai Husasuk to know such a legend. Yuzu Maki Naruto, who knew this legend, naturally knew who these brothers were talking about. The famous Yuakai Hamadara and Yuakai Hazuna. Finally, Yuakai Hamadara, who got his younger brother's eyes, awakened a brand new Mangekyo, known as the Mangekyo who can't be blind, Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. If that's the case, then the reason why he used illusion on you can already be known. He should know how to get those eyes, and hope to use that method to stimulate you to make you get those eyes. It's just that you didn't get those eyes directly in your situation, so he chose to let you go. Next time, he will wait until you mature and then steal your eyes. Although Yuakai Hasasuke has also analyzed the reason why he is still alive, but when he thinks that he is regarded as a big meal by the traitor, he does not even have the ability to resist. As long as the traitor wants it, 
Then the grown-up self will can't keep my eyesight. The fire in Yukai Husasuk's heart kept burning when he thought of the traitor. Yuzu Maki Naruto patted Yukai Husasuk on the shoulder and changed the subject. What he did gave you a chance. Don't forget the humiliation he brought you, and don't forget that he killed his father and mother with his own hands. You already know enough about what kind of person he is, right? Ah, enough. Turning hatred into flames, sooner or later he will destroy Yukai Huitachi, the beast who killed his father and mother. With his own hands, seeing that his emotions were almost adjusted, Yuzu Maki Naruto began formal teaching. What he can do now is only the basics, but his basics and his knowledge of certain things are definitely not comparable to Chunin from the ninja school. After all, he grasped all the key points from the very beginning. Chakra. Yes, the key to it all is chakra. Chakra is the key to everything. All power comes from chakra, so how to use the power of chakra is the real key. Then, Let's get started. Everything about ninjas starts with chakra. Chakra will be produced by the ninja and flow through the chakra meridians of the ninja's body. Chakra is a kind of life energy, whose essence is a fusion of physical energy and spiritual energy. That is, the way to strengthen chakra is to train your mind and your body. While using chakra, it is also exercising the body and mind. Therefore, in the next five years, maintaining the use of this chakra for a long time is the best exercise for the body and mind. Very good. Yuakai Husasuk is already mentally prepared. He himself has just experienced the pain of genocide. Now his brain is not very clear about what he should do. It would be good if someone could tell him what to do. Long term use of chakra for five years after that? This is normal. How can a ninja not use chakra? And he also heard clearly why chakra should be used for a long time. In order to exercise the body and mind, it makes sense, doesn't it? Our bodies are still growing. As I said before, it is not advisable to overdo it. So weight-bearing exercises are no longer necessary. I see. All the burden must be added to the chakra exercise. After graduating from the ninja school, the body has a certain ability to bear before starting to carry out weight-bearing exercises. Yuzu Maki Naruto moved closer to Yuakai Husasuk. Exactly. After graduation, you also need to preserve a certain amount of strength. Carrying weight can suppress part of your ability, and at the same time, you can exercise your body better. It kills two birds with one stone. Weight-bearing exercises are also included in Yuzu Maki Naruto's plan, but a body that has not fully grown is not suitable for weight-bearing exercises. The body of an eight-year-old is absolutely not good, at least until after the age of 13. Then, without further ado, let's start learning from the most basic chakra control. The first thing to do is to condense chakra on the feet, and use chakra's adsorption force to walk up to the top of the tree step by step, just like what I am doing now. As he spoke, Yuzu Maki Naruto walked to the edge of a tree, stepped on the trunk of the tree, and slowly walked to the highest point of the tree step by step. Can Chakra still do this? Yuakai Husasuk really didn't know that Chakra had this kind of adsorption effect. Well, this is the basic method of using Chakra. According to my practice, the bottom of the feet is the most difficult place to condense Chakra. This is a better way to maintain Chakra cohesion. This will be of great help to the use of ninjutsu in the future, especially the persistent ones. Ninjutsu? So, starting today, we will begin to transform towards the control of chakra. Fine, finer control. I'll let you know a little bit about how important the fine control of chakra is. Chapter 35 A Year of Hard Training The time span is one year. This time of the year use Yumaki Naruto and Yuakai Husasuk spend almost every day together. After Yuakai Husasuk contributed the shadow clone technique he learned from Yuakai Hatachi. The two of them let shadow clone deal with the ninja school a month later, while they themselves were in high intensity during exercise. This year has been very fulfilling for both Yukai Huitachi and Yuzu Maki Naruto. After all, they have been doing boring and repetitive exercises every day, and everyone will feel extremely fulfilled. Rush, a figure walked quickly through the woods, and all that could be seen was a shadow for a moment, and the sound was very soft. This figure quickly walked through the woods, and in less than ten seconds, he had passed through the woods and came to the lake in the middle. The black figure suddenly stopped next to the lake and the figure became clearly visible. He has black hair and black eyes. Although his face still looks very childish, you can tell that this person is Yuakai Husasuk. A year of training has been an ordeal for Yuakai Husasuk. God knows how he survived this year, because Naruto's guidance was purely based on basics, and it was also the basics of basics, just constantly repeating these basics that he already knew. But the most troublesome thing is that he has become dozens of times stronger than before because of these foundations. Yuakai Husasuk once couldn't hold on anymore. After seeing his changes, he once again devoted himself to basic exercise with pain and joy. In the process of training the basics, Yukai Husasuk realized what Naruto meant by five years of non-stop training. It was really not a joke. From the initial exercise of chakra control, then to the production of controlled chakra amount, reallocation of physical energy and mental energy, to the exercise of mudra, the exercise of three-body technique. For a whole year, Yukai Husasuk was exposed to only very ordinary basics, 
but these basics made him extremely powerful. With different proportions of chakra, only an appropriate amount of chakra is produced. Daily exercise saves the consumption of chakra every moment. It was during this kind of exercise that Yuakaiha Sasuke discovered that he had become extremely sensitive to chakra and was able to control every bit of chakra in his body extremely carefully to achieve the lowest consumption and the highest effect. This is a process from not getting used to it at first to getting used to it. After getting used to it, Yuakaihu Sasuke was able to realize how much energy this method saves, allowing him to fight longer and allowing him to maintain his best condition for longer. That is because this state has been maintained for a year, and Yuakaihu Sasuke has become more and more accustomed to this boring exercise that he could not get used to at first. After all, any exercise is boring, and basic exercise may be the most boring, but this significant improvement gives people more momentum to focus on exercise. Yuakai Sasuke standing on the edge of the lake looked quietly at Yuzumaki Naruto standing in the middle of the lake. Of course, his focus was on the small cracks dividing the water at Yuzumaki Naruto's feet. This guy actually did it. There are not many ups and downs at all on the entire lake, but the crack really separates the lake water completely. The nature transformation of the wind attribute chakra was actually completed while those Anbu was watching, and it was completed under such circumstances. Yuakai Sasuke knew that Yuzumaki Naruto was carrying out Chakra's nature transformation a long time ago, and even he himself was carrying out nature transformation in this area, but now he has only completed the first stage of Chakra nature transformation with fire and thunder attributes. It's not that nature transformation is so difficult, but it is very difficult to complete Chakra's nature transformation without Anbu's attention. Also, it's about Anbu. After Yuakai Sasuke practiced chakra for nearly a year and became extremely sensitive to chakra, he noticed several chakra sources hidden in the woods during his frequent visits here. It's just that his perception has not yet reached that level, and he cannot accurately detect the specific location of the chakra. He only knows that there are several chakra sources hidden in the woods. That is to say, after becoming aware of Anbu, Yuakai Sasuke became more careful in his usual speech. It is because of this situation that Yuakai Sasuke becomes even more depressed when he looks at Yuzumaki Naruto. This guy, under the eyes of so many people, it's a shame he was able to complete nature transformation. If it were me, there would be no way I could complete nature transformation in less than a year with so many eyes on me. Although Yuakai Sasuke is also proud enough, he just can't do it in a short time. Fortunately, his requirement for himself was to complete the nature transformation of the two chakra attributes of fire and thunder within five years. After all, it had to be completed under the supervision of so many Anbu, and it was not conditional on being discovered by those Anbu. Yuakai Sasuke felt that it was fast to complete the nature transformation of two chakra attributes in five years. He looked at his hands. I really want to know what level my strength is. There are still four years until I graduate from ninja school. It's just that Yuakai Sasuke knows that he should be patient. A year of self-cultivation has stopped him from getting angry like before, especially after being reminded by Yuzumaki Naruto to calm down for a year, he is used to being calm to think about the problem. But according to our situation, it shouldn't be very difficult to achieve the basic strength of special jonin after graduation. This is not because Yuakai Sasuke is distracted, but because he has a certain degree of confidence and feels that this is an easy thing. The results of this year are the source of his thinking. In one year, even if they just practice the basics, their strength has reached a level that is beyond the reach of their peers. Shadow Clone went to take charge of the ninja school and those experiences were accepted by them. Shadow Clone itself is not the strength of the main body, but the basic ability of Shadow Clone can easily cope with the affairs of the ninja school, which is already a problem. Yuakai Sasuke knew that he and Yuzumaki Naruto were not at the level that people of the same age could reach, and they had been training together this year, and they had a tacit understanding with each other and could understand each other with their eyes even if they didn't speak. Even though Yuakai Sasuke doesn't know what level his strength is now, he already has some feeling. Perhaps the only difference between the Chunin in the ninja school and them is their combat experience. Chapter 36 Everything you need is there. After taking one look at the tiny crack that led directly to the bottom of the lake, Yuzumaki Naruto took his mind back. Finished. The wind attribute chakra nature transformation is completely completed. The wind attribute chakra that can completely separate the middle of the lake symbolizes everything. Coupled with the amazing chakra control, this cutting is even maintained in a very small space, to the extent that even onlookers cannot notice it. It is feasible to complete one chakra nature transformation in one year, and then complete the other four chakra nature transformations. In addition, the power of nature is also felt. As he grows older, the saplings that symbolize the power of yang and yin are also growing normally, and along with this is the rapid leap in physical and mental abilities. Yes, a complete leap. Both physical and mental abilities have reached incredible heights, a level that Yuzumaki Naruto would never have dared to imagine in the past. The improvement of physical ability mainly lies in the body. All aspects of the senses have been improved again. The improvement of the five senses is very amazing. However, 
compared with the improvement of the five senses of the body, the improvement of the spirit is actually the most critical. Well, it is very crucial, because when his mental abilities were improved, Yuzumaki Naruto seemed to have awakened his special abilities. That is the ability belonging to the Yuzumaki clan, the most powerful secret perception skill in the entire ninja world, Kagura's heart tie. Well, thanks to Kagura's inner eye and Tensigan, I unconsciously received too many messages and even saw the power of nature that permeates nature, dot 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 although we still need to think of ways to absorb these natural forces. No matter how difficult it is, we must first create a compromised version of sage mode that balances the three energies. Of course, Yuzumaki Naruto, who pursues perfection, will not use this sage mode. Only by perfectly accepting the power of nature can he truly master the power of nature, and only by perfectly mastering the power of nature can he find a way to use it into the truth-seeking ball. But the situation now is much better than a year ago. Chakra will continue to grow with age. At the current rate of improvement, Chakra may surpass Sanju Hashirama's level in just a few years. If we continue to improve, maybe the quantitative changes will lead to qualitative changes. It should be a good thing for me. After smoothing the cracks in the lake, Yuzumaki Naruto patted his pants and walked towards the edge of the lake. I didn't expect you to do it. If you want to do it, you can do it but it's not that easy to hide it from others. Doing it the ordinary way doesn't make any sense. Of course Yokai Sasuke knows that if Chakra's nature transformation wants to be achieved, he may be able to complete a Chakra's nature transformation without considering exposure and working hard for a few months, but this is meaningless. This is also a Chakra exercise. If you can do it without being discovered, it will definitely be much more meaningful than if you can do it normally. After a year of training, Yokai Sasuke also knows how important the control of Chakra is, and how useful it is to control Chakra carefully. Compared with the ninjutsu he had learned in the past that were purely used for attacks, to be honest, it was not as useful as training chakra control. Minimal consumption maximizes the effects of chakra. The punch exploded by condensing chakra in the hand is no less lethal than the fire style, and the chakra consumed will be less, and the hit rate will even be higher. Therefore, it was only this year that he understood the beauty of chakra control, and hoped to complete the chakra nature transformation like Yuzumaki Naruto, that is, in full view of the public, but without being discovered by Anbu. After all, this is also a chakra control exercise. Hey what about today's exercise? Is it still the same as usual? No, today is different from usual. Today I will tell you my latest discovery. If it is correct, as long as we can successfully use that power, then our ability should be increased several times, even dozens of times. Promote. Yuakai Husasuk's eyes lit up instantly. This was what he liked to hear most. It's just that even I just discovered that thing recently. It will take a long time to try to absorb it and use it. Given the time, it should be enough. The most indispensable thing now is time. The affairs of the ninja school are left to Shadow Clone to handle. What they usually have the most is time. And there are still four years left until graduation from ninja school. There should be a lot of things that can be done in these four years. Yuzumaki Naruto did not object to this statement. Four years was indeed enough. Then you should complete the second phase of that as soon as possible. Although I also have to complete the other ones, but after gaining experience, I will try to complete that one I just mentioned within half a year. Yuakai Husasuke thought for a moment and nodded. Have you reached the second stage in half a year? I will try to complete it as early as possible. But do you have to rush it? Is it so difficult to complete? Is there any magic that is not difficult? Yuzumaki Naruto sighed slightly. In fact, this time was also very urgent for him. He could develop a compromised version of Sage Mode within half a year, which meant that he needed to find a way to stably complete Sage Mode at least within half a year. This is also very rushed. After all, after it is completed, the power can be increased several times or even several times. It is very difficult to develop, and it will also be very difficult to learn. Of course, the corresponding difficulty benefits and difficulty are the same. If you can master that kind of power, you will be fundamentally different from other ninjas. The benefits and difficulty are equal. If it can be improved several times or even dozens of times after mastering it, then even if it has a certain degree of difficulty, it still makes sense. Yuakai Husasuke doesn't think there is any problem with this. It is like a very lethal ninjutsu. Although those ninjutsu are very lethal, the difficulty of learning is also the same as the lethality. It is not easy to learn it. An easy thing. Yuakai Husasuke who had thought of something, lowered his voice a bit. Naruto, didn't you say that we don't study ninjutsu other than three-body technique? Yuzumaki Naruto nodded slightly. Of course, Xianjutsu is not ninjutsu, but just a kind of chakra's control. What I'm talking about is not a ninjutsu, but a special energy that has something to do with chakra. What I'm talking about is just a control of power, not a ninjutsu that requires sealing. Chapter 37 Encountering the Four Ninjas of Konoha at the Barbuk Restaurant. Most of the Yakinoka restaurants in Konoha belong to the Akamaki family. After all, the Akamaki family are experts in eating. That is because the Akamaki family themselves are very good at eating. The Akamaki family knows very well what ingredients are the best, so the restaurants and Yakinoka restaurants run by the Akamaki family are very popular. 
As he completed the nature transformation of the wind chakra, Yuzumaki Naruto decided to relax with Yuakai Husasuk at the Yakinika restaurant run by the Akamiki family after a long absence. It's great to eat fish and game every day, but occasionally I wish I could switch to other flavors. Gudong Gudong, Heart Hilda, Yuakai Husasuk and Yuzumaki Naruto sat across from each other, each drinking a large glass of soda. It's rare to relax for a while. Ever since Yuakai was exterminated, Yuakai Husasuk has been in this state of irritability and anxiety, and his entire being is filled with thoughts of revenge. Although the thought of revenge is still there, all the time is filled with substantial exercise, even so full that he has no time to think about revenge. In this high-pressure state, even an Iron Man wants to take a break. Yuakai Husasuk, who was full of revenge, was already tired. If the flame of revenge was not still burning in his heart, he might not be able to endure it. Yuzumaki Naruto added a piece of meat and put it in his mouth. I thought you didn't need any rest. Yuakai Husasuk's face was very dark. I want to rest. It's just that I spend most of my time exercising. Do you think I have so much free time to rest? If Yuzumaki Naruto hadn't discovered something new today, Yuakai Husasuk believed that he would still spend the whole day in his daily exercise. You must know that since he trained with Yuzumaki Naruto, his rest time has been compressed to ultimate. In addition to the basic six hours of sleep per day, you can only have time to rest during three meals. He spent most of the day doing basic exercises, including chakra control exercises, mudra exercises, the use of three body technique, and chakra nature transformation exercises. It can be said that these exercises are included in his daily schedule. Dot. It can be said that if he wants to spare some free time in the day, he also wants to see if Yuzumaki Naruto has assigned the same exercise task that day. Of course, although Yuakai Hasasuke seems to be complaining every day, he has never complained at all when it comes to exercise. At most, he just can't stand it. Yuzumaki Naruto smiled unconsciously, thinking that the two of them really hadn't had much rest in the past year. In the future, you can find time to come here to eat and relax after exercising. It's not a problem to maintain a tense state all the time. Combining work and rest is the best exercise. In fact, Yuzumaki Naruto himself also knows that exercise is boring and boring. Sometimes, staying in this boring basic exercise has a great impact on himself. Yuakai Husasuke wasn't very objectionable. Occasionally it's okay. Of course it's okay to go out and relax occasionally. Even if he is always in a state of exercise, he can't stay in a good state for a long time. The price of a meal at the Yakinuka restaurant run by the Akamaki family is not very high, and it is relatively affordable. Yuakai Husasuke doesn't think that eating there occasionally will make him bankrupt. Naruto, where do we stand now? Yuzumaki Naruto slightly sensed Yuakai Husasuke's state. Well, about half of the target level has been achieved. Yuakai Husasuke was a little surprised when he learned about his own level for the first time. He thought he was not yet at that level. Unexpectedly, he had already achieved half of his original goal. You must know that this was only after a period of time. Only years. So fast? Is it something to be happy about when your level improves quickly? In the beginning, a basin of cold water was poured on Yuakai Husasuke's head, which made Yuakai Husasuke, who had just been a little complacent, calm down instantly. Yes, it is indeed not something worth being so happy about. Their goal has never been the little Chunin, and they don't need so-called recognition. That strength will recognize their level. Meeting only half of your goal is definitely not something to be proud of. The hard work of the past year has been sowing fruits, and now they have only received some small results, and these small results are not worthy of being overly proud. Yuzumaki Naruto looked at Yuakai Husasuke's face that rarely showed any emotion before nodding slightly. After a year of training, I finally got some results. If you express your true emotions too easily, you will easily be targeted. Such a small amount of achievements are not worthy of pride and complacency. That's what I say, but it's a good achievement to have surpassed the initial stage. So, you need to be more serious in the next six months, and your second phase also needs to be completed as soon as possible. If I complete that within half a year, the time to complete it first will become very tight. Yuakai Husasuke also became more serious after hearing this. Ah. I will try my best to complete the second phase within half a year. The exercise of new strength will be very troublesome. Yuakai Husasuke already knew it just now. It is also quite difficult to complete the second stage within half a year without being discovered by Anbu that he is performing chakra nature transformation. Dot. After all, the time limit is limited, and it cannot be completed within the next four years. This is a big problem. This is a challenge. Already bored with basic workouts. Yuakai Husasuke was looking for something a little more exciting to motivate him. It is indeed a bit difficult to exercise chakra nature transformation without being noticed by Anbu, and to complete the second stage of nature transformation. Suddenly, Yuzumaki Naruto paused when he was still about to speak, tapped his fingers on the table, and moved his lips slightly. Yuakai Husasuke, who had already learned how to read lips, also paused, taking back all the words just now. On the left, come three jonin and a special jonin. Glancing to the left, 
There were four people sitting on the other side, a man with a white hair mask, a man with a green coat, a man with a beard, and a woman with red eyes and long hair. Yuakai Husasyuk, whose chakra perception has also become much stronger during this year, also senses the unusual chakra. Three jonin, three men are jonin, and the only woman is a special jonin. Indeed, chakra's level feels like a big gap. Is this the difference between jonin and special jonin? In particular, the gap between jonin and jonin is obvious, and it can be perceived from the level of chakra. After paying attention for a while, Yuakai Husasyuk pulled his attention back, and in such a short time, the four people sitting opposite had already noticed. Chapter 38 There are only two people who need attention. Um, the four jonin are very sensitive to sight, so they immediately noticed the gaze from the table next to them. Those two kids dot 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 should be in ninja school now, right? Mike Guy suddenly interrupted. Everyone knows this. Three, the other three jonin are not idiots. Everyone knows that today is not a holiday for the ninja school so naturally no ninja school students can hang out outside. But everyone also knows that students who wander outside will be caught by the teachers of ninja school. After all, such things as blatantly absent from class are not acceptable. But looking at these two little ghosts seating happily here, it is obvious that they don't care about the situation of the ninja school. Come to think of it, as long as you are not stupid enough, you have already found a corresponding solution. Or in other words, no one will find out that these two little ghosts are not in a ninja school. At first glance, everyone knew what was going on. But at the second glance, everyone felt a little weird. Because of the side face of this blonde child, they always felt as if they had seen it somewhere before. Old, teacher, Hatake Kakashi was the first person to react, and he immediately realized this profile. No. The teacher is indeed dead. Dot 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 really? Yuzu Maki Naruto, have sensei's children grown this big already? Hatake Kakashi has not paid attention to the teacher's son for a long time. At first, because of Obito's death, Lin's death, and teacher's death, he could no longer control other things. This situation only improved slightly after leaving Anbu. It's also because there have been a lot of things going on lately. After leaving Anbu, he would not stop doing any task, and he would pay less attention to the teacher's children. In addition to the teacher's son, there is Yuakai Husasyuk. I didn't expect the two of them to be involved together. For Hatake Kakashi, it is really hard to imagine that his teacher's son is actually walking with Yuakai Hatachi's younger brother and the two people are sitting together eating barbecue, which shows that the relationship between the two people is not bad. Yuakai Husasyuk and Yuzu Maki Naruto, who were just across the aisle, did not show any emotional changes. However, after Yuakai Husasyuk glanced at the four people over there, his lips moved slightly. Is the gap between Special Jonin and Jonin so big? Yuzu Maki Naruto nodded slightly and moved his lips. Special Jonin just has some special features that can be called Jonin but its essence is not as good as Jonin. That woman is the weakest among them. She is best at Genjutsu, and in other aspects she is only at the level of a Chunin. This is not surprising to Yuakai Husasyuk. The Kanoichi itself is physically different from the male ninja. It is not surprising that the Kanoichi is better at illusions. It should be said that this is more in line with the situation of regular Kanoichi. What about the three Jonin? The masked ninja is called Hatake Kakashi and his covered left eye hides a Sharingan. Sharingan. What's going on? Yuakai Husasyuk doesn't know that outsiders have obtained the eyes of his clan, and why can an outsider move so freely after obtaining the eyes of his clan? That was given to Hatake Kakashi by his former teammate before he died. It is considered a kind of relic. In addition, your family once asked for this eye, but, you know, after all, Yuakai and Konoa's trop brass don't get along. Yuakai Husasyuk didn't expect that his clan and the high-level officials of Konoa were at odds with each other to such an extent. Those eyes clearly belong to Yuakai. Could it be that just because of the concept of relics, Yuakai has eyes could be given to outsiders? Although he felt unhappy, Yuakai Husasyuk still held back the resentment in his heart. Two direct emotional fluctuations will affect the fluctuations of chakra, and then some problems will be noticed. Yuzu Maki Naruto has said these words many, many times and Yuakai Husasyuk will naturally not turn a deaf ear. After all, he also knew that Yuzu Maki Naruto's words were right. Doing this before he had enough power was seeking death in advance. The guy with a stubble is called Sarutobi Asuma, the second son of Sarutobi Hiruzen, the son of the third Hokage, the official second generation, the descendant of Konoa's trop brass. Yuakai Husasyuk's eyes flashed slightly, and now he was very sensitive to the term Konoa high level, because he knew that Konoa's top leaders were involved in Yuakai Has genocide. He had a certain degree of murderous intention towards every Konoa top brass, but now he holds back. The one dressed in green is called Might Guy. He is very good at Taijutsu. He is considered the strongest person in Taijutsu in Konoa. The strongest? Question mark. This was the first time Yuakai Husasyuk heard Yuzumaki Naruto use this word to a person, and once again took a serious look at the Jonin in green tights. You need to pay attention to it. Since a year ago, 
Yokai Hisashi has learned from Yuzu Maki Naruto that ninjutsu are important indicators for measuring a ninja. It does not necessarily mean that they are fully developed, but most jonin are fully developed. The fact that ninjutsu, taijutsu and genjutsu can be placed on the same plane is enough to illustrate the importance of taijutsu. After all, sometimes ninjutsu consumes more chakra, and it is also very important to use taijutsu appropriately to speed up the end of the battle. And Yokai Hisashi always remembers what Yuzu Maki Naruto said. Once a ninja is approached, there is no need to think about using ninjutsu to decide the outcome. Illusion and taijutsu are more useful. In fact, Yokai Hisasuk is not ignorant of this truth. Genjutsu mainly relies on Sharingan. The Yokai clan's talent for Genjutsu can be said to be beyond imagination. He may not have opened Sharingan yet, but as soon as he opens Sharingan, it will become easier to perform illusions, so illusions will also need to be studied in the future. But if I don't have the chance now, I'll just think about more practical physical skills. That woman's name is Kurin Ayui. Her personal abilities are not very strong. She is good at illusions. Of course, Yui Kurenai's weight in Yuzu Maki Naruto's heart is really not important at all. She basically has no other role except to complete the relationship line with Saru Tobi Asuma. Personal abilities are average. Illusion is also quite average. It's not an exaggeration to say that it is a good looking vase. Yuzu Maki Naruto would not attach much importance to this kind of vase that could only be used for decoration. Of course. This sentence also applies to Saru Tobi Asuma. If Hatake Kakashi can only hover at the level of Jonin because of decadence, then Saru Tobi Asuma is the kind of person who has worked hard all his life and can only reach the level of Jonin. If it weren't for the official status of second generation, perhaps the standard would be even worse than it is now. Maybe the so-called strength of Jonin is derived from resources. Chapter 39, They Are Here For Gold Plating. Lip Reading Hatake Kakashi's facial muscles twitched slightly and he could see that the two brats were using lip languages to communicate. It's just that the lip language of these two brats is very conservative, and they are all used in a cover-up. Even he can't easily see what the two brats are talking about. The other three also notice the same. It's just that they don't care much about this situation. After all, it's normal for children to play around. Sometimes it's not a problem to play games like codes. They also had similar experiences back then. That black-haired kid seems to be Yuakai has orphan, right? Saru Tobi Asuma felt that the black-haired kid looked familiar but he was more familiar with the blonde-haired kid next to him, Jinchuriki Yuzu Maki Naruto of this generation of Nine Tails. Kuren Ayui, who was sitting next to her, also took a look. Although she didn't like the Yuakaiha clan very much, she still knew the last orphan of the Yuakaiha clan. But she knew very well that even Yuakaiha's orphans couldn't talk about some sensitive topics. Hatake Kakashi nodded slightly. Of course he knew that the person sitting over there was the last orphan of the Yuakaiha family, Yuakaihu Sasuke. Well, it's him. Saru Tobi Asuma took one look and then withdrew his gaze. He didn't really care about these two brats. Stop talking about this, Kakashi. How are you doing lately? Hatake Kakashi looked away when he heard this. It's much better than before, but there should be a period of adjustment. He just quit Anbu not long ago and needs a period of change, mainly in his mental state. Recently, he also often runs to Mu Eye Hospital, mainly for the treatment of his mental state, and he also needs to take some drugs with sedative effect, which requires a long recovery period. Saru Tobi Asuma didn't say anything, and he didn't know about Kakashi's experience. After all, what Anbu did was indeed likely to cause a lot of mental impact. It would be fine if it were Anbu who was a direct subordinate of my old man, but it would be really bad if it was Anbu who often dealt with the roots. You have to thank Guy for what happened this time. If he hadn't convinced the old man, it would have been useless for a few of us to go. Of course, Saru Tobi Asuma preferred that the old man was really annoyed by Might Guy, so he agreed to their request. Hatake Kakashi naturally knew about this kind of thing. If it wasn't for Might Guy's help, if it wasn't for Saru Tobi Asuma and Yue Hong's pleading together, maybe he wouldn't be able to get out of Anbu so easily. Thanks, Guy. Ah, since you want to say thank you, then have a battle with me to show off your youth. But Might Guy was giving a thumbs up, his shining teeth flashing white, which made Hatake Kakashi's eyelids twitch. Yuzu Maki Naruto and Yuakai Sasuke sitting across the aisle were eating and drinking as if they were not affected by anything. Yuzu Maki Naruto simply took a sip of soda and then started talking. Sasuke. How many people do you think are actually graduating from our class? Real graduation. This reality makes Yuakai Husasuke somewhat concerned. Of course, he still knows a little about the graduation system of the ninja school. It can be said that the conditions for graduating from the ninja school are very loose, even to a certain extent. Yuakai Husasuke might have said that graduation was easy before, but the words really graduating made him feel guilty. There are only a few who are as strong as us at the same time. Inuzu Kakiba, Abaram Shino, Hayuga Hinata, Yamanaka Ino. Naro Shikamaru, and Akimaki Choji. What about the others? Yuakai Husasuke is not sure, but these people will definitely graduate from the ninja school. Yuzu Maki Naruto nodded slightly, 
These six people were indeed stable graduating members of their class. What's the reason? Reason? This reason is of course a matter of course. After a year of training, Yokaihu Sasuke also knows why it is these six people. Because they are all from the Konoa clan. Well, you're right. In Yuzuka, Abiram, Hayuga, Yamanoka, Nara and Akamaki are all one of the major clans in Konoa. Among them, Hayuga is known as the strongest in Konoa. In Yuzuka and Abiram will not have such a title but the size of the family is not small either. Yamanaka, Nara and Akamaki are the combination of Inoue Shikacho. It can be said that the descendants of these three families are acting together because of the friendship between the three families and because the three families are also inter-family members of the Hokage faction. The teachers who coach these six people at their graduation ceremony will definitely let them go, or even let them go. It can be said that these six people can graduate steadily no matter what. After all, as one of the big families in Konoa, what would happen if their descendants couldn't even graduate from ninja school? No matter what the reason is, the descendants of the Konoa clan cannot even graduate from the ninja school. So, the coaches of these six people will definitely allow these six people to graduate smoothly. It's quite dirty, but Yuakai Husasuke doesn't have any big mood swings about it. Since he won't regard Chunin as a target, he won't take these things that he can graduate without strength seriously. Yuakai Husasuke had no interest in these things from the beginning. No matter how corrupt and dirty Konoa's interior is, it has no substantial relationship with him. After all, he will not care about these dirty relationships if he decides to take revenge on the top management of Konoa, or even Konoa as a whole. But at this time, Yuzumaki Naruto suddenly mentioned a point that Yuakai Hasasuke cared about. Then who among them do you think will be our guide Jonin? Among them? Yuzumaki Naruto nodded slightly. Many power disputes in Konoa started from these aspects. Inheritance is something that ninjas must do. There are many famous Jonin in Konoa, but there are only four Jonin who have apprentices now. Others, either they are not strong enough, or they are special Jonin. But saying this makes Yuakai Hasasuke even more strange. Because isn't there a special Jonin among these four people? Isn't that Yui Kurenai also a special Jonin? Regarding this question, Yuzumaki Naruto shook his head slightly. After all, Yuakai Husasuke still doesn't know this information. It's different. They now have a Saru Tobiasuma chasing after her. Her identity is different from other special Jonin. This woman came to become a teacher to establish relationships with some big families, and they just came to be gilded. Seeing this, Yuakai Husasuke couldn't help but feel that it is really dirty inside. Everything is not based on personal strength but on the so-called relationship, as for such a person, he only hoped that the person who came to make a relationship was not their coach Jonin. Chapter 40 That White Hair Will Be Our Guide Jonin Yuzumaki Naruto sighed, he knew that Yuakai Hasasuke was definitely overthinking. So, I say you are overthinking. When people come to guild, they need to get in touch with big families like Hayuga. Kuren Ayui seems to have come to become a teacher in Yuzumaki Naruto. After all, None of the students she teaches can really come out on their own. Apart from having a better status, strength is really the same thing. My level of strength is not very high. If I teach some students outside the standard range, I will look very incompetent. So, the level of students taught by this person is only average, but his family background is quite good. This explanation made Yuakai Husasuke slightly relieved. He didn't want to encounter such a coach Jonin. Knowing the other party's situation made him feel relieved. It was only after being reassured that Yuakai Hasasuke also reacted. Isn't that just a vase? Yuzumaki Naruto shook his head slightly. I can't say it's a vase, but a nice vase. What people need are students with backgrounds and status. As a teacher like her, she needs excellent students to help her fill in some good-looking data. She has limited abilities and cannot teach the heirs of a big family, but the heirs of those big families don't need her to teach them. Since they are the heirs of a big family, they naturally have the corresponding ninjutsu of the family. Is that just trash? Glancing aside speechlessly, Yuakai Husasuke's heart was filled with disdain. No matter how beautiful it was, it was just a useless vase. Then, the topic returned to who among them is our guide Jonin? I think it's Hatake Kakashi. What's the reason? Sharingan, he is the only one among Jonin who owns Sharingan, which means he is the best person to teach me. Yuzumaki Naruto nodded slightly, agreeing with Yuakai Husasuke's answer. In fact, there was only one Hatake Kakashi who was the most suitable person to guide Jonin. Well, if nothing else, then our guide Jonin is right. Based on the fact that the third Hokage does not intend to interfere with our contact, he hopes that you and I can get in touch so that he can successfully tie us to the Konoa ship. So, he will definitely not separate us who often train together into other teams, but will put us into a group. This is certainly what the third Hokage thinks. A bond is a kind of chain that can trap people in one place, but the third Hokage will definitely not know the reason why the two of them are connected. If Third Hokage knew about it, it is estimated that Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuakai Husasuke would be unlikely to be assigned to the same group after graduating from ninja school.
but without the third Hokage knowing anything about it, this combination was inevitable. Yuakai has orphans and fourth Hokage is orphans, this combination is perfect for Hatake Kakashi. That's really good. Although he sneered at third Hokage's approach in his heart, they were the ones who benefited in the end, which should be considered a good thing. Yuakai who Sasu cannot accept teaming up with other people after graduating from ninja school. After all, his teammates are already very good. How will it help him to team up with other brats who can't even remember their names? They're just a bunch of dragging things. It is indeed a good thing. However, we will still add a dragger to our team. Hearing this, Yuakai Husasuk couldn't help but feel some uncomfortable emotions in his heart. Such unsuitable and slow down guys should be kept away from them completely. But now he has to accept a slow down guy. He really feels very uncomfortable in his heart. Comfortable. But Yuzumaki Naruto didn't really care about this problem. Don't worry too much. After graduating from ninja school, what we need to do is to hide the truth about ourselves as much as possible. After all, we need to start physical training from then on. It doesn't matter if there is someone who is holding us back. After all, this laggard must be the third Hokage's deliberate attempt to completely bind us to Konoha. Even an Iron Man will fall into this so-called routine of growing in love over time. Especially since the object of long-lasting love is the ultimate dog licker like Haruno Sakura. Although Yuzumaki Naruto doesn't like dog licking very much, it doesn't stop him from admiring Haruno Sakura's dog licking until the end. Of course, no matter how hard Haruno Sakura licked her, it was of no use. After all, no matter how hard Haruno Sakura licked, she couldn't lick Yuakai Husasuk, who would not completely hold the idea of opposing Konoha. What a stupid move. Yuakai Husasuk couldn't help but sneer in his heart. He was not stupid enough to have feelings for such a dragging guy. It's really stupid. Although Yuakai Husasuk in the original work was also tricked, it was because Yuzumaki Naruto had been working hard and was unwilling to cut off the bond with Yuakai Husasuk, which led to the final happy ending. Of course, the current Yuzumaki Naruto will not cut off the bond with Yuakai Husasuk, but their direction is completely different from the original work. Only when we feel pain can we understand each other. That is, because they taste the same pain. They want to do the same thing. The matter of destroying Konoha. After talking about this, Yuakai Husasuk became interested in what Yuzumaki Naruto said before. What is the thing you were talking about before? Are you so anxious to know? Of course I will be anxious. An improvement of several times or even dozens of times is not just a small improvement. Since Yuakai Husasuk wanted to know, Yuzumaki Naruto would not continue to leave it there. That's the power of nature. It is not the power that exists in one's own body, composed of one's own spirit and body but the power emanating from this world and this planet itself. These words made Yuakai Hasasuk pause. If these words were said by others, then he would never believe it. But if these words were said by Yuzumaki Naruto, then he needed to confirm. Real? It's hard to believe, isn't it? In fact, it was hard for me to believe it before I discovered it, but in half a year one will let you feel the power. The power of nature is hard to believe, but this power does indeed exist. In addition, this power is also huge and astonishing. The astonishing power emitted by the entire planet itself is essentially the same as the life force of the planet. Therefore, as long as you can use this power well, it means that you can obtain power that is completely different from that of normal people. Chapter 41 You should take a rest. When you're full, let's go. Um, the BBQ tastes very good, and Yuakai Husasuk, who has not eaten for a year, ate too much today. After all, most of the time before, they had to handle things themselves, and what they called eating was actually fish mushrooms, wild vegetables, and rabbits. They couldn't handle the ingredients particularly well, so sometimes the taste was just like this. One thing. The meat in the barbecue restaurant is seasoned and can be eaten directly after grilling, so it tastes very good and is completely worthy of the price. Of course, you can only let your kaiha sasuke come in when paying. You usually have to pay for something like BBQ after eating it, but as long as Yuzumaki Naruto is alone, he might be served something inedible, so Yuzumaki Naruto will never come to this kind of restaurant. Sure enough, when Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuakai Hasasuke came to the cashier, the waitress at the cashier looked at Yuzumaki Naruto emphatically before accepting the money handed by Yuakai Hasasuke. Thank you for your business. Yuakai Hasasuke glanced at the store slightly, and Chunin couldn't help but sneered. It really depends on who chooses what to eat. Now Yuakai Hasasuke believes what Yuzumaki Naruto said before. If he comes to eat alone, it may not be something that normal people can eat. The waitress seemed to know Yuzumaki Naruto. The disgust in her eyes made him feel a little angry just looking at her. No wonder Naruto decided to live in the training ground. It is indeed cleaner than outside. As for this kind of store, huh, I won't come here anymore. Yuakai Husasuk thought in his heart that Yuzumaki Naruto was his best friend at the beginning, and his friend received special treatment. Did he still treat it as invisible and continue to visit here often in the future? I patronize your uncle. Yuakai Husasuk immediately forgot about this store when he walked out of it. What a child at heart. Yuzumaki Naruto who was walking next to him, actually noticed Yuakai Husasuk's slightly angry mood change. Although this was a very subtle emotional change, 
Yuzumaki Naruto, who had awakened Kigura's inner eye, clearly noticed it. But Yuzumaki Naruto didn't hate this situation very much. After all, it was a relationship that lasted a year. He cultivated Yuukai Hasasuke in the hope that Yuukai Hasasuke could become his partner, his friend, and someone he could call upon when he needed help. So there was definitely a real friendship throughout the whole contact process. Yuzumaki Naruto doesn't want his friendship to be so cheap, and Yuukai Hasasuke is also proving to him that his friendship is not cheap either. So, Sasuke and I are destined to be friends. That's not bad. Of course, at the same time, Yuzumaki Naruto also noticed that three pairs of eyes behind him had been staring at them. It's just that Yuzumaki Naruto didn't pay any attention to the probing eyes. Isn't the person in charge Yuukai Hasasuke? Hatake Kakashi could tell from the scene just now who the dominant person between the two children was. I thought the dominant one would be Yuukai Hasasuke. The genocide of the Yuukai clan should have had the greatest impact on him. I didn't expect that he could accept others. Does the teacher's son have the same charm as the teacher? Hatake Kakashi is currently unable to reach conclusions on these issues. After all, you will not understand this kind of thing without contact. Mike Guy and Saru Tobiasuma both noticed that Hatake Kakashi's attention was always on the two brats. Kakashi, do you care that much? Didn't we also do it back then by skipping class and going out to eat? Hatake Kakashi is naturally not paying attention to this issue. Everyone has experienced skipping classes, even him. But he noticed it elsewhere. It's the primary and secondary relationship between those two people. The person who took the initiative was not Yuukai Hasasuke but Yuzumaki Naruto who was walking next to him. Saru Tobiasuma really didn't notice much about this. In his opinion, it was just two brats skipping school to relax. This kind of thing was also very normal in their era. As for the so-called primary and secondary relationship, this seems to be a treat or not treat relationship for Saru Tobiasuma. After all, he is a child, how can he have so many complicated relationships? In Saru Tobiasuma's opinion, this is Hatake Kakashi who is still very ill. You stay there so long that you always look at things in a different way. Didn't we play games like secret codes when we were kids? Isn't our so-called primary-secondary relationship just to see which of us is better at pretending? These words made Hatake Kakashi's mouth twitch. He always felt that Saru Tobiasuma was saying that he was better at pretending. However, Hatake Kakashi began to reflect on whether his thinking was still in Anbu's state. He knew without a doubt that this was Anbu's problem after all these years. When thinking about problems, I will think in a deeper direction. Sometimes I will think of some simple things as more complicated and sometimes the direction of things will not be very complicated. As for Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuukai Hasasuke, maybe he thought too much. The so-called primary and secondary relationship is actually just a guess on his part. Maybe the parties involved do not mean this, but are the same as they were at that time. But, is this really the case? Hatake Kakashi didn't know if this was the case, but he knew it was better not to think about it now, because Konoe Hospital found that his mental state had not been very good, and maybe this was just an affected judgment. It's not impossible but quite possible. He was informed of the precautions in this regard as he was frequently in and out of the hospital recently. Thinking of this, Hatake Kakashi shook his head slightly and focused on eating again. Sorry, I probably thought too much. This is what Saru Tobiasuma thinks. These things are definitely overthinking by Hatake Kakashi unilaterally. I just think you think too much. You should take a good rest. In fact, Saru Tobiasuma still knows a little about the situation at Anbu. If you stay there for a long time, situations like Hatake Kakashi will inevitably occur. In fact, the solution is actually quite simple, as long as you come out of it for a while. From the perspective of Saru Tobiasuma, Hatake Kakashi should also find time to take a good rest. At least the situation in Anbu must be adjusted. After all, life in Anbu is not the same now. If you bring normal life into Anbu's rhythm, then you probably don't have to think about living a good life. Chapter 42 The Upcoming Ninja Life After some hiccups, Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuukai Hasasuka are back to their workout routine again. The two of them kept a low profile in school. Yuukai Hasasuke, who was originally ranked first, regressed to the middle grade, and Yuzumaki Naruto, who was originally ranked last, also improved to the middle grade. It's like being hidden among the crowd. However, because he looks pretty good, even if his grades are slightly inferior, he is still noticed by most of the girls in the class. Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuukai Hasasuke, who kept a low profile, were both exercising silently because their training does not need to be known to others, they should naturally retain some of their strength in front of outsiders and try to maintain it at the same level as their peers. Unbeknownst to all the students of the ninja school, the two people who usually performed at an average level were secretly accumulating their own strength. Four years have passed in the blink of an eye just like the previous year. For the two people who have been keeping a low profile, these four years have made up for their shortcomings and fully supplemented their nutrition enough for them to grow in the future. These four years have been very fulfilling for Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuukai Hasasuke. Yuzumaki Naruto did what he promised. Within half a year he had a certain understanding of the power of nature, and also found a way to complete a compromised version of Sage Mode. 
After handing over this compromised version of Sage Mode to Yuukai Husasuk, it took Yuukai Husasuk three full years to completely master Sage Mode. The power of nature is quite violent. Normally, it is not easy to control this power, but as long as you control this power, your own strength will be strengthened several times when using this power, or even dozens of times easily. However, the more powerful it is, the more profitable it is. There will also be corresponding restrictions, such as the preparation time required to enter Sage Mode. The day before taking the graduation exam, Yuukai Husasuk was still sitting quietly on the lake. For about a minute, a fairy face appeared on his face. Yuukai Husasuk slowly opened his eyes with his eyes closed. One minute. It still takes too long to prepare. It takes one minute to enter Sage Mode after being in a quiet state, which is a bit too long. Yuukai Husasuk feels the changes in himself. He likes this feeling of being filled with power. He wants to obtain this kind of strength that is completely different from his normal self. He wants to obtain it permanently. Unfortunately, Sage Mode is still an unstable force and preparation takes some time. Perhaps the increase obtained after entering this state is very terrifying, but the time required to prepare is too long. Yuzu Maki Naruto sitting opposite opened his eyes. Shadow clone can also create a mortal chakra. I should have told you about this. Yuukai Husasuk nodded slightly. He already knew about Shadow Clone's experience and chakra's transmission from Yuzu Maki Naruto. As long as the Shadow Clone is producing the immortal chakra, and the Shadow Clone is released, the immortal chakra created by the shadow clone can be transferred to one's own body. This is a very necessary combat method in battle. In addition, after three years, you have just mastered sage mode. There is still a lot of room for improvement in that skill, but this needs to be included in the plan for the next three years. Graduating from ninja school is the first stage. This is a magnificent era. After that, if you want to have time to further complete sage mode, what is needed is year by year development. We have just graduated from the ninja school. Being able to have such strength is already the best we can do at this stage. Yuzu Maki Naruto knew that his and Yuukai Hasasuke's limits were not at this level, but their age gave them too many restrictions. The seals, the control of chakra, the use of three body technique. These things they can do have reached the ultimate level that they can do at this stage. Of course, they can still continue to grow now. But the next growth is basically physical growth and experience growth. Yuukai Husasuk naturally knows these things, and he also understands that one cannot be anxious about strength and can only move forward step by step. I know, age limits continued growth. What needs to be done now is to lay a solid foundation for the future. With five years of training experience, Yuukai Husasuk also knows that strength is improved bit by bit in boring time. After five years of baptism, Yuukai Husasuk has long since lost his initial annoyance about his own weakness. The road to revenge does not happen overnight. If the road to revenge can be so easy, then it is not a road to revenge. Dot. Tomorrow is the graduation exam for the ninja school. After that, we will be divided into classes and officially accept tasks, and officially enter the life of a ninja. Go home and relax today. Yuzu Maki Naruto suddenly paused because there was still the matter of carrying weight. The weights you ordered before should have been prepared, right? Yuukai Husasuk nodded. He had already started making arrangements for the weight-bearing matter. It's scheduled for delivery tomorrow. The weight-bearing lining, wrist guards, and shoes are all custom-made. It's just that it takes some time to get used to this weight. Yuzu Maki Naruto was not very worried about this. The career of a ninja did not start with difficult tasks all at once. Janin was exposed to some trivial daily tasks at the beginning, and the people who entrusted the work were all from within Konoha. People. These tasks are very annoying and time-consuming but they can be used to adapt to weight-bearing. No big problem. What we need is to hide our personal abilities. Weight is the best limitation for us. Moreover, at the beginning of life in Jenin, we will not directly take on some difficult tasks. Most of them are time-consuming and labor-intensive work. For us, this is an opportunity to adapt. In addition, after we graduate from ninja training, we will face the test of coaching Jonin. It is a rare actual battle against Jonin, which allows us to adapt to the atmosphere of battle. But don't use Sage Mode against our teacher. Yuukai Husasuk didn't intend to use Sage Mode directly for his future mentor Jonin from the beginning. After all, this is a rare opportunity to fight Jonin. I will not expose things that should not be exposed. Well, that's the best. Chapter 43 It's a pity that I didn't reach the six paths level before graduation. Early the next morning, Yuukai Husasuk went to the scheduled knife shop. Boss, has the stuff arrived? The owner of the cutlery shop burst into a smile when he saw Yuukai Husasuk's face. You must know that this customization will cost a lot of money. After all, this is special heavy-duty equipment, and he can also earn a lot from it. It's here. It was just delivered this morning, and I'm just about to deliver it to you. Wait a moment, I'll push it out right now. It is true to say that money is the master. While speaking, the owner of the cutting tool shop went inside and pushed out the two sets of custom-made heavy-duty equipment with a cart. This kind of heavy-duty equipment can be carried by an ordinary person. Do not move. That's it for these two sets. Um, Yuukai Husasuk bent down and picked up one of the heavy-duty linings. He was not surprised at all by the weight of his hands. After all, 
It was made according to their standards. After picking up the shoes and wristbands, they weighed about the same. The speed of movement, the speed of seals, and even the control of chakra need to be readjusted. This is indeed the greatest exercise for the body. If it was five years ago, the body would definitely not be able to bear it. But if it is now, this weight can still bear it. Five years of continuous use of chakra, physical energy and mental energy have already been tempered for five years. Otherwise the body's ability to withstand it would not have reached the current level. The next step is year-round physical exercise. Only after the body grows further and the energy of the body is further strengthened can we go further. The three-year training is aimed at the realm of shadows. Jai e -E no longer needs to be exercised. Yuakai Husasuk has reached the point of five and one second. It is the best to just maintain this state. Chakra's control will continue to strengthen, and the stronger the strength, the stronger the chakra's control. The two types of chakra nature transformation of Leo have been completed and then add other attributes to complete the nature transformation of other attributes. In fact, Yuakai Husasuk did not realize that his desire for ninjutsu is not very high now. Perhaps, a ninjutsu that determines victory or defeat is important. However, one's own foundation is more important than ninjutsu. This is a conceptual cognition, and it is also a concept that Yuzu Maki Naruto has made Yuakai Husasuk understand for five years. After paying the rest of the money together, Yuakai Husasuk took both sets of weights together. Five years of continuous exercise has given Yuzu Maki Naruto his own biological clock, and he wakes up every day at dawn. Meditate and feel the power of nature. Get up after six o'clock to wash up, have breakfast, and then meet Yuakai Husasuk for various exercises. Yuzu Maki Naruto took a deep breath and let it out slowly. The breath instantly turned into a knife blade and cut the entire surface of the lake. Yuzu Maki Naruto, who watched this picture, was in an unusually calm mood. The power of nature is indeed extraordinary. However, it took three years to finally complete it. Perfect use of the power of nature, instead of compromising the power of nature, physical energy and spiritual energy to create the magic chakra, just absorb the power of nature into your own body and turn the power of nature into your own inner power, and can absorb the surrounding natural power for its own use at any time. It is very similar to cultivating immortals. He absorbs the power of heaven and earth into his body, then condenses it in his body and transforms it into his power through a special operation. In these four years, three years were used to complete the method of perfectly utilizing the power of nature and turning the power of nature into one's own inner power. Yuzu Maki Naruto didn't choose to compromise, so he succeeded. There is no need to enter sage mode, he is now always in the state of a sage. The power of nature is transformed into inner power, completely replacing the chakra created by physical energy and mental energy. Even the two trees of yang power and yin power are absorbing the power of nature and growing rapidly. The growth of the two trees also fed back their power to him. It can be said that what Yuzu Maki Naruto now creates is not an energy called chakra, but an energy he named inner power. Especially after realizing that the power of nature can be stored in the body and transformed into inner power that is not chakra, Yuzu Maki Naruto also began to use the structure of yang power and yin power in the body to actively create inner power. Yes, the energy composed of the yang force that symbolizes physical energy and the yin force that symbolizes spiritual energy is no longer chakra, but an energy that is biased towards the force of nature. In other words, Yuzu Maki Naruto can now not only introduce the natural power of the planet into the body, but can also convert Vice Admiral's own energy in the body into an energy similar to the power of nature. What does it mean to feel like this? This means that Yuzu Maki Naruto has completely graduated from chakra and become a being that surpasses ninja sect and even not Satsuki Kagyu. Of course, just because the type of energy exceeds does not mean that one's own strength exceeds it. Now Yuzu Maki Naruto's strength is theoretically on the same level as Yuakai Husasuk's, both are less than Jonin but far more than Chunin. Without enough combat experience and ninjutsu, even if he has an inner power that exceeds chakra, he will not be able to play a real role. It's just that Yuzu Maki Naruto will definitely go further than Yuakai Husasuk in the future, and now Yuzu Maki Naruto generally doesn't have to worry about energy consumption. After all, the power of nature is everywhere, and there are cycles within the planet, so there is almost no need to worry about insufficient energy. Completing this step is certainly a joyful thing. But completing this step has neglected other attributes of nature transformation. Yes, Yuzu Maki Naruto spent the same time as Yuakai Husasuk to study the power of nature. Although he successfully completed the transformation of the power of nature into the inner power, and even completely graduated from the field of chakra, the nature transformation of other attributes was not neglected. In addition to the wind type nature transformation completed four years ago, there are only two types of water type nature transformation developed during the initial research on the power of nature. In other words, it is impossible to achieve the conditions for merging with a truth-seeking bull before graduating from ninja school. Thinking of this, Yuzu Maki Naruto sighed slightly. It seems that if you want to achieve the six paths level by fusing seven attributes. No, 
Eight attributes. You won't be able to do it when you graduate from ninja school. Oh, what a pity. Although it was a bit regretful, Yuzumaki Naruto still resisted this regretful emotion. After all, not everything in life will be smooth sailing, and there will always be some regrets. Chapter 44 The Hatred of the Two Avengers Naruto Yuzumaki Naruto's thinking was interrupted when he saw Yuakai Hasasuke walking over with two sets of clothes wrist guards and shoes. Is the weight suit ready? Yuakai Husasuke nodded slightly and placed the set belonging to Yuzumaki Naruto on the table. It was delivered this morning. The weight is heavier than I thought. Not only will it affect the movement speed, but the speed of the seal may also be affected. Yuakai Husasuke has already felt the weight of the load. Although he brought two sets here alone, it is indeed a challenge to the body to move quickly wearing such a three-piece load-bearing suit. All kinds of movements will become uncomfortable if you are not used to bearing weight especially if your body cannot keep up with the speed of reaction. This feeling is even more uncomfortable. Of course, Yuzumaki Naruto has already thought about these problems. This result is actually better and reduces the speed of seal formation. After our sealing speed reaches the current height, there is no chance to improve again. It just so happens that bearing weight can also allow us to perform deeper exercises. Yuakai Husasuke thought about it and didn't think there was any problem. Their seal formation speed had not been improved for a long time. Although 5 seals per second is fast enough. Yuakai Husasuke knows that this is not the limit, and it may be possible to reach 6 seals per second. After limiting the ceiling speed, do you want to retrain to the previous ceiling speed? That's fine. Use weights to slow down the speed of the seals, and then train the speed of the seals back up again while bearing the weights. This method may be able to speed up the speed of the seals without wearing weights. Thinking about this, Yuakai Husasuke became very interested in carrying weights. Yuzumaki Naruto took off his clothes and put on the weight-bearing clothes on the table. It's almost like a regular lining. I did a few movements, and my movements were not restricted by the clothes. The clothes are quite stretchy, and the material is probably not simple. There will be no impact other than weight when moving. The quality is really good. Of course, the price is also prohibitively expensive. Of course, to Yuakai Husasuke, all this money is nothing. Konoa may have confiscated most of Yuakai has things and money but it still left him a large sum of money. Using this money to pave the way for revenge against Konoa can be considered well spent. Yuzumaki Naruto naturally knew that this set of weight-bearing clothing was frighteningly expensive. After all, good materials are very expensive. If you can make the weight-bearing clothing to this extent, you will understand why this set of weight-bearing clothing is so expensive. It's predictable, so I just thought about this kind of thing before, and I definitely wouldn't dare to buy it. Besides, even if I have money and want to buy this kind of thing, I don't have the conditions. That's why you need to come forward on this issue. He, Yuzumaki Naruto, was the one who was rejected by the entire Konoa village, but Yuakai Husasuke was not the one who was rejected. Yuakai Husasuke also knows about these things. It was because he knew that he never said anything about these things, because only by contacting him will you know what kind of person Yuzumaki Naruto is. But it was only because of being in contact with him that he understood what kind of hatred Yuzumaki Naruto had in his heart. This hatred was even deeper than him. I don't really mind, it's just some simple things anyway. PFFT. Looking at this arrogant guy in front of him, Yuzumaki Naruto couldn't help but smile, but there was one thing he still wanted to say. Sasuke, it's not cute when a man is arrogant. Dot. Long-winded. Yuakai Husasuke also had a rare blush on his face. Yuzumaki Naruto did not continue teasing. Of course he knew that Yuakai Husasuke was still very thin-skinned and could not withstand too many teasing. Put it on. There's still some time in the morning to get used to the weight. Um. The two people slowly put on the other weight-bearing kits. The three pieces together they were indeed quite heavy. The weight of the wristband directly increases the strength of the arm. Even a simple swing requires a lot of strength. But this can be considered a kind of exercise. After the two of them got used to the weight-bearing state, they passed the adaptation process. After adapting to the weight-bearing state, Yuzumaki Naruto set his sights on Yuakai Husasuke. How? Yuakai Husasuke adjusted his head slightly and shook his head. No big deal. Without these five years of training, perhaps this weight-bearing would have had a great impact on the body, but the impact now is not very big. Although the weight of the weight is very large, it has a considerable impact on the movement. But this impact is not very large. You can bear it if you muster enough strength. However, without the training of the past five years, Yuakai Husasuke knew that his body would never be able to bear this level of weight. But it took five years to start weight-bearing exercise, which minimized the direct impact on the body, and could continue to exercise the body under the current physical condition. That impact is enough. Yuzumaki Naruto also knows that in a state of perfect physical strength and mental perfection, this kind of impact is not great. But after a certain amount of physical and energy consumption, the impact of this kind of weight will become great. In the future, we will all need to wear weights in our daily life. After a part of it is consumed, this kind of weight will affect us. So, we need to adapt to this kind of burden in normal times. In addition to taking a bath, we have to carry this kind of burden even when sleeping. After three years, 
we will take off the weight. At that time, our physical exercise does not need the blessing of this kind of weight, and this kind of weight will completely lose its effect on us. And everything starts three years from now. After you have completed your revenge on your Kaihuitachi, it's our turn to take revenge on Konoa's high level, and even destroy the entire Konoa. Speaking of revenge, Yokai Husasuke also had a flame burning in his eyes. That is the flame called revenge. As the last orphan of Yokai Ha, he wants to avenge all the people who were killed by Yokai Huitachi, and he also wants to avenge the haranking Konoa who killed all the people. The hatred in Yu's Yumaki Naruto's heart has not diminished with time, and even because of the excess of time, watching those Konoa villagers live a peaceful life, but it has become more and more burning. All the hatred of Yu's Yumaki Naruto being treated specially has been inherited by him. Without the influence of Ashura, he will definitely get all this hatred back. Chapter 45 Ninja School Graduation Examination Early this morning, the classroom at the ninja school was already full of students. Today's atmosphere is completely different from usual. After all, today is the day of the ninja school graduation exam. All the students arrived neatly and sat in their seats very quietly. After five years, Amino Ayuka has also transformed from Rookie Chunin into a more mature Chunin. Of course, maturity is only about appearance. Apart from appearance, there is no improvement in strength and it has even dropped a bit. It can only be said that the job of a ninja school teacher is too comfortable. Of course, everyone has the right to choose their own life. Some people can do anything for their own purposes, while some are just willing to live such a comfortable life. Amino Ayuka, who has been a teacher for five years, does know the character of the students in the class he manages. Ever since Yuzu Maki Naruto stopped making trouble, the whole school has become quiet. In these five years, Amino Ayuka would not take the initiative to say anything to Yuzu Maki Naruto. Noticing that all students in the class had arrived, Amino Ayuka also officially announced the start of the graduation exam. Then, let's start the graduation exam from now on. The person who taught the name went next door to take the test. The question of the test was the clone technique. The difficulty of the test questions was very low, even surprising the students who had prepared in advance. After all, clone technique can be one of the three body techniques and it is also a relatively easy ninjutsu to learn. Most students are familiar with this ninjutsu and can use it. Of course, some students' faces turned ugly when they heard three-body technique. Although clone technique is an easier ninjutsu among the three-body techniques, it is also a headache for some students. Students who cannot control the chakra well or cannot form seals quickly will have a headache at this time. Yuzu Maki Naruto and Yukai Sasuke sitting in the last row were very calm. Three-body technique is the foundation of the foundation for them. And within five years use Yumaki Naruto also streamlined the seals of three-body technique, such as clone technique, which can be done with one seal, that is, body replacement technique requires two seals. Yuakai Husasuke Yuakai Husasuke stood up when his name was called and slowly walked to the next room. Next door, Amino Ayuka and Mizuki were already sitting there. Looking at Yuakai Husasuke walking in, Mizuki was also trying to decide whether he was someone he could use, but he still rejected it in the end. Yuakai has orphan is a pawn that can be used but this kid can't use it. Only if it is profitable can it be used by him. Mizuki understands this very well. If he wants to steal the Book of Seals, he must not be able to do it by himself. He needs a top tank. The best choice is to graduate from some ninja school that cannot be successfully completed. Students took action. Taking advantage of students' desire to graduate from ninja school, Mizuki can trick these inexperienced children into doing some particularly serious things. But as long as he doesn't act on his own, it won't be a big problem. It's just that this candidate needs to be thought about. It's not good to be too smart. Of course, students who can't even pass the clone technique exam probably won't be that smart. Yuakai Husasuke performed a simple hand seal, and an identical clone appeared next to him. Very perfect. The ninjutsu is used perfectly, and the speed of seal formation is also quite astonishing. Mizuki lowered his head and glanced at Yuakai Husasuke's results, but this result made him frown unconsciously. My personal abilities are very strong but I am completely incompetent in the written test. It's really extreme. However, this may be the case with the Yuakaiha clan. The Yuakaiha clan had no real waste in the past, and most of them had not weak talents because of their blood. Thinking of this, Mizuki's face also became more jealous. That's great, you are born with talents that ordinary people don't have. As long as Sharingan can be opened in the future, it will at least be a Jonin. No wonder the Yuakaiha clan is not comparable to ordinary civilians. The Sharingan of the Yuakaiha clan is famous throughout the ninja world for his powerful eye technique that can see through ninja body illusions. It is the symbol of the Yuakaiha clan and can be said to be a very powerful lineage of blood inheritance. Bloodline, that's what ordinary civilian ninjas don't have. Even if a common ninja spends his entire life, he may not be able to reach the start of this kind of blood inheritance boundary owner. This is really a very enviable talent. Amino Ayuka who was next to him, had given the final score after observing. Qualified. Yuakai Husasuke, choose a forehead protector that belongs to you. Yuakai Husasuke glanced at the forehead protector placed on the table over there, 
randomly selected the one that was easiest to get, put it into the pocket on his back, and went to his classroom. Amino Ayuka also shook his head slightly when he saw this scene. Children nowadays really don't respect the forehead protector more and more. In our class, all graduating students wore it on their heads. It was a symbol of Konoha, and it was the pride of those who belonged to Konoha Shinobi. Although there are some complaints in his heart, Amino Ayuka also knows that his thoughts are definitely different from the students of this year. Today's students pay attention to individuality and individuality naturally has different aesthetics and different values. So people of two different generations have different ideas about the forehead protector. Of course, Konoha does not force ninjas to wear forehead protectors. However, ninjas who go out to do tasks without forehead protectors can easily be regarded as wandering ninjas. In more serious cases, they may even be regarded as traitorous ninjas. Wearing a forehead protector means that you have the support of the village behind you. But if you don't wear a forehead protector and you are accidentally considered to be a wandering ninja or a traitorous ninja, then the matter will be serious. Next, Yuzumaki Naruto. Immediately after Yuakai Husasuke, Yuzumaki Naruto walked into the room. Looking at Yuzumaki Naruto who walked in, Amino Ayuka didn't have any fluctuations on his face, but his palms under the table were tightly clenched. Hatred is not so easy to eliminate. In the absence of any contact, this hidden hatred will only accumulate. Parents' hatred Amino Ayuka has always remembered that he is just an ordinary Chunin who blends into the crowd of ninjas without even being able to distinguish himself. In this way, his desire for revenge is simply a dream. In fact, Amino Ayuka has already understood that the death of his parents has nothing to do with Yuzumaki Naruto. But so what? Should he think that a guy with that kind of monster sealed in his body is a normal person? He could only transfer all his hatred to the imp who sealed the demon fox and was regarded as the incarnation of the demon fox. Chapter 46 Graduation does not mean becoming a ninja. Use you Maki Naruto dot 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 the incarnation of the nine tails demon fox. Such a person is quite suitable as a chess piece. Mizuki had some thoughts in his mind. He glanced down at Yuzumaki Naruto's results and his expression froze instantly. The results in actual combat were good, but the results in the exam were not so good. The topic of this graduation exam is clone technique. But Yuzumaki Naruto's score clearly states that he is very good at three-body technique. Although the status of being a chess piece is sufficient, the conditions for using it are completely insufficient. Mizuki knew that he could only use those students who were unable to graduate from the ninja school. He had no way of using students like this who are destined to graduate. If the three-body technique is not used well and the identity is very special, such a person can definitely be used as a very useful chess piece. But if this student's three-body technique is used very well, then Mizuki will be completely helpless. As a teacher at a ninja school, Mizuki can't induce students to steal things after they graduate successfully, right? Once he did that, Mizuki believed that he would definitely be sent to Konoha prison before nightfall. There was no fluctuation in Yuzumaki Naruto's eyes, and he could clearly feel the psychological fluctuations of Amino Ayuka and Mizuki. Especially the hatred shining in Amino Ayuka's eyes is very interesting. It seems that hatred is the same for everyone. No one can forget so-called hatred easily. It's just that you can't take revenge without your own efforts. You choose to live a comfortable life and continue to hate me but you don't have the real strength to take revenge. It's really ironic. Seeing the hatred in the eyes of Amino Ayuka in front of him also reminded Yuzumaki Naruto that the Nine Tails matter needed to be dealt with. What happened to Nine Tails was something Yuzumaki Naruto had already anticipated. It would be too dangerous for such a bomb to remain in one's body. Yuzumaki Naruto didn't like such a bomb being hidden in his body. It might be better to replace this bomb with something more useful earlier. After a simple seal, a clone that looked exactly like Yuzumaki Naruto appeared next to him. It really is perfect. Mizuki could see the astonishing seal forming speed. A student who had just graduated from the ninja school could form seals at such a speed. This must have been a long time of training. The seal can be completed in less than two seconds. The clone technique used is the same as the main body, and there are almost no flaws visible. Although clone technique is only one of the three body techniques and is considered a relatively simple ninjutsu, it requires strength to practice it to the point where no one can see its flaws. Mizuki still felt a little pity in his heart. It was such a pity that he couldn't use such a good chess piece. However, he didn't feel any regrets. With so many students from the ninja school about to graduate, there would always be one or two who would not be able to graduate due to impossible reasons. As an examiner, he could definitely find a suitable person to start with. Mizuki glanced sideways at Amino Ayuka, who was still stunned. He also noticed the clenched fist, but he sneered in his heart. Ayuka, that's all you can do with hatred, but your strength has been declining and you don't dare to take action when facing your enemies, you will only live as a teacher. As someone who grew up together, Mizuki knew clearly whose hands Amino Ayuka's parents died at. Thirteen years ago during the Nine Tails Rebellion, Amino Ayuka's parents were slapped to death by a claw while trying to resist the attack of the Nine Tails Demon Fox. I must still remember this hatred. Disdainful of Amino Ayuka's inaction, 
Mizuki waited for a while and then spoke directly. Use Yumaki Naruto, qualified. Choose a forehead protector that belongs to you. Use Yumaki Naruto glanced at Mizuki slightly. Have you lost interest in me since you saw that I'm not a jackass? Well I don't think Mizuki has any mental problems. He took the initiative to find me after I was able to complete the clone technique. Use Yumaki Naruto doesn't underestimate any ninja. At least Mizuki has more brains than Amino Ayuka. At least he knows how to use some conditions to make himself better. Although he is arrogant in character, he is an opportunistic guy. The most typical thing about this kind of guy is that he considers the pros and cons before taking action. Randomly took a forehead protector that was close to his hand. Use Yumaki Naruto put the forehead protector in his back pocket, and quietly returned to the classroom just now. After Use Yumaki Naruto walked for a while, Amino Ayuka still didn't recover, which made Mizuki's disdain even worse, but he still had to remind him because of work. Ayuka sensei After waiting for a few seconds, Mizuki took a deep breath and increased his volume. Hey, Ayuka! Exclamation mark. The louder voice finally brought Amino Ayuka back to his senses, and he turned back to look at Mizuki with a little embarrassment. I'm sorry, teacher Mizuki, I'm not in a good state today. Mizuki sighed silently. It was just a casual thing anyway. It would be better to host it himself. Teacher Ayuka, since you are not in good health, you come to my place to take charge of the records. Well, Please, with a slightly strange look on his face, he came to sit down at Mizuki's seat. Amino Ayuka was still in a bad mental state. Mizuki also assumed the role of examiner. Next, Yamano Kono. After Yuzu Maki Naruto came back from the next door, he returned to his seat. Yuakai Husasuke sitting next to him didn't have much reaction. He already knew that Yuzu Maki Naruto would definitely pass the graduation exam. Did everything pass? The sounds from next door can also be heard by students in this classroom. At the beginning. Yukai Husasuke and Yuzu Maki Naruto both successfully passed the exam, which can be said to be bad news for some students who cannot control chakra. If only a few of all the students who took the exam failed to pass the graduation exam of the clone technique, whoever should lose face at that time will lose face. The atmosphere in the entire classroom began to become tense. Yukai Husasuke snorted in his heart. HMPH, these guys don't think they can become ninjas after the graduation exam right? If becoming a ninja is just graduating from a ninja school and taking a graduation exam using clone technique, then the quality of a ninja is a bit too bad. The graduation exam of the ninja school is just to kick out the first few untalented people. Being a ninja requires other tests, and it will definitely not be as simple as just one clone technique test. Chapter 47 The Advantage of Foresight After the graduation exam of the ninja school, Yuzu Maki Naruto returned to his training ground number 23. In five years of living, his home has been expanded several times, but the layout of the home is still so simple. Apart from the oil lamp, there was only a table, a bookshelf and a bed. The rest of the things were pots and pans, and that was the only main furniture. In order to make his quality of life better, Yuzu Maki Naruto also divided his home into many areas, the largest of which are the bathhouse and kitchen, and everything inside is done by hand. Yuzu Maki Naruto was sitting on the bed with his eyes slightly closed and feeling everything around him. Well, it's confirmed. It's true that no chakra appears in this training ground. In fact, since Yuzu Maki Naruto three years ago, he has noticed that the number of Vanbu around him has been decreasing one by one. There are two or three less every year. This year, there is no more Anbu. Perhaps because the team activities will start in the future, and Jonin will be responsible for coaching, Anbu who used to need to be watched is not so necessary. No problem. Let's deal. Time stopped again and the shell of the world fell off again. Yuzu Maki Naruto was very emotional when he saw this scene after a long time. Every time he saw such a scene, he was so shocked. And at this moment, Yuzu Maki Naruto also saw the white outline for the first time in a long time. The white outline also looked at Yuzu Maki Naruto with some interest, as if he could see through Yuzu Maki Naruto's inner being. What's the content of this transaction? Yuzu Maki Naruto composed himself, then pointed at his stomach. Nine tails one of ten tails. The white outline grinned. This time the transaction did not exceed his expectations. He knew that the best thing Yuzu Maki Naruto could trade now was this fox. The white outline raised his hand with a slight movement, and a fiery red nine tails fox was dragged out of Yuzu Maki Naruto's body. Kurama, who was dragged out, still had a look of astonishment on his face. He didn't expect that someone could pull it out of Yuzu Maki Naruto's body. The white silhouette holds Kurama in one hand and observes it for a moment. A very good soul, although there is only half of it here. It is essentially a symbol of luck in this world. It is also half of the 60% of 10 tails. It is a very good trading item. In terms of sheer weight, this fox is worth even more than Ashura's soul. However, this is only half. If the other half can be found, the value will be even higher. Yuzu Maki Naruto understood the meaning. Of course he knew that nine tails was of high value. Complete nine tails was definitely more valuable than half of nine tails, but the problem was that he only had half of it now. There is only half of me now. To find the other half, 
I need to at least lift the ghoul seal and capture the other half from the fourth generation's body, Vice Admiral Ninetales. This is something I can't do now. The sealing technique of sealing the ghoul requires sacrificing one's soul to trade with Shinigami, and sending one's soul into Shinigami's belly. It can be said that this is a soul sealing technique that is difficult to remove once the seal is completed. To lift it, you need to find the Shinigami mask that seals the ghoul. At the same time, you need to sacrifice one person to lift the ghoul seal. It can be said that the whole process is very complicated. Yuzu Maki Naruto knew how to break the ghoul seal, even before Okaimaru's hands were sealed. But in his current situation, he is unable to lift the ghoul seal, and it is even impossible to get back the other half of Nine Tails, which is Shinigami's vice admiral sealed in the fourth generation's body. After all, if you want to get back the Nine Tails in the body of the fourth generation, you need to learn impure world reincarnation first. The full nine tails can only be obtained by combining the impure world reincarnation and goo containment solutions. This requires quite a long time of preparation to be able to do it. White Silhouette is not very interested in whether it can be done. He just wants to know how use Yumaki Naruto chose. It is also possible to trade now, but the value is much worse. The reduction in value is use Yumaki Naruto somewhat concerned. Full nine tails can definitely be traded for something better. Now only half nine tails will definitely drop in value. Although it will be very troublesome to obtain the other half of nine tails, it is not completely impossible. As long as you use Tensigan's ability and some predictions about the future, it is not completely impossible to do it. Keep the trading item first, and I will be trading when I get the other half of nine tails. Use you Maki Naruto thought for a while and made this decision. If half of the nine tails are now traded, it may bring about a great improvement, but if you think about it from a long-term perspective, the current improvement is definitely far inferior to the future improvement. The white outline didn't feel any disappointment either, it just put away the half nine tails with a smile. Then leave it until next time. As soon as Yuzu Yumaki Naruto blinked, he was already kicked out of that trading space. This situation made Yuzu Yumaki Naruto shake his head slightly. Now that he no longer has that troublesome thing in his body, it will be more convenient to move in the future. Touching his stomach, Yuzu Yumaki Naruto didn't feel any difference between the presence and disappearance of nine tails. Nothing has changed. It looks like my body hasn't continued to be affected by Nine Tails since the original deal. This saves me a lot of effort. But then we need to collect some things. We also need to go to the country of Whirlpool. The method of unblocking ghouls needs to be studied, and Okaimaru will definitely go in the future. But rather than letting Okaimaru master this method, it is better for Yuzu Maki Naruto to master this method himself. There is also a shrine outside Konoa village, where the Shinigami mask that unseals the ghoul is still stored so it is necessary to get it in advance. Yuzu Maki Naruto knows that there is a chance to get the Shinigami mask, as long as he finds a time when Konoa is in chaos, he can naturally get the things by fishing in troubled waters. What's more, the Shinigami mask is not protected by many Anbu like the sealed book. The Shinigami mask is now sleeping in the abandoned shrine near Konoa. It was an abandoned ancestral hall that no one paid attention to, and I am afraid that no one would know that the opportunity to lift the ghoul seal was hidden in that ancestral hall. Foresight. This is Yuzu Maki Naruto's greatest strength. You can prepare yourself a lot in advance without everyone knowing, and Yuzu Maki Naruto has already started preparing for this five years in advance. Now, his advantage is too great. If you want to get something, it is enough to prepare in advance. Even the Book of Seals, Yuzu Maki Naruto has some ideas. Chapter 48, Entering the Door is Looking from a Distance Technique. The morning after the graduation exam, Yuzu Maki Naruto still got up at the normal time. After changing into a three-piece weight-bearing suit, he put on black shorts and short sleeves, and hung a waste bag on his back. He put all the scrolls and tools he needed to carry with him in the waste bag, and he will put one more in today. Forehead Protector Well, Yuzu Maki Naruto had no intention of wearing a forehead protector from the beginning. In other words, Yuzu Maki Naruto never admitted that he was a member of Konoa from the bottom of his heart. Forehead Protector That's just a symbol. But I, Yuzu Maki Naruto, don't even recognize the symbol. After selling Nine Tails yesterday, Yuzu Maki Naruto felt more comfortable. Although this thing is the official plugin of Yuzu Maki Naruto, Yuzu Maki Naruto does not need such a plugin. What's more, now he has mastered the power of nature and has transformed it into his own inner power. The power of the Tailed Beast has long been dispensable to him. Maybe now he is still not the opponent of Tailed Beast. But now he is still a 13-year-old kid after all. If a 13-year-old kid like him has the ability to fight Tailed Beasts head-on, doesn't that mean that the entire ninja world is a bunch of trash? Moreover, the current inability to fight tailed beasts is due to limitations in age, experience, and combat experience. Yuzu Maki Naruto believed that after only three years of normal growth, he would definitely cross over to the realm of shadows. If he can complete the fusion of the eight attributes and create the truth-seeking ball by then, then he can officially cross over to the six paths realm. It's too early to think about that. I can go very far in the future now, 
but I need to go step by step now. Now is just the beginning. There is no need to think about the future now. After five years of training, now is the time to officially step onto the stage of the Jonin world. Even use Yumaki Naruto, who had been practicing hard for five years, couldn't help but feel excited and excited at this moment. But this emotion was quickly restrained by Yuzumaki Naruto. Because Yuzumaki Naruto knew that this turbulent era was a real world where people could fall at any time, so he couldn't make any mistakes. Once a mistake is made, no matter how many years of hard work it is, it will be ruined in an instant. Yuzumaki Naruto is a man who cherishes his life. He wanted revenge, but he didn't want to involve himself in it. Therefore, before he takes revenge, he needs to master enough strength to not be afraid of any situation, so that he can take revenge with more peace of mind three more years. Let's see where Sasuke and I can go in the next three years. After making some mental preparations, Yuzumaki Naruto walked from home to the ninja school. Yesterday was the graduation exam of the ninja school, and today is the day when the graduated students are assigned to mentor Jonin. It can be said that these days are very important for the students who have just graduated from the ninja school. Of course, the real reason is that this genius determines which students will actually graduate from the ninja school. After all, it is impossible for a ninja school to really use clone technique to send away students. After all, students who can truly graduate from the hands of instructor Jonin mean that they have considerable strength and talent, and they cannot use a simple clone technique. It's time to graduate. If the evaluation standards of ninja schools are this level, then the mortality rate of the younger generation of ninjas who graduate from ninja schools will definitely be unimaginably high. So today, after the class division, Jonin was instructed to provide the most direct guidance to the newly graduated students. First of all, of course, is whether the graduating students are qualified to become ninjas. If the strength is not enough, then you have to go back to the ninja school to retake a year. If you don't have enough qualifications, you can just drop out of the ninja school, and you don't have to think about becoming a ninja in the future. Very simple, very realistic. If you don't have the strength, go back and start over again. Wait until you have the strength. If you don't have the qualifications, just let your mind go. Don't think about becoming a ninja. Just be an ordinary person. Yuzumaki Naruto felt a strange chakra staring at him when he walked into the classroom. Want to watch technique from a distance? Although he discovered this situation, Yuzumaki Naruto didn't say anything and went straight to sit next to Yuakai Husasuke. His fingers tapped slightly on the table. Yuakai Husasuke also knocked on the table. This is a way of communication between two people when lip reading cannot be used. No language is required just tapping on the table to have a simple conversation. No wonder I felt like there were a lot of people's eyes just now. Someone was really staring at this place. After receiving the news, Yuakai Husasuke's expression did not even change, he just sat there quietly. In the Hokage's office, the third Hokage and a group of Jonin were looking at a picture on the crystal ball. Naturally, all the Jonin present also saw the actions of Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuakai Husasuke. Everyone knows this is a code but no one knows what it means. The relationship between Yuakai Husasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto is so good? Sarutobiasuma asked the question on everyone's mind. The code just now was unknown to Sarutobiasuma. Obviously it was not a code in the normal ninja system, that is to say, it was a code that only two people knew. Since they are two people who have secret codes between each other, the relationship between these two people is naturally extraordinary. Sarutobi Hiruzen certainly knows that Yuakai Hasasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto have a very good relationship. Anbu has often given him such reports in the past five years. It's just that he doesn't have much time to take care of the two children's exercise. Anbu just reported that the two children will exercise together, but it is some basic three-body technique and chakra control exercises, and other ninjutsu and ninjutsu are not been touched. That is to say, because he knew that these two children had never practiced other ninjutsu, Sarutobi Hiruzen gradually told Anbu not to report to him if he saw that these two children were still practicing the basics. As a result, Sarutobi Hiruzen did not receive a report from Anbu for four and a half years. These two kids really know how to practice the basics. Sarutobi Hiruzen is a little speechless when he thinks that these two children have been practicing the basics for four and a half years. He knows that the basic three-body technique is very important but it is a bit too much to practice the basics for four and a half years. Although it was hard to believe it, Sarutobi Hiruzen still believed Anbu's investigation. Thinking of this, Sarutobi Hiruzen took a puff of cigarette silently. These two children have been together for four and a half years, and they must know each other well enough. The two kids got together to practice the basics for four and a half years, which simply gave Sarutobi Hiruzen a headache. With such a long time of contact, it is only natural that they know each other's actions and secret signals. Chapter 49 the orphan Yuakaiha and the remaining prince of Konoha officially form a team. Four and a half years. Hatake Kakashi realizes that this time is half a year after Yuakaiha's extermination five years ago. Yuakaiha Sasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto came together less than half a year after the Yuakaiha genocide. Did you jump out of the darkness of genocide in just half a year? 
Is it because of Uzumaki Naruto? People who are trapped in darkness need companions to escape from the endless darkness. Hatake Kakashi, who had the same experience once, understands the situation very well, so he also knows exactly what Yuakai Sasuke went through in the first place. It's just that the speed of escaping from the darkness is a little faster. When he fell into the darkness at the beginning, he had degenerated himself for several years before breaking out of the darkness. Although I don't know what Uzumaki Naruto did, it's still a good thing. Hatake Kakashi didn't know what happened. But what happened was definitely a good thing, otherwise Yuakai Sasuke would have experienced exactly the same thing as him before, or even more serious than him. Apparently Hatake Kakashi didn't realize the seriousness of the problem. Of course, it was not just Hatake Kakashi who did not realize the seriousness of the problem, but all Jonin and Hokage present did not realize the seriousness of the problem. It is very dangerous to have two people who hate Konoha get together, especially since their usual emotions are very stable and they don't look like the kind of people who are flammable and explosive, because when they will explode, I am afraid that the entire Konoha village will be completely blown up. And Hatake Kakashi is not the only one who has this naive idea, even Sarutobi Hayaruzen thinks the same way. It's completely different from five years ago. Sarutobi Hayaruzen actually has special feelings for Yuzumaki Naruto. There is guilt over the deaths of Minato and Kashina. There is also a strong desire to control the Nine Tails Demon Fox. So Sarutobi Hayaruzen hopes that Yuzumaki Naruto can have a sense of belonging to Konoha and go on as he envisioned. But something happened five years ago that completely changed Yuzumaki Naruto, who was still influenced by him. Since that day, Yuzumaki Naruto, who was still laughing and joking, became taciturn and even moved out of his place. Sarutobi Hayaruzen also knew that this had a lot to do with Shimura Danzo's guidance, because the villagers' complaints completely changed Yuzumaki Naruto, whom he had trained before, so he had a lot of anger towards the old guy Shimura Danzo. But even so, Sarutobi Hayaruzen still suppressed this anger. There is only one reason. Shimura Danzo is the complete opposite of him. He knew that Shimura Danzo had done many inappropriate things, but as long as it was beneficial to the village, he could turn a blind eye. Sarutobi Hayaruzen thinks that the matter of Yuzumaki Naruto is more of a guidance accident. After all, no one knows how the cheerful Yuzumaki Naruto who was guided by him before turned around and listened to the words of a few villagers and changed his mind. All I can say is that this was an accident. Although there were some problems with the training plan, Sarutobi Hayaruzen saw some hope when the autistic Yuzumaki Naruto and the equally autistic Yuakai Sasuke came together. It would be a good outcome if two autistic teenagers could join a group to keep warm. Although Sarutobi Hayaruzen knew that he could not die Yuzumaki Naruto into his own color because of Shimura Danzo's interruption, Yuzumaki Naruto would not go towards Shimura Danzo as long as there was still friendship. Now Sarutobi Hayaruzen just this result is enough. As for the future there will still be opportunities to train him little by little. It's a pity that these two children are only interested in exercise, otherwise we could make some arrangements. Sarutobi Hayaruzen actually feels that this is a pity. After all, there are many ways to bond people, among which emotional bonds are the strongest. Friendship, family affection, and love can all become ropes to lock a person in one place. I think it was because the bond was too deep that Hatake Sakumo finally chose to commit suicide in order not to involve his son in trouble. Of course, in the past, Sarutobi Hayaruzen just wanted to suppress Hatake Sakumo, who knew that Hatake Sakumo actually committed suicide, which made him regret not stopping it in advance. After all, Konoha has reached the level of shadow running out. The once prosperous Konoha has long since become stagnant. The three disciples left Konoha. Minato and Kashina died. Hatake Sakumo committed suicide. The only ninja in Konoha who can really stand up is an old guy like him. Even if Sarutobi Hayaruzen gained unprecedented rights at this moment, the entire Konoha had already been torn apart. Now as long as any ninja village comes in, Konoha will really be unstoppable. It is because he knows the current situation of Konoha that Sarutobi Hayaruzen pays more attention to the cultivation of talents. Yuzumaki Naruto definitely needs training as Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Yuakai Husasuke, as the last orphan of the Yuakai clan, definitely needs to be nurtured. So in these years Sarutobi Hayaruzen clearly knew that Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuakai Husasuke often exercised together and he did not interfere in any way because Sarutobi Hayaruzen knew very well that it is not easy to fool around at the age of eight. Sarutobi Hayaruzen will not do the deception that cannot be carried out and the interference that cannot be effective. After all, he is not an idiot. It was because he knew that this method had lost its effectiveness that Sarutobi Hayaruzen decided to use the bond of friendship. Kakashi, Naruto and Sasuke will be left to you from now on. Among all the Jonin, Sarutobi Hayaruzen still sees it very clearly and Hatake Kakashi is the one he is most optimistic about, as the disciple of Namakaze Minato and the son of Hatake Sakumo. His experiences resonate with those two children. To hand those two children over to other Jonin was either because the resonance was not enough or because the Jonin was not strong enough. Dot dot yes, I understand. Hatake Kakashi himself knows that Yuakai Hasasuke has something in common with him, and Yuzumaki Naruto is the teacher's son, 
and he must be responsible for these two people. On one side is the friend who saved him, on one side is the teacher who has faith in him, no matter where it is. He can't let it go, rather than leaving it to others to take responsibility, it would be better to take responsibility himself. Out of curiosity, Hatake Kakashi wanted to know who the other student in his charge was, Hokage Sama. Then who is the other student? Sarutobi Hiruzen slowly took a puff of cigarette and adjusted the distance of view technique to an ordinary girl. Dot. Haruno Sura, this is your other student. But this arrangement made Jonin present a little surprised. The graduates of this year have all read the list. Haruno Sura is also a student with very good grades in the written test, but the actual combat results are only barely readable. As for the results of Yuakai Husasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto, they have also seen that the written test results are very bad, and the actual combat results are good, but the comprehensive results are just passing. But the people present are not fools, they all understand the meaning of Lord Third Generation's selection of Yuzumaki Naruto and Yuakai Husasuke. Obviously, Lord Third Generation attaches great importance to these two children, otherwise he will arrange for Hatake Kakashi. What's more, the identities of these two children are unusual. One is an orphan of the Yuakai clan, and the other is Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails Demon Fox. After such a comparison, it becomes even more obvious that Haruno Sura is mediocre. Chapter 50 Destiny's seventh class. The purpose of coming to the school today is to divide each graduating student into classes. Early in the morning, Amino Ayuko had already got the list of classes, but unfortunately, he was the only one to announce today. Mizuki. I didn't expect you would choose to do this. Amino Ayuko glanced at the empty side, and his mood was also very complicated. In the past, he had always treated Mizuki as his friend. Who would have thought that this friend he thought would be in such a situation? After adjusting his emotions, Amino Ayuka knew that Mizuki's matter was a secret in the village, and these things should not be known to the students present. Moreover, today is also the day when these students graduate from the ninja school, which is a day to be happy about. On a day like this, as a teacher, he should not be sad. Amino Ayuka adjusted his emotions, and then put the class placement information in his hand on the table. First of all, I want to congratulate you. From today on, you will be your own ninja. But this is just the beginning of my life as a ninja. Now you need to start from Jenin and walk up step by step. Starting today is the beginning of the hard work. From now on, you will form a squad of three and carry out ninja missions together with an instructor Jonin. Yuakai Husasuke was not surprised by this situation. He had heard Yuzumaki Naruto talk about dividing classes into groups before. The grouping of Jenin is also a normal thing. After all, Jenin cannot perform tasks by himself. No matter how simple the task is, there needs to be someone to guide Jonin to follow. Of course, the job of guiding Jonin is not to supervise Jenin to complete the corresponding task, but to give Jenin certain guidance during the task, so that Jenin can grow up quickly. Yuakai Husasuke has long heard that Jonin is responsible for three Jenin. Last year, there weren't many students graduating from the ninja school. There seemed to be only six. This year, not counting me and Naruto and the one who's lagging behind, there should be nine. The passing rate is not very high. There are a total of 20 to 30 students in a class, but there are only a few who eventually become ninjas. The graduation rate is not high. It can be said that only a few are selected from these children who may become ninjas. Even though the ninja school graduates every year, such a low graduation rate directly increases the difficulty of the test to guide Jonin. However, Naruto and I can definitely pass. Knowing that the test to guide Jonin will be very difficult, Yuakai Husasuke is still convinced that he and Yuzumaki Naruto can definitely pass the test to guide Jonin and successfully graduate from the ninja school. Yuakai Husasuke doesn't really care about becoming a Jonin. He just cares about whether he can receive the baptism of actual combat earlier. Although he has spent the past five years seriously honing his foundation, this does not mean that actual combat is not important. On the contrary, actual combat is a very important part. Without the water of actual combat, their strength will inevitably not continue to improve. So Yuakai Husasuke doesn't care about becoming a genin, but he does need to care about whether he can accept the teachings of Jonin. Those practical teachings and some experiential teachings are the most important. After Amino Ayuka finished speaking, Many girls in the class looked at the duo of Yuakai Husasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto sitting in the back row. As members of the Appearance Association, all girls naturally hope to form a team with handsome boys. The two most beautiful people in the entire class are naturally the combination of Yuakai Husasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto sitting in the last row. Haruno Sora's gaze shifted back unconsciously. Her target was very clear, Yuakai Husasuke. Three people form a group. In that case, it would be nice if I could be in a group with Sasuke-kun and Yamanaka Ino who was also sitting in the last row, couldn't help but look at the two people over there. If possible, it would be nice to go with two of them. As a face controller, Yamanaka Ino also has her own preferences for her looks, and both Yuakai Husasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto are her favorite types. Especially Yuzumaki Naruto, since he stopped laughing five years ago and the beard on his face disappeared, Yamanaka Ino feels more and more that Yuzumaki Naruto is her type. 
Unfortunately, she was not allowed to think about grouping. Inoshikacho, I think I will be grouped with those two troublesome guys. Yamanako Ino's A's couldn't help but shift to her future teammates. She has known who her classmate is from a long time ago. Konoa's Inoshikacho has been a long-standing combination. As one of the descendants of this combination, Yamanako Ino has no choice but to accept his fate that his future teammates will be Akimaki Choji and Nara Shikamaru. The former likes to eat. While well, the latter hates trouble. Hey dot 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 why do I have to be separated with these two guys? Yamanaka Ino complained helplessly for a few words in her heart and could only hold her chin in a bad mood. After waiting for the students to become quiet, Amino Ayuka also began to announce the group names. From the first class to the sixth class, Amino Ayuka will pause deliberately after reading the three names of the groups to allow the students to accept the subsequent groupings. And soon came the critical seventh class. Then, next is class seven. The girls whose names were called before were all disappointed while the girls whose names were not called pricked up their ears. So far, the Kiyuakai Sasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto have not been assigned to other classes, which means that the girls behind still have a chance. Yuakai Sasuke coming. Almost all the girls in the class pricked up their ears. Yuzumaki Naruto. Are these two people grouped together? Now the girls whose names were not called paid more attention. They never thought that Yuakai Sasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto would be assigned to the same class after graduation. Of course. There is another problem here. When Yukai Sasuke and Yuzumaki Naruto were assigned to the same class, who was the last member? Is it one of them? This made the girls even more concerned. Amino Ayuka, who was stared at by many girls, also slowly said the name of the girl who was blessed by the goddess of luck. Haruno Sakura. The girl whose name was called opened her eyes wide. The girls whose names were not called all lowered their heads in disappointment. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.